Hello guys, it is Fear back again with a VOD from Sunday the 20th of February 2022 from Twitch, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama is where you can catch me live from 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, or if you'd like to convert that to your time zone, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama forward slash schedule, and then you don't have to do like the, the figuring out and it's, look, it's hard, it's tricky. Um, <laughs> if you have any social media accounts, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok that you wouldn't mind uh, throwing me a follow on, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, you can find all those links down in the description box below. It's free and it is a fantastic way to support your favorite creators and help them maybe go full time with the content creation thing. Yes. Hopefully I will see you live next stream. I'll see you in chat. Hey everyone, welcome back to another fear stream. Uh, I've turned my captions on so the bot won't yell at me. Awesome! Uh, we are doing Stream Raiders today because it's a longer stream. It's one of my standard regular streams. We haven't had one of these since Wednesday, so that's a while. Uh, but there's a new event! There's a new event as well. It is Olympiad, uh, which I, as soon as I saw the banner, I'm like, oh, where's Jas? Um, so <laughs> it's the Olympiad, it is limited time only. Uh, we have laurels and offerings to the gods. Uh, we have event tokens to unlock rewards through the battle pass system as we always do. We have legendary scrolls available for, I think is that the, I mean it's the balloon buster, uh, the orc slayer, and I can't remember what, the, I'm, I don't, that's not the mage. I think that might be one of the, look, I'm bad. Can I, like, nope, okay, cool. And then event badges, which is super adorable and cute. There is a unicorn skin. There are some sparkly bits that look like they're Greek. Uh, and we have new features as well. So the gods have descended to Streamlandia. With them comes their mighty blessings. If a god appears in your battle, they will exert their power to change the way the battle plays. God's power will affect both allies and enemies alike, so make sure to use their effects to your advantage. Um, there's a community goal. If we make our offerings, uh, use the laurels to gain the favor of the gods. In the store, you can use the laurels to submit an offering to the god of your choice. At the end of it... Whichever god has received the most offerings gives the entire community a skin, which I think is super freaking cute. Um, or reward all players an exclusive reward skin. Uh, Laurels, you know, you do your normal stuff and, and you get your, get your things. And every three days, one of the gods will approach you with a trial. This is in your quest log. So you'll have a special themed quest in your log from the Olympiad. And if you do that, you get bonus laurels that you can use to get more chests. Uh, and the chests of the offerings. Yep, good. All right, so we are going to we're going to uh, finish the what exit event. I don't want to exit the event. I want to join the event. There we go. Cool. So we have the trial of Iris. That is going to open a website. It always bloody does, and I always bloody forget. Uh, but here we go. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Let me have a look at the quests. Um. Tidal Trial, so it's Poseidon. Wonderful. I have to place two warriors, kill an epic unit, I have to win five battles, leveling my unit still, 20 campaign battles, and place three healers. Jesus Christ, I got a lot of fucking quests. Whew! All right, let us kick this off. We're going to head towards that skin chest because I guarantee you. Uh, yep, there you go. We have a Nyx vampire skin and a Nike... Nike? Nike? Templar skin. Jas will be able to correct me on that one. Uh, but there you go. So we've got two beautiful, they are gorgeous skins uh, that we're going to be trying to head towards this event. So let's do that. Let's get going. Uh, and I actually have, uh, not necessarily related to the new event, but as I am a Stream Raiders partner, um, I do have a couple of skin codes to give away. So I decided we're going to do that today. I've got two skin codes. They are for the Cyber Musketeer. Um, do I? Is this? I feel like this one's one that's been done before, but I could be wrong. Um, let me have a look um, and see. Uh, skins. Do we have... I have a lot of skins. I don't have a Cyber Musketeer. I've got a Glitch Musketeer. That must be what I'm thinking of. Um, but there is, let me grab you this. This is what, this is what he looks like. There's the link. That's what the, uh, that's what the Cyber Musketeer looks like. So that's the skin I'm going to be giving away. Um, and I don't have any mount makeup on today. So this is kind of a, yep. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to because it's a regular stream, but I have slept all day, literally. So that's a thing. Uh, Cyber Musketeer. Am I spelling it correctly? Good. Stream Raiders skin! Exclamation mark. Uh, there we go. So you've got 15 minutes to enter. Exclamation giveaway to partake. Uh, and then we're going to switch on over to here and kick, kick off our runs. Um, let me have a scroll through chat. Well done, Zam on first. Hello. And Nutty with second. Mince with third. Koala with sixth to ninth. Because we are very mature here. Very, very mature audiences. Uh, <laughs> hello, Nano, and it is on, unfortunately, yes. First is on cooldown, as was second, as was third. <laughs> but Thurf, Thurf works. Congratulations on Thurf, Nano. Pity that no! Funzie's third. Along with Thrid. It's the ridiculous third. I love them. I love them so much. Uh, who's ready to see Fia get the mount? I am. I'm ready to see Fia get the fucking mount. Um, <laughs> ready to clip it? Yes! Another fear stream. Good morning, Gertie. Hello, Dan. What you want? There's a there's a Greek event in in stream in stream reader uh, blah, stream readers. I thought you'd I don't know. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Um, <laughs> well done, channel with thread. Welcome on in. It's quarter past midnight. Just got home from the studio and beyond exhausted. And I just went live. I'm gonna make some tea and kick back. Yay! Oh, I hope I can help you relax a little. Axiom, I hope it's uh, I hope you're having a lovely morning. I mean, technically it's morning, right? Technically it's morning. Hello, Siri. I am well, thank you, Chaos. How are you going today? Welcome back. Giveaway entries. Why did... I oh, there you go. Axiom did. Ch uh, Koalashon's just having a, a time. That's okay. Are uh, you a drooler when you sleep? I am a drooler. I think sometimes I am because there's definitely sometimes when I wake up and I'm like, my face is damp. Uh, but... I don't, I think it's very much related to like what's going on in life. Like if I'm absolutely goddamn dead, like I haven't been lately, but if I'm more dead than that, like if I'm really sick, uh, I know that I drooled a fair bit when I was recovering from surgery in October because I'd wake up and my ice pack was like wet, but on the wrong side. Like I wouldn't be lying on my ice pack. The ice pack would be on the side, but this side of it was wet. Um, and I feel like that was probably drool. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I had dental surgery, so it makes sense that my mouth was like overproducing, right? Uh, but so I think I do occasionally, like, like sometimes, not very often, but sometimes, um, but not not super regularly, no. Uh, but that's okay. There's nothing to be ashamed of there. Everybody's bodies <laughs> work a little bit differently, and that's totally okay. It just means you have to wash your sheets a little more often, maybe. Uh, mount makeup invisible, correct? Correct. I um, I I did put lashes on and I've put a bit of lipstick on and did my brows a little bit and just kind of enough to to make it look decent on camera. And then I was like, so I grabbed a little. Uh, I've got like a little shimmery pot of stuff and just put a little bit of that on my lids just to make it me look a little bit more awake. Cause uh, I went out for breakfast slash brunch with my mum and my stepdad this morning, uh, and then they came back here. Um, cause I had a few bits and pieces that I've been wanting to give her for a while. Um. And then and she took those and then they left. And then I lay in bed and started and played a little bit of Pokemon. And then I passed the fuck out and slept for like three hours. So I'm very tired. Like, <laughs> clearly, uh, I'm just exhausted. This whole weekend has been so exhausting and busy and full on and stuff like that. But that's okay. Um, it's time for me to get back into a reg regular schedule and try to at least maintain some sort of regularity and catch up on my shit so that I'm at least a little bit ahead by the time surgery gets here. I think that's what it's the 20th of March. Surgery is on 21st, it's the Monday. Surgery's on the 21st of March. Uh, surgery number two for my implant. I have been told that the recovery this time around should be a fuckload easier because I'm not growing bone this time. I'm just healing a wound as opposed to actually trying to grow fucking bone. <laughs> so I should be back to normal much quicker this time around, but we'll see. You know, who knows how my body's going to react. I've never done this before, uh, so I'll just have to kind of take it easy and see what happens. Uh, but we will see. We will see. I will be taking um, the Monday because the surgery is on Monday. I will not be streaming that day. Uh, so I'll take the Monday and the Wednesday off and then probably come back to stream on the Friday. Just give me that time to, to chill. Uh, and then 
probably come back with slightly shorter streams to start with. Uh, won't launch straight back into a six hour. But I mean, hey, I'll see how I go. If I feel like I'm up to it, then absolutely. Uh, but if I need to tap out at after like two or three hours, then I will. Like I'll, I'll listen to my body and uh, figure out what I what I need to do. Uh, don't forget to enter the giveaway exclamation giveaway for a Cyber Musketeer skin for Stream Raiders. If you are interested. Now's the time to do that. I never claimed to be mature at- look, I- I- we are flagged for mature audiences, Koala, but that's more- that's- look. It's probably because I swear too much. Uh, <laughs> mature audience indeed. Hair looks ravishing today. Thank you, Death. Thank you. Uh, I washed it last night and I did put some styling product in it. I haven't curled it again because I have not had the time. Uh, but I washed it and I and I put some styling product in it so that if I want to curl it tomorrow, they might actually hold a little better. But we'll see how they go. Uh, we'll see how I go if I have time because I've got a whole weekend's worth of work to catch up on. So that'll be fun. Is fear awake? Barely. Uh, I read an article stating that drilling in your sleep is common among people who are either workaholics or have recently endured a spike in business that pushes a person's normal level of physical and or mental tiredness. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I mean, that may, I mean, not necessarily, for me, it wasn't business, like it was, but it was definitely a push in, in stress. I, I had a, a tooth taken out in surgery and like bone packed into the hole so that my body could grow some new stuff. Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's, that is a huge spike in stress, just not like work stress. It's interesting, hey. Bodies are so fucking interesting. Uh, hello from New Zealand. Hello, Kevin. 7.30 p.m. here, wonderful. I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Almost 36, will always be a child at heart. Oh, I feel you, I feel you. Uh, how's New Zealand? Good question, right. So I have a present. I have a present that I received. Uh, and I've blocked off as much of the identifying information as I possibly can. So this is a gift from Throne. Uh, this is, it says on the outside that it is my Fitbit. So enormous thank you to Zeren. That is a plastic bag. Enormous thank you to Zeren for purchasing me a fucking Fitbit for my birthday. Good lord. Incredibly generous. This is Jas's Fitbit and I've been wearing it for a few months. Um, so it'll be good for him to have his back. Um, uh, here we go. So that's empty. And this is, I can't see what I'm, oh, they despawned. Good. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous baby. Look at it. Oh my god. So it includes an extra navy band as well. So it looks like it has a fabric band with a pattern on it and and like a silicon band as well. Holy shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, premium woven band and classic band. Holy shit, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Oh my God. I have to crack it open. Give me a minute. Uh, hello, Suka. It's going very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> Ah, uh, for me, it's because my nose is harder to breathe through my side, open my mouth to breathe, and then it just kind of leaks. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that works. Busyness is what I meant to say. Oh, right, busyness, not business, as in like, yeah. Because I was thinking like, I mean, my, my stream is a business, so I mean, it makes sense. But oh, yeah, busyness, definitely. Yeah, for sure. That's hilarious. I mean, isn't that what a business is? It's, it's busyness for a purpose. <laughs> Uh, Fitbit, I know, right, Axe, what the fuck, right? When, when, uh, when Zeren dropped that purchase from the gift, from my wish list, I have, that like, there are some things on my wish list that are there as a reminder for me, like, which model I wanted and stuff. Like, I don't expect anyone to, no way in hell. And then all of a sudden, ooh, 52. Okay, I need to update my spreadsheet. I have my spreadsheet open so that I can update them when they ding now. The Warlock is now 52. Um, and then he fucking goes, they, they go and buy it anyway. And I'm like, excuse me, what? Uh, so, uh, the, yeah, so here we go. Amazing and gorgeous. It is a Fitbit Versa 2 special edition. Um, I don't know why it's a special edition. Maybe it's because it has the two bands. Includes small and large sizes. Oh my God. So there's like a, a bajillion straps in here. Good Lord. Okay. Do I have, oh no, they're sealed. Do I have a, I do. Okay. Um, where's... Next tune. 
the very good. Go on myself. Yeah, I've been using Jass's because Jass has a Fitbit and I've been using that for a while because I've always kind of thought like maybe it would help me because I, I have an autoimmune condition and I know that being on top of my fitness and my food and my in hydration, all that kind of stuff, being on top of my general health will help my autoimmune symptoms. Like I know that for a fact. There are so many studies that show that being like sleeping well and exercising and all that kind of shit will help my symptoms far and away. So I thought maybe if I had some kind of tracker to kind of tell me how I'm actually doing rather than just feeling like shit all the time, then it would help. And so I asked Jas, could I borrow yours? Cause he wasn't using it at the time. Um, I asked, could I borrow yours just to see how I go with it? See if I actually use it. And then if I do use it and I do find that it helps me, I can go buy my own. And so I did use it for a while and I'm like, I do like this. This is great. I'm going to go and have a research and figure out which one I want. And then I put it on my wish list to remind, so I didn't have to go and do the research again. And then fucking Zaren went and bought it for me, which is incredibly generous of him. And I am so ever grateful, like ever so thankful and grateful, like holy fucking shit, right? Holy fucking shit. So, ah, look at that. Isn't it fucking beautiful? Oh my God, it's beautiful. So I have... What is this? Oh, it tells me what's in here. So I have S slash P and L slash G and a charger. To start, download the Fitbit app. I already have that. Um, to remove slide pin. Oh, I know how to do this because I broke the strap on Jass's one a few months back. So I know how to replace the straps. That's good. Um, cool. So I can put that aside. Then I have another little boxy bit. Oh, cool. So... Um, I've got the actual, the actual Fitbit with the beautiful woven band with that rose gold face and the, the woven band with the rose gold bits and stuff there. And then I've also got the larger woven band and then I've got the silicon band in large and small and the other clippy bit for it as well. So I've got like a selection, which means that Jas can probably have a fiddle with his as well if he wanted to, which is really nice. That woven band is bloody gorgeous. Navy blue and rose gold is just such a, like, I don't know, I don't know what it is about it, but it is just such a beautiful color combination, in my honest opinion. Just, I don't know, I don't know what about, I don't know what it is about it, but I just love the whole, like, rose gold and navy blue. Um, I have that one. Ah, with an indigo band. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's super cool. It's like you got the pro version. Oh, no way. Do we all just getting some uni work done? There's a long night ahead. Fantastic. Well, I hope we can keep you company. Uh, we'll be live for, what, roughly six hours. So we should be able to keep you a little bit company at least. Uh, that along with the app can help track everything. Yeah, sleep, food, activity. It's amazing. Excited for you to use it. Mad props to them for gifting it. Amazing, right? I've had the app going for a few months. Um, and what I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is popping open uh, like a new Discord channel where we can all sort of like, obviously, cause in the app you can have communities, right? And you can like build a group and you can share your stats and stuff like that. But I don't, firstly, I don't know how de-identified it is. I don't want anyone to be doxing themselves uh, or, or anything like, like that's just not okay. Absolutely not. And also if people have fitness trackers that aren't Fitbit brand, they wouldn't be able to join. And I'm not like, there are some things like, for example, computer peripherals, I'm a Logitech snob. I'm, I'm absolutely going to admit that. I'm also a Logitech affiliate, which is fantastic. But even prior to that, I was a Logitech snob. But when it comes to fitness trackers, like what's if, if the Fitbit doesn't work for you, then you need to find a different one if that one works for you better. Do you know what I mean? So I don't want to like exclude people based on their not liking what the Fitbit does for them. So I'm thinking we open a Discord channel instead. And then we can all kind of help each other stay accountable by posting just a little slimline screenshot of the section we're trying to share with no doxy information and all that kind of, you know what I mean? So that'll, hopefully that'll be a bit um, more, more open. So all of us can sort of, if we want to, of course, as always, there is zero pressure to participate. Absolutely not. Like don't stress at all. But if you want to, if you want to have, like, if you want people like us to help you keep you accountable, and if you want to help us stay accountable, then it's a good way to do it. I think I got my little charger. Jas can have his back. <laughs> oh, so much packaging. I do like that all the packaging is recyclable, though. Like, there's not very much plastic in here at all. It's mostly cardboard. The only plastic is, like, the shiny stuff on here, and even that feels like an interesting kind of plastic. I wonder if it's recyclable. Um, product information. Uh, 
I don't think any of this is going to be... Oh, look! Every language I do not speak, except, yeah, the English is at the front and it's like two pages. Uh, and then everything else is... Yeah, it's just be careful with it. Wonderful. Okay, I should probably, uh... This is the most satisfying part of all of it, isn't it? Although I don't think it, I don't think it's actually stuck to the face. I think it's just protecting it. So it's not as satisfying. Whoa, that is a large. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God, that is enormous. <laughs> that was great. Oh my goodness. Uh, I started working out again the other day, a little late from the new year, but it doesn't matter, Sean. Every, every minute is a chance to start something new. Does not matter at all. Yeah, now that I've got now that I've got my one and I'm gonna start posting like my progress and stuff in the Discord. Yeah, you bet your ass I'm gonna be trying. Uh <laughs> never too late. Exactly, never too late. Hello, Sharpie, welcome back. How are you? Hey Oa, welcome in. I'm in using Guru through Synth Riders and Beat Saber. Oh cool! Tracks your exercise while playing. That's amazing. I have heard of that one, um, because Falcon, uh, Falcon's great with all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure he was working with them at some point, um, either like as in employed or sponsored or something. I can't remember exactly, but um, yeah. God, I would love to be able to do um, VR stuff, but I <laughs> don't have the money. But I also don't have a, like a suitable space. I don't think. Um, I could probably like make one, but I feel like. I feel like if I couldn't stream it, there's not a whole point, a whole lot of point in me having it. And I can't, I don't have the capability to like move the PC out there. And there's not enough space in here. There's not enough space at all in, in the bedroom. So yeah, yes, but it looks freaking awesome. And it looks like so much fun. So much fun. God, this woven band is beautiful. Is that, oh, I see what it, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That's really interesting. Okay, so it's kind of, it's got a, a strap, like a little loopy bit that's like in, like locked in place. And then the other one moves depending on how long you need it to be. I wonder if this is going to be the right length. It's got their address on it. Fun that. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Ah, okay, hang on. Let me get into a queue. Oh yeah, that's the perfect length. That's the, so I'm, the small one is my appropriate length. I wonder if I should keep the, like the woven band on there or the, uh, or the like silicon, the navy silicon one. I feel like I don't exercise voraciously enough to sweat super lotsly. So I'm feeling like maybe it's okay for me to keep the woven one on there. Um, but it is amazing that it's got the silicon ones as well. Like that's super, super handy. Um, <clears throat> I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Uh, fitness app that everyone can join. Attach whatever fitness man wants to use. Strava. Ah, not sure about the identification limiter. Strava is great for getting a community going. Interesting. Okay, noted. Strava's great. Love the kudos, photos, comments, options. Because seeing people play WoW makes me so sad. I miss being able to play. Oh no. Oh well. Look, I'm sure. I'm sure in the future at some point you'll have an opportunity to play again, and that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I've been struggling with Fitbit, Garmin, Apple, Samsung, etc. Cool. You're the lady you must join now. <laughs> oh, entries have stopped for the giveaway. Wonderful. So we're giving away a uh, Cyber Musketeer skin. Two of them, in fact. So, who have we got? We have Zam. Zam has won the first one. Let me grab a code for you, my dear. Bam, there you go. And then... Axiom! Axiom has won the second one. Axiom Runner. There we go. I think this is you. Let me just check your profile picture. There you go, there you are. All right, brilliant, yes. I just want to make, like, I, I tend to match up the profile pics to make sure that I've spelt it correctly. Wonderful. Congratulations to you both. I hope you enjoy your adorable musketeer skins. That's great if I can keep it from doxing in the settings. It'd be perfect to get a group together. Yeah, absolutely. The, yeah, so it's... 
I am really, really concerned about doxing, not just for me, but for everybody else in the community as well. And I think the safest bet to begin with might be to do um, the the like screenshots to discord thing and it also means that like if people don't want to share something in particular they don't have to um and i'm pretty sure because i do i did use strava for a while and it does exercise i don't think it does like water and food and all that kind of stuff does it i think i've got strava on here still or well, they might have updated since i last used it though um maps record i don't want no, no, I don't want to start my free trial. Yes. It does share maps. It does share maps. Like, the, the path that you've taken and stuff like that, which does concern me a little. Why am I dead? What killed me? Um. Alright. There we go. Let's go do a few. I gotta find my Fitbit. That's what she said. Hello, purse. How are you doing? Beat Saber doesn't need that much space. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it needs more than the space that I have, especially considering that I'd need somewhere to put, like, the trackers and stuff as well, and I, yeah, don't have that. Um, I also don't have the money for the VR stuff, considering $23,000 of dental work. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, there are multiple reasons I don't have a VR... Set. My goodness. This is a bite. Oh, fantastic, Sharpie. Well, I'm glad you're here. Five by five feet. So the gap between the end of my bed and the wardrobe is just larger than a meter. Just larger than a meter. Lengthwise, I've probably got maybe two, maybe just under two meters lengthwise. But widthwise, it's under a meter. Uh, if I put my, if I stand like in the middle of the space and put my arms out, I will, will bash the wardrobe like here. Um, <laughs> and if I step too far, like if I step to the side to be able to put my arm all the way out, I'll be up against the bed. Like it's, yeah, not, it's not space. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a small room and there's a lot of stuff in it. I uh, yeah, privacy points to obscure start stop by one eighth to a mile or keep all activity hidden within that distance of a specific address. You can wash them. Oh, you can wash the straps. No way. I mean, that makes sense. Well, do you just toss them in like a, a um, uh, like a lingerie bag or something? That's super cool. It doesn't say anything about washing them in the the bookie book, but I'm sure it would online somewhere. Copper rose alum aluminum case because it's not written in English. <laughs> That's super cool. And Fitbit pay. That'll be interesting to figure out. So exciting. I'm so keen. <laughs> super keen. Whoop! Let's see if it's got any sort of charge in it. No. Oh! Oh, here we go. It's on. I honestly thought it would have literally zero battery. To start, download the Fitbit app. I've got the Fitbit app. It's got about 70% battery by the looks of it, so that's cool. There you go, Fitbit app. Uh, also, don't take that Fitbit in the shower bath. Instruction law in six different languages to clean it. You take it off and wipe it down. Yeah, no, I, I have never taken this one in the shower either. Um, in fact, shower time is when it charges. I have it plugged in, it's a USB charger. I take it off, I stick it in the charger, I take my shower, I dry myself off, I put the Fitbit back on. Like that was that was what Jas told me that I was supposed to do, so that's what I've been doing. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, it can take some water rain, but not like, it does say um, this one is safe to be swimming with, so it's safe to swim with. Um, swim proof and four day plus battery life. It's got an asterisk, where's the asterisk? Water resistant to 50 meters. That's actually pretty fucking good. I assume that that's water resistant though and not shampoo resistant. So, uh, well, <laughs> well uh, yeah, I'll continue to take it off in the shower. Uh, I played in the four foot area between my desk and the couch. It's a swinging while squatting that gets you if you don't clear enough space. Yeah, I can imagine. 
I can imagine. Uh, easy Street, I don't have an armory link available, but if you're looking for simple armory for my collections and stuff like that, it's a little bit tricky to do an armory link considering that I have 50 characters. <laughs> Even the armory extensions for, um, for Twitch only let you upload like four or five tunes. So I don't have 50 armory links that you can access, but exclamation simple armory will get you a list uh, of all my collectibles and stuff like that. And other, aside from that, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about my characters, but welcome on in. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. That's yay. You can also entirely hide maps in Strava and just have a sheer distance. Oh, okay, there you go. If it does track food and water. Yes, I know that, but I know I think that Strava doesn't, is what I was saying. Uh, you can hide the maps that much I know for sure. Oculus does not track is from headset only. A lot more compact situation than HTC Vive. Again, don't have money. Um in a couple of Strava groups, partner race trainings, hide all our maps as part of the group requirements. Oh good. Good. Yeah, it's not not good space. Uh, do I have been doing them with migraine the last few days? Oh no, just doing all my heartbreaker attempts to hoard the boxes for tomorrow. I currently have 168 boxes. Holy shit, purse. Oh, that's gonna be such a good feeling opening them all. My lord. Best of luck. Love this channel. Thank you, Radio. Much appreciated. Um, yes, okay. So I, I've opened the Fitbit app. What do you want me to do now? Oh, that's Chinese. That's Japanese. That's Korean. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that looks like German. Okay, I think it wants me to find, set up a device. I think that's probably what I'm needing to do here. Hmm. Let's do this. I have to switch, so I have to, okay, yeah, that's fine. Switch to Versa 2. Read, 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 except charge of Versa 2. Charge throughout the setup process. Okay, I can do that. Guess what you're gonna hear. Yeah, actually, do I have one in, I do. I've already got Jasses here. Maybe that'll work. <sighs> A little bit of dust on it, but that should be fine. That's so odd that it's like upside down. Anyway, the screen, the ver the I think this must be a Versa, not a Versa 2. Um, and the screen's upside down and it's strange. I don't think it's charging. Is it plugged in? It is plugged in. Maybe it doesn't fit the old ones. Okay, they're slightly different shape, I think. That's all right. I promise I'm playing. I promise. Uh, night one with New Kent Home closed in his own room so far as everything was good. Oh, that's awesome news. Fantastic, Shuba. That's wonderful. Like at the end, there's no phallic pink mount to ride. No, I know. I know. But the hope is there. Right throughout the whole, do you know? The hope is there. <laughs> Off we go. Uh, you know, when I heard that I had a cruel idea when you hold all the boxes last day of the event, chances change. Why? The chance wouldn't change though. Come on, we're not that silly. Let go away. There we go. All right, next tune. To be honest, chat, I think Fear is the first partner streamer. I know he'll literally go through each and every message in their chat. Only because I can though, Axiom. This is the other thing. There are a lot of partner streamers out there who they're like their chat just flies by so quickly that there is no possibility for them to read through every single thing. Um, so I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? It, it can really be difficult. Like I've got a couple of friends who um, their, their stuff, that was me, sorry, that was me, not you. Um, they have to put slow mode on their chats. Because if they don't, uh, why is this broken? There we go. Uh, if they don't put slow mode on, they've got zero hope of, of anything. Um, so yeah, like I, I try and I will continue to do my absolute best. There may be a point at some point in the future where I can't. However, until that point, I will do my absolute bloody best to as much as I possibly can. But it is also, like, I, I don't do a whole lot of super intense, involved content that I have to, like, concentrate on. I can focus a lot more on chat 
Whereas like if you're playing a horror game and you're trying not to get yourself killed, you need to pay attention, you know? <laughs> so it's, it can be a little trickier. There are some games like that that have add-ons and stuff so you can see Twitch chat in game so that it's a little bit easier to keep track of things. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's fun times. It's fun times. A great person to watch. Thank you, Nano. Why 50 characters at 50 vert? Welcome on in, first of all. We did a lose. Um, that's okay. We'll try again. Uh, so I have 50 characters at 50 because the requirement to get the heartbreak amount to drop is to be a level 50 character. And to get, in order to get the most attempts per day, you gotta have a full account, don't you? So yeah, that's that was why I originally set the challenge. But it does have other benefits. My 50 tunes are spread as evenly as they can be across all the different classes. So I have four of every class with an extra mage to make 49 and an extra druid to make 50. Um, and that means that if I'm going through and trying to farm transmog, for example, or a, a class specific drop, I have four chances a week instead of one or two or whatever. Um, so it, it, do, it definitely, definitely helps in my collections kind of pursuit. Uh, and having 50 attempts per week at particular mounts, or even 50 attempts per day, certainly means that they should drop a lot quicker. If I can actually put the effort in to do that many chances. I don't have a whole lot of mounts left that are drops though. So it's, um, yeah, you know, it's a bit that way. But when they introduce new ones in future, it will mean that I have more attempts, uh, more chances. I just realized I opened that box without you guys being on the screen. I didn't get it but that would have been terrible and horrible and I would have hated myself. Good. Uh, all right. Place two warriors. I can place a warrior. You're a warrior. Plonk. Yeah, I feel like a total noob just there. I, uh, I absolutely opened a box without being on the right screen. Ooh, I'm playing a risky today. Uh, all right, so I've done that one. On to the next tune. Uh, okay, so it does on charge. Next. As you all heard, because it connected and made the noise and I told you it wasn't you. Found it! Connecting to device. Oh. Another hydrate. Hydrate you. I don't, I've got Pepsi. I'll, tr I'll drink that. Um, <laughs> fuck. However, Zeren, oh my God, Zeren actually bought me the bottle cleaner on my wish list on Throne. I am so, like, so I've got a whole bunch of bottles, like drink bottles and stuff. You've seen me drink from plenty of different bottles and cleaning them has been really, really difficult. And with like, if you're drinking from a dirty water bottle, it's gross and you're more likely to get sick, right? And because of my, my specific kind of autoimmune condition, I'm really susceptible to bacterial infections, like really susceptible. The last time I got food poisoning, I wound up in hospital. That's like, instead of just, you know, being in the bathroom for a day and a half, I actually ended up in hospital because it fucked me up that much. So when I looked into my bottle and went, oh no. So I, <laughs> no, I refuse to drink from it because it's gross. But I don't, there's nothing in the house that I can absolutely, that I can find that can get to the bottom of the bottle and clean it properly. And I've checked all of the different kitchenware stores and stuff near me, the supermarkets, everything. Nowhere has bottles, bottle brush cleaners that are going to be able to get to the bottom of it and the actual bottle brush stay clean. I did have a bottle brush a while ago that had like a spongy sort of thing on the end. And that spongy sort of thing refused to dry. I hung it from places. I put it on the balcony, hung up so it could dry out in the open air. It wouldn't dry. And so as a result of that, it got moldy within a week and refer a previous statement about getting sick. So like, I'm so thankful. This bottle brush is long and it's bendable on the end. So I can just like put a kink in the end of it so it can scrub the bottom of the bottle enough. And I'm just really happy about it. And I can't wait for it to arrive. It means I can clean all my bloody drink bottles and I can be hydrated to the nines. It's gonna be amazing. You know when they say like hydrate or dihydrate? Like literally I would dihydrate if I drank from this bottle. So I'm very happy that I can actually clean it once this, once this bottle brush arrives. So happy. Ah. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a smart idea too. And she falls behind. It helps viewer retention because we're all waiting for her to catch up to a message. Look, I mean, I try not to be too far behind though. I know I'm terror. I know I'm really bad because I also like to rant. But um, look, I'm currently seven minutes behind on chat. I'm doing okay. Doing okay. I know it was like if I... 
Just wanted to be evil and exploit people. Oh, good lord! Can you imagine? And then it and then it drops from the first one you open. You've got like seven hundred and fifty boxes. To fuck me! Oh, I would be so angry, so angry. Ten horde characters down. We are switching servers because the ten instances per hour limit applies per server, not per account. So we are switching servers, uh, but that also means that I'm switching factions because my other server is full of alliance tunes. So if you are an alliance tune. If you're an Alliance player and you want to join me, exclamation add me to get onto my friends list. And you can join me via quick join once I join the queue. Ahoy Z, how are you going? We would have rioted. Uh, I can't wait till you have to use slow mode so you can see my hydrates more clearly. Well, slow mode, all that does is that people can't send five or six messages really, really quickly. They can send one message at a time, but they can only send it every X amount of, like, I've got, uh, I think it's Cricket has slow mode on. You can only send a message once every three seconds. And that doesn't, like, it's not that much, but it slows it down enough that it, do you know what I mean? I'd also have to turn off things like the, the stream captain bot announcing who's placing stuff. And, oh, speaking of that. There you go. <laughs> you might want to see that. I don't know. Maybe. Um. Ah, uh, damn, I've been so heartbreaking. Look. Look. Saren becomes Glucose Parent. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Glucose Guardian. We love our alliteration here, Shiva. But no. But no. Did you check in the baby section of the shops? Um, yeah. Yeah, and unfortunately they were all quite short brushes because a lot of baby bottles are pretty short, so we only need to get, whereas I've got a bottle that's about that long and the mouth of it is only like so wide, so I can't get my hand in there to get it the rest of the way. Does that make sense? But yeah, they did have brushes. They were just far, far, far too short for my particular application, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this one, the one that I'm getting from Amazon is a is designed for baby bottles, but... The measurements on Amazon specifically stated that it's about this long, so it should it'll get quite easily to the the bottom of my like longer bottles. Thankfully, hello burger, welcome back. Vinegar works well to clean them. Awesome. I will try doing a vinegar rinse or two, uh, maybe before. Although it is it's a metal bottle. Is that gonna? I always get nervous with like strong acids or alkaline with metal. I don't know how they're gonna. Mm. I mean, it should be sealed. Like, it should be totally sealed because it's fucking food safe. I don't know. Um, some of them are plastic, but some of them are metal. Oh, no dihydrate. Only hydrate. Cleaning a bottle with mold sounds legit. Yeah. It's like slight bacteria growth at the bottom of the bottle, and I'm just like, ew. Ew. Ranting. Imagine ranting. I know, Pers. Like, who the hell does that? Stop playing around for eight years after Pandalane came back recently. Come on, still have my fishing rod, then got told you don't need it anymore. Do I still need skidding knives and mining picks? Sorry for the new question. Not a problem at all there. Look, everyone has to ask those questions at some point, right? It's just that some of us have the answers given to us by patch notes, uh, and some of us have the answers given to us by Wowhead, and others have the answers given to us by other players. There's no, no noob questions. Everyone has to have asked that question at some point in some form. Um, I don't think you need the skinning knives or mining picks anymore. I, my main's neither a skinner nor a, a miner though, um, so I don't think you need them anymore. However, if you're like disenchanting or if you're crafting things, um, like for inscription, you need the the inking set. For enchanting, you need the enchanting rod, stuff like that. So for a lot of the crafting professions, you still need stuff, but I think the gathering professions, you may not anymore. There you go. Just says no in regards to both. Fantastic. There you go. So gathering professions don't need stuff anymore, but a lot of the crafting professions do still need some kind of thing for some recipes, not for all. It will say though in your like bits in in your thingamajig, it'll say requires virtuoso inking set, for example. Uh, so you can always check what you're crafting to see if there's anything you need. Uh, yeah, and you get a bonus of like 10 levels if you do. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Mods don't have to follow chat rules. Put emote only on. Mods can still type normally. Exactly. But would still be okay. No, I know, but it would get annoying and in the way. <laughs> and more of the message. Yeah. It had kind it had just, it had, like, I would be afraid that I'd be skipping over the stream captain bot messages to try to catch up faster. And then I'd accidentally skip over somebody else's message because it's gotten caught between, do you know what I mean? I'd turn it off so that I know... I'm supposed to be responding to everything. Uh, rods get bonuses. Some rods, yeah, absolutely. 
Hang your paper towels wrapped around because why not? Uh, metal and vinegar as well. Use vinegar cleaning. All kinds of metal. Okay, fantastic. Vinegar should work fine on metal. It's not that bad. Make sure you wash the brush as well as they get stuff growing. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm I'm very, very much, especially considering how sick I can get with the autoimmune bullshit. I'm very, like, my the stuff I, like, how can you clean something when the cleaning implement is dirty? Absolutely not. No way in hell. Um, so, yes. I, I feel that wholeheartedly. Um, you're welcome, Radio. Someone might be wondering the same, but too afraid to ask. Exactly. Which another, another fishing rod. There you go. Hello, Lander. Welcome back. I should set up my own bot messages come through different color on OBS. I need a plugin that does that. That'd be really good. Or like just kind of dull slightly, not as not as bright white or something like that. So that I know I can skip over stuff that isn't. Because if it's highlighted, I'll think that it's because someone's saying my name, like Ventu just has. You know what I mean? Uh, whereas if it's if it's low lighted, maybe that will help. I wonder if OBS does have a plugin that does that. If you find one purse, holy shit, let me know, yeah? <laughs> let me know. Oh shit. What's the password for Wi-Fi? <laughs> Fuck. Um frequent this part of town. Good morning, Bentu. I hope you're doing very well. Come here, you giant hunk of plastic. Oh my god, my knee. Holy shit. I am a broken and old. Whew! Uh, like I thought I'd just make it say my name in every message because I never get out in my own chat anyway. I do. Like a lot. I do like a lot. Mm. What the fuck is with this queue? Dislike. Six minutes. Have you tried XSplit instead of OBS? Yes. I hate it. I dislike it intensely. It chews through my computer resources massively like it just it used up so many resources that it absolutely like why <laughs> why did it need to do that because obs runs so much cleaner like yeah not happening uh try password <laughs> let me get this straight you're saying my dog licking clean the plates isn't actually clean are you calling my good girl a dirty girl uh i mean no but like Fuck, I lick my plates clean sometimes because the sauce is delicious, but then I still wash them afterwards. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wish the same to you. Yay! Fantastic. I'm so glad to hear that. The same good company. Uh, okay. Good. Is connected. Wait until the update is done. Update now. So I will have Amazon Alexa on my wrist. Activity tracking always on display. Uh, pay from your wrist, heart rate and exercise, sleep tracking, and sleep score. <laughs> Hang on. Master smart devices. Use your voice to control Alexa compatible speakers, lights, or thermostat. I like this. <laughs> I'm not sure that Jasses could do that. I'm going to try to set that up and see if I can say, you know, whatever it is. Hey, hey, bitch face, turn off the lights and have like zoom, zoom. Oh God, that'd be fantastic. Whew, that'd be nice. What the fuck is with this queue? Is there anyone on the alliance side who wants to like join me? Steps, distance, active minutes and calories. Always on display. Use this mode to see activity stats and check the time with a glance. I do like that I can just kind of tip it up and it lights up and shows me all my stuff. Um, pay from your wrist. I am, like, I've got phone, I've got tap and pay stuff set up, but I'm... Um, interesting. I know that with, like, I know with my phone, though... If it taps and wants me to pay something, I have to, like, no matter how much it costs, I have to, like, put in my passcode or use my 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 fingerprint. Whereas I don't think I'd need to do that with a with a Fitbit, so I, that makes me more nervous. I feel like people could walk past me on the street and, like, tap it and take my money. 
I'm not sure how often that actually happens, but I feel like that's something that would happen like more often than we would like to think about. Um, so I think I'd prefer to keep that just on my phone. Uh, heart rate and exercise, we know that. Heart rate zones, real time pace and distance. Goal track for 15 plus exercises. And auto exercise recognition. That's really good. I can just like go for a walk and the Fitbit's like, by the way, I noticed you did a walk. Here are your calories burned. Like it's, excuse me, it's very nice. The sleep tracking and sleep score is interesting because when I wake up, I try desperately to go back to sleep and it recognizes that as more sleep. Thank you very much, Koala, by the way, for the quicker um, cue. <laughs> I deeply appreciate it. Sleep stages, sleep score, sleep mode and silent alarm. Awake to a gentle vibration on your wrist. It is not gentle. Can we just say it is not gentle? But that's cool. So there we go. So many features. So many features. Um, Logitech is mouse and headset. So cool and are great. Logitech peripherals in general are awesome. I agree. Hello, nurse. Just do a sanitizing rinse of my cups if I do it often enough. There's no reason to scrub them. Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, we have a dishwasher and most of the stuff just goes in there. Um, but they're like, a lot of my bottles are not dishwasher safe. Um, so I don't put them in my dishwasher for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. New patch means new stuff to do. I know, right? I know. Wednesday, we're going to be exploring the new zone. On Friday, we're going to be trying to knock off as many of the collectibles as possible. Uh, and then on Saturday, we have our 12 hour in celebration of my sixth anniversary of streaming. Six fucking years. Six years. 12 hour stream, six years, and we're going to spend most of it in the new area. Uh, we're probably also going to dip our toes into some Mythic Plus and and play around with that, but we'll we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll just kind of take it as we go. Hopping on a healer. Thank you so much, Koala. You are so, like, so generous with your time. Much appreciated. Uh, if you turn on pay on the watch, I think you need to have a pin to unlock the watch enable for everything. Okay, all right, good. First time you use it each time, you need the pin when pay is on. Perfect. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, like, the fact that every single time I use my phone, I have to, like, authorize the tap. Um, because, yeah, people walking around with a square in their pocket, just sort of knocking up against people to charge whatever might be in their pocket. Fucking assholes. Anyway. Um, okay, I'm way too sleepy. So go with the remaining runs. Thank you, Jack, so much for the luck. And thank you also for joining me. Uh, I will see you next time. Rest well. So cool. Fit vibration is the only alarm that wakes me up. Have a sleep disorder. No way. That's awesome that you found something that works. Like, that's really good. It's like trying to vibe your hand off a little bit. A little bit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it gentle. It's also not like vibration so much that it puts bubbles in your blood or something stupid like that, obviously. But um, it's, it is not what I would describe as gentle. It wakes you up. <laughs> it, it, and it does not stop until you turn it off. Mm. Hello, tryhard. Welcome in. Ah, uh, sanitizing rinse is in the sink. I buy tablets from Amazon. Like that you'd see at a restaurant dish station. Cold water rinse, they sit for 30 seconds. Oh, cool. That's really interesting. I might have to look into it. Oh, in that case, you better exclamation add me. Just quick cue through these, hopefully. Well, fingers crossed, Squala. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I know you have other things you may be doing, but uh, helping me out with this is very, very generous of you. 98, oh, hang on, looking for Versa 2, here we go. We're updating, oh, it's installing now, okay. Okay, out we hop, on to the next one. I'm so excited, my god. Jas is probably also excited because he gets his thing back. <laughs> he gets his Versa back. Um, best way to, that was me. Oh, it's because it's installing. That was also me. Good. Wonderful. It's restarting it because it's installing. Good. Um, best way to explain vibration. Basically about as strong as a nice heartbreaker shaped item you can buy. Also me. Also me. I'm just messing with my bars. So no problem with helping out. Oh, fantastic. That's so good. Was that fair? Yes. Twas. 
It's got like the progress bar that's filling this up is covering like the whole width of the screen. It's it's like that blue bar on the side. Yeah, that's very interesting. I wonder what the woven band's gonna feel like on my skin. I'm so used to the silicon one at this point. Might have to switch them over. We'll see how we go. We'll see. I'm so excited. I get to start fresh tomorrow morning with all my tasks, all my self-care shit, or like just everything I can kick off tomorrow morning. I'm like, I'm so excited, you guys. It's a neck massage, I promise. Hello, Scarlet. How are you going today? Ba, ba, dum, bum. I'm all right, Brand. That's fantastic. All right is better than shit. I'm glad to hear it. I think I can probably get rid of the product information. I'm sure that's probably going to be online somewhere as well anyway. So that's, that's recyclable. That's recyclable. Um. <clears throat> was that? Where did that go? I think that was in here, wasn't it? It was. All right, so I can pop that closed again. There's something on here that tells me what's recyclable. No. I don't know if they do it elsewhere, but in Australia, uh, they've started doing, like, on a packet of, like, food packages especially, if it has more than one sort of thing. So let's say you get a box of muesli bars and then each individual muesli bar is, is individually wrapped so that you can pop it in your lunchbox or whatever. On the outside, it'll have, like, a, a you know, box with a recycling logo and then, like wrappers with like a, a different recycling logo and do you know what I mean like so it can tell you each part even even like meat products that come in like the plastic tray with the film over the top with like the absorbent pad in the bottom of them it says you know like tray film pad and they're all differently disposable and stuff it's really I mean I don't know how many people actually read it or interact with it in the right sort of way what was that Oh, are the hosting things fucked still? They might be. I don't know. Uh, I'm late again. Why no mount yet? Because RNG Jesus is being a poopy head. Stumbles like a mess. It makes my late to get the mount already. No, I didn't. But I got a Fitbit. So that's a nice. That's a nice consolation prize. <laughs> Versa 2 is updated. You can continue the setup. Fantastic. Voice and your privacy. Versa 2 has a built-in microphone to power voice features. Microphone will only be on when you are using a voice feature. You can always disable the microphone entirely for all voice features in your settings on Versa 2. Got it. Versa 2 includes Alexa. Versa 2 is all you need to talk to Alexa. Swipe over to see how Alexa can help. I imagine she can help similarly to how Suru can help. I don't want to activate her. She always does that. <sighs> Get reminders. Smart devices. That'll be handy, though. Stay up to date with weather and stuff. Not now. We'll do Alexa later. Um, active zone minutes. Keep track of minutes you spend in a heart pumping activity with this latest update. Heart rate zone notifications. During exercise, your watch will buzz to let you know when you're in your target heart rate zones and motivates you to keep going. And new languages. We now support Romanian, Russian, Portuguese, Indonesian, Polish, and Czech on your watch. Go to location in the app settings to update the watch language. It's the moment your wrist has been waiting for. I hate marketing. Anyway, uh, wear your device snugly, but with enough room for comfort. Let it sit a finger width above your wrist bone during workouts. Secure the band so it lays flat two to three finger widths above your wrist bone. That was me. Oh, it's so shiny. This is, yeah, this is definitely a different model to, to Jazz's. Oh. It's warm from the charging. Where's the, no, no, flip up this way, honey. 
<laughs> there you go. Two, three, four. So it'll go into uh, that one. Perfect fit. And then you can come back uh, this way. You can go in. Oh, the woven band is quite stiff, but like, I guess it's a good thing, maybe? I don't know. If it was all like flopping around everywhere, it'd be a lot harder to get on, I think. Oh, shit. Let's go. Ooh, it feels it feels very the woven band is very different to the the silicon band in terms of like feel on the wrist very different I think also because it's new it'll take a while to like warm up and get a little more flexible just with body heat and stuff um oh, the cleanest bags I've ever seen yeah it's because these are all I've got so many alts like it's uh a lot of them I don't play very much. I just play them for collectibles and things, so um, they don't end up getting much in their bags. I am honored. Okay. This little loopy bit over the end of the little strappy bit. There we go. Perfection. And then it'll be snug. Perfect. So that's a quite that's the right place to have it for exercise. And then it can be a little looser when I'm not really doing much. Um Alright. So that's this tune done. On to the next one. Clean your band and wrist regularly with a soap-free cleanser. If the device gets wet. <laughs> Uh, if the device gets wet, remove and dry completely after your activity. Take your device off from time to time. If you notice skin irritation, please remove your device. See our full wear and care tips. Now get moving and make every moment count. Done. <laughs> your Versa 2 Special Edition comes with a three-month free trial of Fitbit Premium. Of course it does. Uh, I think I will not do that yet. Um... I will do that after I recover from surgery, I think. Because <clears throat> that way I can actually properly, like, take full advantage of the features and things. Because if I do it now, like, I don't know how, how long I'm going to be out after surgery. Um, she must not be named. <laughs> I'll sleep watching a Sims VOD. Oh, no way. No how since I started playing God of War. I uh, have never played... It or similarly similar games, I was like, I'm terrible at this. And I paused and was like, how can I be good at this if I've never done it? Exactly! you got to learn. you got to practice. It'd be fine. Give five subs if you set it to Romanian and learn a new language while you exercise. <laughs> Romanian, though. Good lord. Romanian. Um, I'm too snug as a bug in a rug in a mug. Aww. Evening. Oh, hello, Seek. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. I have. Like, really, truly. Really and truly. And also, look! Isn't it pretty? It arrived today. We've just uh, unboxed it and I've set it up and everything and it's bloody gorgeous. I'm very happy with it. It hath arrived. I just had you kind of made me laugh. Of course. Of course. Awesome! Super cool. So there you go. Ooh, stress management. That's a new one. And health metrics. Ah, this is one I didn't have on the other one. Track new health metrics and trends. Know your body better with new health metrics and graphs that help empower you to do what's best for your body. Just wear your Fitbit device to sleep to get your data. This is super cool. Resting heart rate and all sorts of fun stuff. It's kind of cool. Alright. Out we get. We forgot to come finish looking for <laughs> Thank you, X. I feel like trash. I, I got up relatively reasonably uh, time-wise. Um, went to brunch with mum and stepdad. And uh, I came home. They came home with us and picked up a couple of things I've been holding for them for a while. And uh, and then 
I passed the fuck out while playing some Pokemon. Yep, I fell asleep. And I woke up, essentially, when my alarm went off to start getting ready for stream. <laughs> so that's fun. <clears throat> So what do you do for stress management? Like, what is the... Because that's fun. Log how you're feeling. We provide you with your stress management score using data tracked by your device, including your heart rate, sleep, and activity. We use this information to generate a daily stress management score. We will show you graphs of the stress management score over time. We may use your past data to show you historical graphs uh, over the last 30 days or other timelines. Don't have to use this feature, and you can always stop it by... Removing your stress management data or your account at any time. It's important to note this feature is not intended to diagnose or treat any medical condition and should not be relied on for any medical purpose. It is intended to provide information that can help you manage your well-being. If you have any concerns about your health, please talk to a healthcare provider. If you believe you are experiencing a medical emergency, call emergency services. I agree. Learn how your body responds to stress. Our stress management score helps you see if your body is showing signs of stress on a daily basis. The score ranges from 1 to 100, where a higher number means your body is showing fewer physical signs of stress. <clears throat> With a premium membership, you can view more details about your stress management score. Responsiveness looks at heart rate data and electrodermal activity to assess whether your body shows sign of stress. Exertion balance gauges the impact of activity on your physical stress level. As you, like I've, I've said to you guys before, like I, I know that if I'm feeling really stressed, if I go for a walk, I can feel that effect on my body. Like, I can feel it. I know it helps. Does that mean I do it more often? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I know that it helps. Uh, and sleep patterns. Assess the impact of sleep quality on stress levels. I feel like I know where my stress level is going to be. Dan, Zam, Meaty, and S4, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards we head. See how your stress management score changes over time. A high number is good. It means we've detected fewer signs of physical stress. In the Fitbit app, you'll find tools to help you manage stress, which can help you bounce back more quickly from everyday challenges. I, what, okay, who wants to bet that for the next three months, my fucking phone is gonna be like, bitch, go for a walk. Go get some sleep. What you doing? Why are you stressed? What are you doing? Why is your number so low? Go do the thing. Yep. Um, it's going to be yelling at me a lot. Um, <laughs> this is going to be great. Uh, <laughs> stress affects both mind and body. No shit. Uh, all right. Let us open the box. There we go. Um, your stress management score may not always match how you feel. Log how you feel throughout the day to get a clearer picture of how your mind and body respond to stress. Start reflecting. How are you feeling? Very calm, calm, neutral, stressed, very stressed. I am feeling stressed. Not very stressed, like I'm not panicking, but I am not chill. Correct. <laughs> Log reflection. There we go. I don't have a number yet because it doesn't have enough data from me yet, but that's okay. We will get that and it'll be great. Uh, I just had to, it kind of made me laugh, of course. Uh, next 50, next year, 50, 60s. This is what everyone keeps telling me to do, but like, I don't think they understand how much work that is. <laughs> it's so pretty. I came in as you mentioned the cleaning bit. Yes. A Fitbit many, many years ago ate and did find if my Fitbit was too tight did cause a bit of irritation. Cleaning the band gently with warm water each week did help reduce the contact dermatitis. I think part of it is silicon bands on a wrist, not used to having it. Yeah, he isn't wearing watches with silicon. I don't remember your act anymore. Well, that's Jass's one that I've been wearing for a while now, and that's a silicon band. This one has come with, um, so this is the small woven band. It's navy and pink is how it's described. And then that's the copper rose faceplate thing. And it also comes with the large woven band, as well as a small and a large navy and rose gold, copper rose, whatever, um, band as well. So, like, I have fucking options. I have fucking options, and I'm pretty happy about that. 
Um, but yeah, mum had a, a charge, a Fitbit charge years ago. And it, like, it was not just mild irritation. It gave her a full-blown rash. Um, and she washed it with warm, soapy water and all that kind of, and nothing helped. Um, but she also gets uh, more, like, lately, uh, as the years have gone on, she gets a lot of contact dermatitis from a lot of really random things. Um, like, she'll just, she'll use something really, like, normal for most of us, like a particular hand cream. And, like, a couple of hours later, she's got, like, scaly blisters and stuff all over her hands. Like, it's just not, not, like, super bad ones that she's going to the hospital for, but just enough that she's like, okay, washes her hands with a friendly soap and, and water and then never touches that hand cream again. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, mum gets a lot of contact dermatitis and there's a few things that seem to make my hands a little bit irritable. Um, but this, this, the silicon one for this has been fantastic. Um, we'll see how the woven man goes. I'm interesting. I'm interesting. Yeah, you heard me. Uh, I'm interested to see how I go with a woven band and like going for walks and stuff. Not that I really get like super sweaty or anything. Um, in fact, having the silicon on my wrist has made it, me get more sweaty, I feel like. Um, but that might just be because it's not fabric absorbing it and it can't just evaporate. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, but I have been advised that the bands are washable. Um, so I'll have to do a little bit of research, like the woven ones are washable. So I have to do a little bit of research and see if that's like, I can toss it in the, in the washing machine with a, a lingerie bag or if I have to like hand wash it or something. But uh, we'll see, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I get to give Jas his back as well. So we can both track our, our health and fitness. Hello, Zeren! Speak of the devil. I'm sure you've just heard all of that explanation, but it has arrived! Look at it! Isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy. I've been sitting here reading all about it and like charging it and updating it and installing it on my phone and all that kind of fun stuff. I'm so happy. It's fucking beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It arrived today. On Sunday of all time. Like, what? Good afternoon, Shred. Welcome on in. What have we done? Everything and nothing. Which started causing me so much anxiety, but reminding me to constantly manage my anxiety. That is also, it's like, you are very stressed. It's like, good, shit, how do I fix it? Fuck, yeah, like, come on. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to react with that information? Like, what, what am I supposed, like, how do I handle this? <laughs> Panic. Let's get this mount, go, 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 fingers crossed. Uh, hearing you talk about your Fitbit has made me charge mine. Look at me go, influencing. <laughs> Similar Samsung equivalent. Awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. Looking on phone, couldn't tell. As is small, of course, of course. You heard it, folks. Fear is interesting. Look, apparently. Mum's working with the doctors trying to figure out what is causing her to itch. Everything you'd expect it to be, it isn't. Think her liver's been checked four times now and it's fine. Unsure what it is. Yeah. The last time I had like itching head to toe, like just constant random itches just all the time. Um, yeah, my liver was failing. Uh, so that was fun. <laughs> Not terrifying at all, but yeah, no, it's, uh, random itches can be very, very interesting. In case you had any doubts. Yay, indeed, it looks great. I'm so happy with it, Kay. So happy. You should take a moment to breathe. Now! No, seriously, now! Stop what you're doing and do breathing exercises! Yeah, it's like fucking... Good lord. <laughs> you put my Galaxy Watch on the charger? Yes, do it, guys! Everyone, if you have... If you are amenable to the idea and you have some form of trackery doohickey. Go put it on charge. Let's 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 do this. Let us be healthier together. Influence me to buy a new hair dye. Hey! It's gonna change my color anyways, but you hyped up vampire red so much I had to try it. It is awesome. I really like it a lot. Um and I also love that it shows up. I mean I've got natural like you can kind of see my hair because I've got a bit of regrowth going on. My hair's naturally like a, a mousy brown, like a really light brown, dark blonde kind of shade. Um, and I don't have to bleach it at all to get the vampire red to show up. And that's like good because I don't want to damage my hair any more than my meds already have. <laughs> Cause my hair's trash quality because of my meds. Um, so something that actually sticks to my hair and shows up without me having to damage it is really, really good. It is, it is like, it's semi-permanent. So it does wash out. It does stain everything. However, as long as it's being stained from your hair and not from the actual dye itself, it washes straight out in a regular washing machine wash. Even white shirts that I've like washed my hair and it's still wet and I've got the white shirt on and then I take it off later and I realize I've got pink spots all over my back. They wash straight out because it's such diluted pigment from my hair to the, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff, really good stuff. Just don't leave it on bent on, on like sinks and stuff because it will, it will stain badly. 
Uh, <laughs> I know that doctor says my liver functions are slightly off. Could explain the random itching I get my left hand. Potentially, yeah. I mean, no harm in raising it with the doctor. Um, cause it could be something else. And if it is something else, they might be able to help you figure out what it is and make it stop. But yeah, liver, liver failure. Um, I remember cause mum was, mum called one day and was asking how all my meds and stuff were going. And I said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing really well, but I'm just, you know, taking Telfast every day. And she's like, why are you taking Telfast every day? So I'm just itching like fucking crazy. I could tell when it was time for me to take a new 24 hour Telfast because everything would start itching immediately again. Um, head to toe. So I get random like scalp itching and then like my face and my jaw and, and like my arms and my forearms and my hands, my legs, my body, like my torso, literally everywhere was itching. Um, and as soon as I scratched one itch, another one would pop up somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> and when I told mum that, she's like, when's your next doctor's appointment? And I'm like, oh, pretty soon. And she's like, you need to tell them this and you need to ask for a liver function test. And so I did. And they're like, yeah, that's fair. And uh, yeah, my liver was fucked. Like next to, like like my, my um, uh, when they got the results back, usually I just don't hear anything. If everything's normal, I just don't hear anything. Um, but my specialist called me and she's like, yep, yeah, so uh, are you busy at the moment? I'm like, oh, I'm at work, but like, you know, I've got sick leave if I need to take it, what's going on? And she's like, come. Could you come down? Because she works from the hospital. Could you could you come down? Um, we've just got a couple of tests we want to run. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, when when do you need me to come? She's like, ah, uh, now, now would be good. Uh, I'll let emergency know you're on your way. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> it turned out my liver function was literally through the floor. I could not drink a drop of alcohol for months, like three or four months. I had to stay away from alcohol. Um, and just all like, I was not a healthy person. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was unfortunately not just a bit off. It was fucked. Uh, <laughs> but they took me off my meds and the liver is phenomenal. Like as long as you catch it early and you treat it kindly, um, your liver is phenomenal at like repairing itself, like really fucking good. Uh, and so because they caught it when they did um, and it hadn't done any permanent damage and I just, you know, was was like super healthy for a bit and they took me off all my meds to let everything sort of do its thing. And uh, yeah, I was fine within a few months, but yeah, it was not, it was, it was pretty scary, not gonna lie, to be in your like, you know, mid, mid, late twenties, I think I was what, 27, 28? And, um, and being told you basically don't have a liver. <laughs> I'm like, good, wonderful. <laughs> Uh, but luckily, uh, I didn't need to be admitted or anything like that. I was just like, they just monitored me really, really frequently. Like I had bloods pretty much every week for a while um, just to make sure that I was on track and that the function was going up. And uh, it did. And I'm fine, thankfully. But yeah, uh, I guess it turned out really well despite being on dark hair. Yay, very happy with that. Oh, that's wonderful to hear, Lucky. Wonderful to hear. Um, that badly was so awesome, oh my god. And I was feeling really itchy right now. Yes, I can imagine, and I, I do apologize. Keep in mind that talking about stuff tends to make you feel that stuff. I'm sure that most, if not all, of your livers are functioning just fine. Uh, there may be some of you who aren't, but that's, you know, it's just, <laughs> you know, a case of averages and numbers and things like that. But, um, yeah. You, I'm sure you'll be fine. If you do, if honestly, if you have any kind of concerns, um, you, your liver's pretty fucking resilient. There are very few situations in which your liver function will actually decline, and that's things like alcoholism or if you're on a really strong bloody medication that that your liver just doesn't particularly like, um, or if you're super super unhealthy in other ways, it can fuck with the liver function and stuff like that. But like. You should be fine. If you do have any other health concerns, as always, speak to your medical professional. Uh, they are the ones who can order these kinds of tests for you and get you checked out if you need to be. Um, but yeah, you'll like. I'm sure. I'm sure you're only itchy because we're talking about it. Uh, it's not ominous or anything. Liver is one hell of an organ. The liver is incredible. Absolutely amazing. Supremely amazing. I end up feeling itchy every time I talk about it with my mum. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. My lord. Oh, dearie me. Uh, 
Uh, okay, that's my first 10 Alliance tunes done. We're going to switch back to Saofeng, switch back to Horde. So if you have a Hordy you would like to bring along to runs, now's the time to check your quick join and jump on in with me. If all the other organs could take notes from the liver, we'd be good, right? Wouldn't we just be? Like, come on. Why Why not? Just why can they not? Arg. Arg. <laughs> My liver is the only organ that's been behaving itself in my body. Everything else is in that constant state of distress. Yep. Yep. I'm looking forward to actually starting to log my food and stuff in here. Um, I have, I've set, uh, I've set the Fitbit to do like in terms of calorie logging and food and stuff like that. Um, I've set it to like adjust how many calories I'm supposed to eat in a day depending on how much activity I have so every so often like if I go for a bit of a walk and then I look again it's like you know you've got 50 more calories to eat like it's okay um but I want to make sure it's it's less that I want to make sure I'm not eating too much and it's more that I want to make sure I'm eating enough because like the fact of the matter is if you starve yourself even if it's unintentionally even if you're just not hungry if you under eat you will have less energy and everything kind of goes downhill and, and all that kind of stuff because your body just doesn't have enough fuel to run. It's like trying to run a car on a dribble of fuel every time you go out. You know what I mean? It's just it's not good for the car, therefore it's not good for you. Um, I know that our bodies are not like cars, but it's still the same. So I want to make sure that I'm eating enough because uh, I know that I, I, I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't because I very rarely... Like, I don't, t I, I tend, I get hungry if I haven't eaten for a while, but I don't, like, not much food is, is, it seems to be enough to kind of get rid of the hunger pain or whatever. So I feel like I'm under eating. Um, and then if you under eat, you know, you don't get as hungry because your body's not used to, do you know what I mean? Like, it just, yeah, it's all a bit wonky. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how I go in general. And actually do mindfulness shit, like sit down and do a a, um, a meditation or two. <clears throat> there are only two free meditations on this app, but I think you can log one manually anyway. Your journey. Can I not? Sessions, why can't I just... Why can't I log one manually? That's really bad. I don't like that at all, because I like Insight Timer. That's a really good one. <laughs> Let me Google. Fitbit log meditation. <clears throat> Thank you for your inquiry about logging external meditation sessions to your mindfulness area on your Fitbit account. Apparently this isn't available, but you can share your idea in our feature suggestions board. There is a suggestion there already. I wonder. This is from a long time ago, though. <clears throat> See how we go. Uh, fortunately, my liver is really dry. I feel that, but also fat body. Just use the fat you stored. What the fuck? I know, right? You don't need that for warmth. What are you doing? My mum's lucky that she doesn't have a doctor that dismisses things. Yeah, me too. Me, honestly, I, I've lucked out big time with the medical professionals that I've managed to get in with. They all really genuinely listen to my concerns. And if my concern is bullshit and it's just they, they don't just kind of go, no, it's, that's, you don't need to worry about that. They legitimately say, look, I can understand where you're coming from, but 
this is why that doesn't apply to you or you know what I mean? Like they're just, they're so conscientious in explaining to me in a way that doesn't make me feel like a two year old, which is really lovely. Um, most recent liver test was for fatty liver. What her, my uncle, her older brother is dealing with. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's always good. Like where, when you have similar symptoms and stuff to family members, it's always really good to kind of go back through that family medical history again and see what the hell's going on. Um, yeah, so jealous I have to fight every doctor to take me seriously. There, yeah, look, it's, there are some doctors that are just like, they really do listen. There are some doctors that whose education just doesn't, like they, they're really strict. Like this is what they know is correct. So if it's outside of that, like, I mean, I've had, I've had partners in the past who, when I've said something like, I'm on, oh, what about this? They're like, no, that's, that you don't, that's not important. Okay. But why? If you tell me why I can factor that information into my next suggestions so I don't waste your time with shit that's the same, that's wrong for the same reason. Do you know what I mean? Like at least give me why. And they just, they're terrible communicators. <sighs> Excuse me. So it's not, it's not always that a doctor isn't taking you seriously. They are def they may, may, not always, they may be listening, but they're really bad at communicating back to you why you don't have to worry about that particular thing. It's good. Maybe you don't have to worry about it. And that's a great thing. You know, maybe, maybe that doesn't apply to you because of your personal situation. And that's fantastic. But having the information as to why is really important for a patient and not all doctors are great communicators. Absolutely. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing very well. Crumb. Oh, we've got an ad shit. I'm doing very well. I'm tired, but I'm good. Uh, two main clinics in my area. One of them has the doctor who diagnosed me with fibro, who listens to every concern I have, helps me work through them. And the other one, I had a gyno think that having my tubes tied meant I had a hysterectomy. Every primary I've had there doesn't believe in fibro. I don't understand, like what? Not, I don't believe in fibro. Like it's not the tooth fairy. If there, if there is, like if there is a, if there are enough studies that even suggest it's a thing, then they should be open to the possibility of it being a thing. As long as those studies are obviously reputable and in reputable journals and all that kind of stuff, then that should be considered as a possibility until shown otherwise, you know? I just don't understand not taking that kind of stuff into account, you know? Like, see, if I was told, if someone if someone told me, no, that's wrong, that doesn't exist, my next fucking appointment, I would be coming in with literally printed journal articles saying, here is this, here, or I'd be going home that day and sending an email to the, the clinic and saying, Dr. Such and Such dismissed me because of this, this, and this. Here are all of these journal like published journal articles that indicate that what i'm concerned about is valid is dr such and such willing to to talk to me about this or do i need to book in with a different physician and just see what happens from there and if they absolutely like shut me down i'd fucking report them but i'm i'm salty so <laughs> and I also like, and because it's via email, there's no confrontation for me. Like, I don't feel like that's, that doesn't, that, that kind of confrontation doesn't give me anxiety because I don't have to have the conversation. I don't have to like have my brain active when witty and coming back with these, you know, like, you know what I mean? So it's a lot easier for me to confront via email. I know that's not the case for everyone, but, and yeah, I'd be reporting to a medical board or whatever reportable area, thing in my area. Because the thing is, I guarantee you if a, if a doctor has turned me away for a thing, they will have turned other people away from the same thing. And in future, if not stopped, they will continue to do so. And there will be people who continue to suffer because of this person being ignorant. Um, I had a doctor who I went in to ask for a mental health care plan. So in Australia, we have a system called the mental health care plan. Uh, and you go into a doctor and they do a prelim preliminary, um, uh, like a psyche valve. Uh, very, very low, like, you know, they ask you a bunch of questions and it's like one to five and all that kind of stuff. And then you get a score. And if you get a, a certain score, then you're able to get a referral to a psychologist. Uh, and it needs to be done per calendar year. You get six sessions uh, with a psych that is covered by Medicare, which is our um, universal health care, our public health system. Uh, and then if 
you, after the six sessions, are still feeling as though you will benefit from that. You get a letter, you, your, your psych sends you a letter back to your GP and you go back to the GP and you get another referral for another four sessions. So you get 10 sessions covered per year. What a lot of people don't know is that that's six and four individual sessions plus six and four group sessions. So if you're someone who could benefit from group therapy as well, it's not a this or that, it's a both. You get both, if you didn't know that, FYI. This is Australia, obviously. I only have experience with the Australian healthcare system. I can't tell you anything about anywhere else. So I go to this doctor and it's January and I have a psych appointment in a week. Um, so I need to get a referral so that I don't have to pay a lot of money. I get a lot back from, from having the mental health care plan. And he flat refuses to give me one, re regardless of the fact that I have a printed letter from my psych there. Uh, all this guy, he said he, he refused to give one. He said it's per 12 calendar, it's per month, like per, per 12 months, not per calendar year. So because you've had one seven months ago, you don't get another one until like, what is it? Five months from now. I said, nope, it's per calendar year. And he said, no, you're wrong. It's per 12 months. I said, no, it is per calendar year. My prior GP, who I cannot get an appointment with at the moment, told me it is per calendar year. My psychologist has told me it is per calendar year. It is not per 12 months. It is per calendar fucking year. And he said, I am not giving you this because you cannot have one yet. And so I walked out. The, the appointment was bulk billed, which means I didn't pay a cent up front. Um, I was called a week later by the, the GP's uh, office saying, hey, we've got you on here as having an appointment a week ago. Did you need a follow up? And I said, no, and I do not want to see that GP ever again. And she said, can I ask why? Because, you know, feedback is important. I said, yep. Um, I was refused a mental health care plan, even though I've been seeing a psychologist for three years at this point. Uh, I was told incorrect information about how frequently I could have this thing. I left there. I had another appointment two days later with another GP and got one. Uh, and he is unac unacceptable. You know, there's a, there is a very good chance that someone who goes in there and asks for a mental health care plan and doesn't get one could proceed to harm themselves or others because they can't get access to good care because your doctor has refused to give them the referral that they are entitled to. And she said, okay. Noted. Fair enough. Uh, would you like to report this as an official complaint? I said, yes. <laughs> and so I did. Uh, and then that also, you know, I went and, and did that formally with the uh, what's it and all that kind of stuff as well later. Because it just, it's just so fucking dangerous. So fucking dangerous. But yeah, look, my experiences. There are, there are shitty ones out there who don't know what they're doing. Um... There are other there are other GPs out there who may not know what they're doing, but they're absolutely ready to listen and then go away and learn about a thing that they haven't encountered before and then come back later equipped with new knowledge, prepared to help with what do you know what I mean? Like they GPs have an enormous job. Enormous job. Like they are they have to be trained, they have to recognize so many different clusters of symptoms and, and figure out what it could be and what type of specialist you need to be referred to or when like all they, they, they have to have so much fucking knowledge and I cannot imagine trying to retain all of that like me with my memory how that I could never do it I could not possibly ever work as a GP um mostly because I don't have a medical degree <laughs> but also because like just the amount of sheer knowledge that they have to retain is absolutely ridiculous uh however they need to be able to recognize that and they need to be able to recognize that they may have misremembered something. They need to be able to go and ref like double check information that you are like, if you give them something that contradicts with what they know, they should have the, the like humility to be able to go, I'm going to check that for us. Just make sure that we're on the right page, you know, and then go and check that and go, Oh, okay, cool. So this is the information that that is on the government website. This is what's official, and so this is what we're going to work to. You know, like that's. But anyway, it's the refusal to do that. It's the bullheadedness that that'll fuck them and and fuck other people as well. Ah, uh, where are we? Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Hmm, I feel you on that. I experienced fibro pain from a young age. Got lucky with my doctor at the time. Current doctor is wanting to transfer me to someone who knows a heck more about it as she only knows it on... I've heard of it level, yeah. And that is that is another really, like... 
again, on the humility thing is, you know, I recognize that this is probably what you have. I don't have as much experience in this as my colleague does. I would like my colleague to treat you because you are far more likely to have better outcomes dealing with my colleague than you are with me. Like that is, that takes a lot of like, you know, it, it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I massively appreciate that. Um, on like on a professional level, massively appreciate that. So many salts. I've had this to sort of 18 years, pretty sure it's real. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Doctor's minimized experience is trying to make me think it's all in my head. For sure, for sure. Uh, I feel like a lot of doctors, because of sort of default, nothing else fit these symptoms diagnosis. I feel it's akin to somatic symptom disorder or hypochondria. Yeah, it's like, look, we have a lot of like things like even things like irritable bowel syndrome is a disease of exclusion. Like, we have checked for everything else, nothing else fits, yet clearly there is something wrong, so this is what we're going to call it. Um, which makes it a bit of a catch-all, because, you know, there there are diseases out there, we don't know what they are, and so we call them this, And but that means a whole bunch of potential diseases can be lumped under one description therefore one treatment's not going to work for everybody because everyone actually has different diseases we just don't know that they actually exist individually does that make sense i hope it does um but yeah so it's kind of a oof yeah it's a it's a thing Uh, sorry, um, thing was buzzing and I'm like, what are you doing? Um, I've only ever complained once, so I wish I'd done so more after the emergency room sent me home literally in the middle of throwing up blood, later learned that my appendix was almost septic. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that's like, look, when you have so many people coming through somewhere like an emergency room, things are going to slip through the cracks. Things are going to be fucked up, but something like vomiting blood you know like an indeterminate pain in a in somewhere in your abdomen like there's sometimes there's not a whole lot they can actually figure out to do and all that kind of stuff and so they give you painkillers and they send you home because they don't know how else to treat you but something like vomiting blood feels like something that needs a little more more of a watchful eye in my you know unprofessional opinion uh, but yeah, no, that's absolutely an appropriate time to make a complaint. It's not like you're trying to get people fired. It's more about, like, and this is this is something because people are like, oh, I don't want to get anyone in trouble and blah, blah, blah. But no, it's not about that. It's about using your experience and your situation as education for the staff members so that next time something similar happens, they can prevent, oh, shit, I'm a tank. Fuck. Oh, no. I oopsied. Um, but yeah, it's it's more about making sure that next time a similar situation happens, they can use the learnings from your situation to not let somebody else suffer the way you did. Do you know what I mean? Like, learn from your mistakes is the biggest thing here. Learn from mistakes. Uh, but yeah, that's... Sometimes people do need to be fired because sometimes things fuck up. Beyond, yeah. Uh, Dan, Meaty, Sean, Cade, and Fairy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. You know, sometimes, sometimes it's even intentional. There have been countless stories of people intentionally dispensing the wrong medication and stuff in order to harm somebody just because they're on a power trip or something stupid. Uh, but it's... Oh! Hermes is granting his blessing to the battlefield. I'll click him for more info. Where's... Assassins have double move speed. Every nine seconds become untargetable for three seconds. All units gain 50% defense against damage from range. Jesus Christ. That's a... That's a thing. So, fewer ranged, more assassins by the sounds of it. All right, here we go. Where's the box? Hmm... Fuck, your healthcare system is screwy. Uh, I have heard a lot of that similar yes. 
<laughs> yes. I have a link bookmark that's for how to complain in NHS bookmark due to friends having problems. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Silly question. Don't know if the NHS is a thing in Oz. No, um, we have Medicare. NHS is, uh, I don't know what it stands for, National Hospital Scheme? Healthcare Scheme, maybe? Uh, and that's uh, UK. That's in the UK. Uh, what's a GP? A general practitioner. It's like the first stop, your your um, your first doctor that you go see when you're having, uh, you know, you, you're uncertain what's going on, but your leg hurts a bit. Uh, and so you go to the GP and they run a bunch of like blood tests maybe, or like they poke and prod you and stuff. And then they go, oh, actually I can see that your knee's a bit swollen here. That looks like a joint issue. I'm gonna send you to a rheumatologist who's a, like a joint specialist. Um, so yeah, they're a, they're a general practitioner. Um, that's your first stop in your your entrance to the the medical shit. Ah, uh, okay, I'll some general practitioner. Yes, right, of course, thank you. Uh, no problem, get so confusing at all different names, different health services around the world. Absolutely, agreed. Uh, so they can prevent fear from being a tank. <laughs> um, please with my real GP. No experience with trans stuff was accepting in me and happy to refer me to an appropriately experienced GP. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. I love that. Yeah, again, accepting this is this is not my area of expertise. You are going to get a better experience working with my colleague, a better outcome working with my colleague. Thankfully, the next ER I went to took one look at me and got me bumped up the triage line. Probably saved my life. Yeah, for sure. For sure. National Health Care, National Health Service. Service. Thank you. I knew it was going to be one of those words. Like, there's, there's only, you know, it's national, obviously, and then it's hospital, health care, health something. Uh, but yeah, health, National Health Service makes sense. Uh, primary care physician in the US usually. Oh, there you go. Although they're literally a general practice. Exactly. They practice medicine in a very general sense. They Some of them do have air, like special areas of interest, but they're not like, they're not a surgeon. They're not a rheumatologist. They're not an ear, nose and throat specialist. They're, they're, none, they're not a specialist in any area. They'll just have a specific interest in some way. Like my GP has a special interest in women's healthcare. Um, he, I believe he's enlisted in the uh, National Gynecology Association thing, but he's not a gynecologist. He just has a special interest in that area. Maybe when he was doing his medicine, medical degree, he took a bunch of uh, like extra things on the, like all your electives and stuff. Maybe all of his electives were geared towards like gynecology potentially, um, but he's not a gynecologist. He is a general practitioner. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna need another drink, me thinks. How are we looking? 16 for eight minutes. We're catching it. It was that, it was the first Alliance tune that took me like 10 minutes to get into a queue that has kind of given me a break there. Maybe I'll hit 20 and I'll have a chance to go get a drink. Although today is not a, not a get through it as quickly as we can day. Today, uh, I have a stretch redemption as well. Today, when we're done with the Heartbreaker runs, uh, we're going to go do some ATT transmog farming, which I'm quite looking forward to, if I'm going to be really honest. Um, although, what am I doing first? That might change my mind. Uh <laughs> Where's my all the dungeon and raid things spreadsheet? Uh, I don't mean to come in and talk about messed up stuff by the way. I forget my experiences aren't universal. No, no, of course, Lucky. But it's, it's important to recognize that although I personally have had a phenomenal experience, through all of my medical shit. I know that that's not the norm. Um, it is also not the norm usually to have a terrible experience. Usually the, the experience is somewhere in the middle. You know, you have a decent wait time and you know, your doctors might be a little bit busy, but they, they tend to get things right usually. And you know, it's a fairly, you know, the average experience. Um, we're just on different ends of the spectrum. Uh, and that's, you know, spectrums in life are fairly bloody normal. Most things can be, uh, you know, most experiences can be plop, plopped on a, on a spectrum somewhere, um, but it's all good. It's all good. I think, uh, you know, it's important to be able to talk about what can go wrong uh, and how to deal with it when it does, but also to acknowledge that that's not, like, not to, it's also important to not scare people and get them geared up for the fact that any time they talk to a medical person, it's going to be shit. Um, but also important to recognize that not every time you talk to a medical person is your experience going to be amazing. It's, you know, a spectrum.
some part of your experience will usually resonate with someone. Exactly. Exactly. Gosh, I'm an empty. Logged into a character for the mountain run, did a mission table, and logged out without doing the run. Okay. Oh, no, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It, like, yeah, I feel that, though. In my bones. In my bones. Um... I did this the other day multiple times. Absolutely. Uh, Miner, was that intentional? Caps lock. Are you yelling? Are you feeling all right? Welcome in. Ah, uh, like four tunes in a row. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I dinged! 52. Okay, who's this? Jasmine? Jasmine. Where's Jasmine? 52 for Jasmine. Uh, all right. No mount, though. That's all right. Next one. <clears throat> Oh, on the plus side, when I go back, we the last run for the day. Ah, oh, fantastic, Kay. Nicely done. Look at you go. Medical advice, is there a help not to be like you said? Okay, we've been talking about this for approximately 45 minutes now, Minor, and you've come in on literally the last sentence of the discussion. So, um, to be to be clear, I have had nothing but wonderful experience. Well, not nothing but wonderful. I've had the occasional shit experience with doctors I don't see anymore, but the vast majority of my medical experience has been phenomenal, and I've had extensive experience with medical professionals. I have an autoimmune disorder. So I am a very unwell person, uh, very unwell. And I've got an incredible GP who is always exceptionally attentive, uh, remembers all the little bits and pieces that I've said, even if it's been irrelevant from the previous uh, appointment, even if it has been literally eight months ago. Uh, my my specialists, uh, I've had a neurologist, I have a rheumatologist, I have all these different people that I speak to very regularly. Uh, and they've all also been very, like, if I've brought up something I'm concerned about, they've also always been very like, okay, either yes, let's look into that. Or they've been, uh, look, I can see why you're concerned about that but it doesn't apply to your situation because X, Y, Z, like there, there's reasons why your situation is different. And so we don't really need to worry about that. But if you are still concerned, we can still test for it, but we don't have to. Um, so like all that, kind of, I've had a fantastic experience, but it is also important to recognize that not everyone has those Im impressive experiences. Some people, especially in other countries, I'm in Australia uh, and Australian healthcare system seems to be pretty good comparatively to some countries out there. Other countries, you know, differing experiences. Uh, but each individual's experiences, they are valid. Some of them are shit. Some of them are great. Most of them are average. So yeah, I would probably advise not going into a random stream and yelling at them for one sentence um, out of what may be a very long, lengthy discussion that they have been having. It'd probably be a better course of action to jump in and be like, hey, um, what exactly are we talking about here? What, what, where is this, where is this part of the thing come from? So I could give you that background so you could jump in where we're at rather than just yelling at me. Thank you. Um, where are we at? My teeth itch? Oh God. Sometimes, my lord. Brush them with that two-in-one shampoo conditioner. <laughs> Prob's not the best thing to be eating. Uh, <laughs> talk to your medical professional. I am not one of them. Um, uh, please no, my abscesses are crying already. I don't need this. Oh, no. Cool, you're right, maybe. I got here at the end of the talk, but I love my medical. Yep, yeah, totally fair. And I love my GP. I love my rheumatologist. They are... I, I really am supremely appreciative of the medical professionals I've got. I'm, I'm blown away by how awesome my care has been, but it is important to recognize that not everyone has that same level of care. Some doctors are shit. Like some doctors are literally just shit. Um, they dismiss people and say, it's all in your head or that can't be right. You can't be having that symptom. It's like, well, bitch, I've been having it. <laughs> like, what do you expect? Um, so yeah, it's, it is important to recognize that not every medical experience for everyone is phenomenal, but I'm happy to say that a lot of mine has been, and that's fantastic, and I'm really happy about that. But yeah, the opposite experience does also occur. Hello, dupe, really, really well today. How are you going? Welcome back. Oh, what just? Oh, I must have been added. Some the healer must have left. I just dropped in, and have. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Out we hop. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, <laughs> been helped for the past couple of years and it helps a lot. Good. I'm so glad to hear that, Miner. That's fantastic news. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. That's great. Uh, just got home from work. Wonderful. I hope your work day treated you kindly. 
been chewing on my headphones for the last hour. You also, probably not the best idea to do. <laughs> Maridi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you? How is your stream? What were you playing? What were you doing? Tell me all about it. Info, give me the info. I am the hungries. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. What time is it? Six. Yeah, that's about reasonable. We had really, really big brunch and I was very full, like to the point that it hurt. Um, so I haven't eaten since then. Also because I was sleeping, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. Uh, are you getting enough protein? <laughs> oh dear. Sphere hungry, probably, yes, for helping with ATCs. Ah, it took longer than expected. You got eight people. Oh, that's fantastic, more. Oh, that's great to hear. I hope you had an absolute blast as well. Time I ate a glue stick, that's protein. I don't think that's protein. I think that's closer to like collagen, maybe, but I think it's probably mostly just synthetic. All right, so that's my 20th instant. So I've caught up. I'm sitting on 54 seconds to go. And I'm going to be switching servers again after this one because this will be tune number 30. We're going okay today. We're getting there. Not as fast as we could be, but fast enough. <clears throat> Just made my first account. Any advice for a noob? Absolutely, Tank. Welcome on in, first of all. And welcome to Azeroth. <laughs> um, advice for a newbie. Um, take your time. Take your time. Enjoy. Explore. Work your way through it at your own pace. Um, if you have questions, ask them. Because everyone, every single person who is playing this game, everyone who knows the answer to the question that you're asking. Ah, oh, Miner with the sub. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, what was I saying? Every, every single question that you have, every person who knows the answer knows it because they had to ask it at some point as well. There is, there is no like noob questions. It's like ask away. However, I would definitely recommend seeing if you can find someone who, when you ask a question, answers just your question. Because every question you ask will have 17 years of backstory. Because that's how long the game's been around for, right? Just over 17 years. And you don't need 17 fucking years of backstory. There is such a thing as information overload. And I have spoken to so many people who started playing the game, had all this information piled up onto them from friends because they're like, oh, I'm so excited to share this with you. But it was too much. And they're like, I'm never going to catch up. I'm never going to be able to learn all this. So I'm just going to give up now. But that's not the case. You don't need to know everything. You don't need to know everything. So finding someone who can answer just your question without all the backstory will be super helpful because you'll feel like you'll be tackling information as you find it rather than trying to take in 17 years of knowledge all at once, which is ridiculous and like very few people in the world are going to be capable of doing that. So yeah, take your time, explore and have fun. Play the game the way you want to play the game because it's a fucking video game and it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. Though That's my advice. <laughs> Hopefully it helps. Uh, but you're more than welcome to ask anything you need here as well. Like, we have an incredible community here full of players at all levels um, from, you know, all like both, re like both North America slash Oceanic and from EU, Horde and Alliance, different play styles, all that kind of stuff. So we'd be more than happy to help you out if you need it. Uh, good. Okay. Uh, it was an interesting day. Relocated. There was only IT folk in the new office. Ooh, quiet and shiny. Tag glue is the stuff you want. Mysterious, filled with protein and collagen. <laughs> oh my lord. And it's probably non-toxic too, because it's for kids, right? So if they eat it, they're fine. Especially don't be afraid to ask here. Yes, community is extremely helpful. We try to be. We, we do our absolute best. And if we don't know the answer, we will hunt it down with you. And that's the fun bit. That's the fun bit. Thank you so much. Good advice. Oh, you're very welcome, Tank. Not a problem at all. I feel called out. I'm the friend who explains everything more often than I No, 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 no. Look, it's because of excitement. There's nothing, like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to share your passion with somebody. Nothing wrong with that at all. It can just sometimes scare them away a little bit. <laughs> but it depends on the friend. Some people can handle all that information and they're totally fine with it. But when it's, like, a brand new player, it can definitely be a little bit overwhelming. Um, so I'm just like, that's, it's, that's my advice. But as you, as you progress, you will absolutely feel like you can take on more and more info, you know, like it's, there's nothing wrong with being passionate about it. 
Um, it can just sometimes be a little bit scary as all. Uh, don't just don't feel like that. <laughs> uh, so what are those heirloom items? Okay, in the beginning, there was only light and void in the whole universe. Yeah, right. Oh, good lord. I do that 200% get you. Totally right. Because it, it is a lot. It is a lot. And often we don't think about that because we, like, you got to remember all this information we have in our heads, we picked it up little bit by little bit as we went along playing the game. And so we're just like, oh, it's not that bad. Blah. <laughs> and then it is that bad. <laughs> you know, it, it takes skill to be able to separate out what you know versus what they actually need to know. It it takes fucking practice. It takes fucking practice. Um, uh, do you need to be a certain level to get in a guild? No. You don't. Some guilds will only do certain activities. And so you'll need to be the level that requires those certain activities. But other guilds are a lot more like social or they're specifically a leveling guild. And so they're looking for people at like all levels to get all the way up to the top kind of thing. Um, but it depends. And you'll usually be able to find like if you're in a guild finder thing, um, you can filter by what their focuses are. So like, for example, I only speak English. And if I'm looking for social and leveling, I can tick that and then I can search. And it'll show me a whole bunch of guilds that are designed for people who are, like, leveling or just chatting and stuff like that, rather than, like, a reading guild or, or something else that takes, like, higher levels. But yeah, you don't have, there's no, there's no cap on it. If you are on a trial account, you cannot join a guild. But once you've paid for your sub, you're golden. As a new player, I'm not sure if you're like if you're in a paying account just yet, or if you're um, uh, or if you're still enjoying the trial. <clears throat> FF equals information overload. Is that Final Fantasy? Or I haven't played enough of it, and I usually just ignore. Like everyone's like, oh, and this and this, and I'm like, I don't care. Shush. Let me find it myself, please. If I have questions, I'll ask. <laughs> and they go, okay. Because they don't, like, they want to tell me. They want to share their passion with me. And I get it. But fuck off. <laughs> oh, I read that as Satan. Nah, context, certain level. I get it. Um, are you new to WoW? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I've been playing for 15 years. And I've been streaming for six. Almost six. We've got our six-year anniversary stream this coming Saturday. So excited. So many giveaways, you guys. It's going to be a blast. You're going to want to be here. <clears throat> na, 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 No mount today? Oh, that's okay, Kay. I'm really hoping I don't have to do 12 hours tomorrow night. I really don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Um, but I will. <laughs> I will if I have to. I know I don't have to. I know it is my choice to play the game. I understand that. Um, but, oh, oh, okay. I was right on the 20. Okay, that's fine. I'm aware that it is my choice and I'm making the decision to do this, but it just, oh, yep. Really hoping you don't have to. Me too, me too. Just paid up and got new expansion. Couldn't get into my mate's guild. Ah, okay. So um, sometimes it takes a little while. If you've just, as in like in the last couple of hours, paid your sub up it does take a few hours sometimes for the trial flag to be removed from your account um it shouldn't take any longer than 24 hours though if you're still ha if you still can't join the guild after 24 hours then um you'll need to pop in a ticket just to get them to have a look at your account because sometimes it gets a bit stuck you know the automation systems and stuff like that but yeah if your mate says uh, if your mate types into chat slash g invite space your name um, then you should, and then it sh while you're online, and then it should pop up on your screen, and you should be able to accept or decline. Um, the other option, the other problems could be if you're on a different server. So uh, check when you're logging into your character. You have to be on the same server as your friend's guild is. Communities can be cross-server. Guilds can't. Um, but beyond that, you should be okay. You should be okay. <clears throat> yeah, one hour. Yeah, you're going to have to give it a bit of time, unfortunately. It does take a little while sometimes. 
Ah, uh, it took me a few days only back in 2020. It should only be 24 hours. It, so yeah, but yeah, double checking that the name up here above the change ROM button is the same as your friends is another a really good one as well to just double check. Um, <clears throat> two to three days off on what support will say. 24 hours is generally a good starting spot. Um, trial account. Wow. Upgrade trialware account. Let's go with that one. Account still starter edition after expansion upgrade. Mm -hmm. Um. Starter restrictions after adding game time or subscription. When you add game time to an inactive or newly created WoW World of Warcraft account, starter edition limitations will apply until the order is complete. This may take up to 24 hours depending on the payment method used. You can see the status of your order in your transaction history. Um, so if you have multiple World of Warcraft accounts, WoW 1, WoW 2, etc., verify which one you activated and make sure you launch the game selecting the correct WoW account. If you added your game time or subscription to the wrong account, contact us. If 24 hours have passed, the order shows as complete and you still see starter edition limitations, try to reset your password. This will refresh your account status with our servers and remove the restrictions. Customer support cannot remove starter restrictions. There you go. So ignore me saying open a ticket. That's wrong. My mistake. I apologize. Um, so yeah, if you jump onto the website like battle.net um, and... Uh, check your transaction history. If it's flagged as complete, then you should be okay. If it's not, and if it says complete, exit the game completely and relaunch it. And if you still can't do it, then change your password and that'll refresh your, your account. Uh, otherwise, you just have to wait for a couple of, up to, some people are saying up to a couple of days, but 24 hours, it, sh it should be like around how long it takes. Um, uh, two to three days is generally for server moves and such, which is really funny because the last time I did a server move, granted it was years ago, the last time I did a server move, it literally took less than 10 minutes before I could play the tune again. Um, thanks again. You're very welcome, Tank. Not a problem. My account hadn't been in use for quite a while, I can imagine. This may take up to 24 hours depending on the payment method used. Yes. Um, also, if you used up the character boost, you can't enter to raids. Uh, as far as I know, maybe they removed this limitation. Um, for a little while, there's there's a time, but that's not what they're talking about, Lion. They're still leveling, and they're, they're trying to join a guild. So we're trying not to overload them with too much information, because they're a brand spanking new player. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they are still leveling. That's why they, they originally asked if there was a level restriction to entering a guild. And the answer to that is no. You can join a guild at level 1. Uh, upgrade an account, did a boost during a sale. Wasn't able to transfer it for three days. Obviously, is very... Yeah, absolutely. Especially, like, we're at a sale period when everyone's doing it and they can only process a certain number per hour or whatever, I would imagine. I can... Yeah, that would definitely affect the the, the times and things. No need to reset password. Just wait. Okay, because it says on the official support page, Miner, literally, if 24 hours have passed, the order shows as complete and you still see starter account... Uh, starter edition limitations... Try to reset your password. This is official from the Battle.net site. So let's uh, have a jump on there and take a squiz. If Blizzard's the one giving the advice, I'm going to go buy it. Uh, cool. Uh, you're from Australia. What part? You're a big help. Thank you. Uh, originally from Melbourne. I currently live in Brisbane. Um, but you're very welcome. I try to help as much as I can if I know the answer. And if I don't, I go looking because I uh, might as well learn the answer, right? Uh, scroll down to the about section. Indeed, there is also all that information is uh, on on the Twitch page as well. If you scroll underneath the video. Uh, meanwhile, my account expired. I couldn't get the sale price. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh dear! All right, so I'm in healing spec. Let's see what it pops me as. <clears throat> Yeah, like if the wait's gonna be two to three days for me able to, for me to be able to level past level twenty, I'd change my password to make it go faster. Fucking no. oath. <laughs> it takes me ten seconds worth of effort. For sure. You live in Adelaide. Oh fantastic. I hope it's nice over there at the moment. Brisbane's a little bit all over the place. Sometimes it's stinking hot and the other times it's bucketing down with rain. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll get there. It will be okay. How are we looking? Yeah, plenty of time. 
Golden. Looks like it's tank queues at the moment. Why is it not putting me as a tank then? That's interesting. Oh. Oh, it's got me as DPS, maybe. Nope. Healer. Cool. Mm, did you see a flitcher message on Insta when links in a recent post was broken? Ah! Oh, uh, links in posts don't work. You can't click them in an Instagram post description. Uh, I did see that you sent me a message, but I haven't had a chance to check it, no. But Instagram posts in the link, the links never work. You have to type them out yourself. Um, ah! Oh, Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Tank Men. Very appreciative. Congratulations, Tank, on your gifted sub. Uh, but yeah, links typed in Instagram description boxes never work. It's just there so people know where they can go and they can type it out because they're far more likely to see that and copy and paste it um, than they are to actually go into the link in a bio, I have discovered. Uh, <laughs> fun facts with fear. Links to users you can point to nowhere. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to go have a look. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Hi, the Sunwell. Oh my god, Diablo! 32 months, holy shit. Oh my god. That is a long time. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. And we're now four minutes away from potentially triggering a hype train. So that's fun. Let's have a look. Um, I'm not a paladin. Uh. Thank you, Dupe, for the biddies. Much appreciated. So those did. Uh, am I queuing? No, I'm changing tunes. I'm not a paladin! Uh. <laughs> um... I'm not a paladin! Uh. <laughs> Good lord, you lot. Uh, Alright, so I'm up to five days ago on my feed and I haven't seen any broken links. Which which post was it? Um look. <laughs> ah, okay. Um that's interesting. They broke in their paint. Maybe they changed the. Not found. That's very strange. Maybe they have a dot in their name or something. They do. They do. It's very odd. Because that's actually the username they gave me. <laughs> to, um, to, maybe that must have changed at some point. That's okay. Very easy. Blop. There you go. Trying to message you, good lord. Um, good. Let's start that battle. Why is this not? Thank you. 
Thanks for being in the stream for always being impressed. Aw, Lucky, thank you so much for the cheer. And we have a hype train. Good lord. Good lord. Uh, Fairy, Gribbon, Koala, Bjorn, and Sean. Cong Bjorn and Sean. I like that. Congratulations to you all for your bo on your bonus shit. Where? Why can't I? This is. fine that's fine there's a thing i can usually do on instagram and it's not letting me do it today which is really odd um but that's all right onwards onwards um and k with the biddies thank you just trying to get the most out of my time free final fantasy sub having bought the game on steam fantastic wonderful i hope you're enjoying it i hope it's been an absolute blast who have we got here persephone all units take 50% more damage. Every 60 seconds, this increases by an additional 50%, up to 200% total. When a unit gets a kill, it heals 30 health. When a unit dies, a skeleton warrior is summoned in its place. Oh god, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be an absolute fucking mess. Um, there we go. Okay, let me catch up on chat, because I missed a bit while I was trying to figure out the Instagram thing. Um... The last of the biddies I had from who knows when. Thank you, Kay. GGWP. Yeah, that's GGWP Academy, the ones who do the training and who got me the hookup with step one and all that kind of stuff. So that's why they're tagged. But yeah, it fixed it. Thank you for that. Um, uh, don't forget to cancel the payment after 30 days, which is you on. My net just died. Terrible and slow death. I'm back there. What I miss? Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, if you admit she's. No, I did not. That is a lie. Lies and slander. Uh, I didn't pay for a sub, one month sub bundle web purchase. Oh, fantastic. I'm on Sephiroth and Oceania. Fantastic. Gosh, my life is a lie. Shamrocks for luck. Thank you. Is it a sound bites for a change? Thank you so much, dude. Much appreciated. Matches my, uh, my earrings, uh, my shamrock earrings for luck, which seem to be, look, they've worked before. They're just, maybe they're, maybe they're still recharging. Doing a lot of level 12 side quests and such as level 23 more with double XP. Wonderful. Fantastic. It looks like the first thing I'm going to be doing for ATT after we finish our runs is actually Warrior. So there you go. Hey, Jess, do you want your Fitbit back? And your charger. My charge is quite different. It has like a little... I think that's for like holding it when you've got it wrapped or something. I don't know. It's very... It's it's interesting. It doesn't sit down like... Because the cable comes straight out the bottom, it doesn't sit flat no matter how you put it. It's very odd. Very odd, but that's okay. Uh, tank. Tank spec? Tank spec, good. It's jasses. <clears throat> Try not to get them out while I'm away. This is why wireless headsets are the bomb. Go get yourself food and walk away from the PC and still hear what's going on. Bojangles is the leader of my group. Fantastic. Love that. My room is making enchiladas. I can smell the garlic cooking. Oh my god, that sounds amazing, Kay. That sounds amazing. <clears throat> Meh. Itchy nose. No, we'll manage to unlocking garrisons. Yas, good plan. Rolling that gold. 
Ah, uh, we missed the train. Hype train is long gone. Better luck next time. That's okay. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Very much, Lee. Alright, out we go. Seen you with your hair down before. <laughs> really? Oh, I've had it I've had it down like a lot lately because I haven't been bothered to like when my hair is a bit greasy and gunky, I stick it up because it's easy to manage. <laughs> um but yeah, no, I like my hair. I got a curl I bought myself a curler for my birthday. Um so I'm hopefully gonna be using that a fair bit more often. I'll have more structured curls or waves or whatever, but we'll see how we go. Got my fifth KSM, had to challenge myself by only getting it in two weeks. There's truly nothing left to do this patch. Well done, Dal. There absolutely is. I doubt that you've got every mount in the game, every piece of transmog, every toy, every pet, but I can totally understand if you don't enjoy those particular parts of the game. But hey, you got a couple days off. Win-win. Um, and it is dying badly. It might actually disappear. So if that happens, that's okay. You can bounce my router. Completely missed everything after my bits came through. That's okay. I thanked you profusely. To be clear, though. Go to bed. It's only like 8 a.m. For you, maybe, Bash. What? Why are you telling me to go to bed? I'm very confused. Um. And yeah, nice work. Absolutely. Five KSMs is pretty freaking awesome. So I just got up. So you're telling me to go to bed because you just got up. Also, it's 6.30 p.m. where I live. Time zones exist, just by the way. I still don't understand why you're telling me to go to bed. It's usually rather rude to tell a grown adult what to do with their time. Um... <laughs> My way of thanking you. No, I know, but like still, massive generosity, and I appreciate it. Of course I'm gonna thank you. Yes, anonymous gifter with the gift sub to tank. Very much appreciated. Congratulations, tank. Well done. Well done. Is a school holiday somewhere? It must be. I mean, like, hang on. A well, I know that in Oz, like, school is only recently going back, as in, like, last week or this week or something, because they extended school holidays by a couple weeks because of Omicron. Um, but I don't know, like, that's just Australia. Or even just Queensland, potentially, I'm not sure. So I don't know if that's, like, a another thing. You guys rock. Look, we try. We don't always, but we try. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh dear. 14 tunes to go. We're getting there. Mm, what's for dinner tonight, chat? And fear? I guess I am part of, kind of part of chat, aren't I? Um, that's a really good question. Jess, what are we having for dinner? Did we defrost anything? <laughs> it's been such a busy weekend, I think we may not have. Whoops. Homemade enchiladas? Uh-huh, that sounds incredible. Delicious. Head soup! I'm on a really strict diet right now. Please tell me you're having something more delicious than chicken noodle soup. I'm sorry. More delicious than chicken noodle soup? Chicken noodle soup is fucking fire. Like, it can be freaking awesome. Let us be honest. Love a good chicken noodle soup? Oh, yeah. Obviously, there are, like, shit ones as well, but, like, good chicken noodle soup is fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. But no, um, we're probably going to be having either meat and veg or something pre-marinated and stuff from the supermarket because we've forgotten to defrost something. Oh, it is also 6.30, so it might be a bit late. Lamb chops and veg. Oof, considering fish and chips. Yes. 
Clarity, I love chicken noodle soup. It's packet soup. And the third time today, you can definitely burn out. Yes, I agree. That is, that is fair. <laughs> and look, some of the packet soups can be really good. Some. Not all, but some of them can be really good. Love fish and chips. There aren't any great places around me anymore. Yeah, there's one really, really tasty fish and chip shop, but one time I ended up getting a little bit rough around the edges when we had that, so I'm kind of kind of nervous to go there again. At least for takeout. I've had I've dined in with them a few times, but takeout, we've done takeout once from them and it didn't feel so good. So I'm a bit nervous <laughs> about doing it again. That's fair. Lucky. Exactly. We've got a good one nearby. Nice. Wish I was back in town or city with Chinese food shop. We could get chicken and corn soup. Oh, look, you can make chicken and corn soup and it's bloody awesome. If you find a good recipe, it's it's actually not too difficult to make. But it's got to be a good recipe. That's that's the only tricky bit. Kidless like fish and chips too. It'll be when absolutely. And fish and chips is just so easy as well and pretty cheap usually. Get like family sized chips for like five bucks. Well. Maybe not that much. Maybe inflation's put it up to like seven or eight, but still fairly reasonable. Uh, issues in place could probably cross contamination. Where Rumi's peanut and tree nut. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially like peanut oil is like super fucking tasty to fry with, but it's also naughty. Yeah, for sure. How are we going for time? Ah, oh, fucking perfect. Not a problem at all. Totally fine with timing. So apparently I have to start my ATT farm in Barrett and Hold with the Warriors. So I'll probably jump on Fia and port out there and see who's in control. Awesome pizza place near us, they're expensive and the kidlets don't appreciate the awesomeness of interesting pizza toppings. Yeah, they just want ham and cheese. Like, that's boring, but that's what the kids like. Ham, cheese, and tomato. Probably still a bit too young to get too experimental just yet, hey? That's okay, hopefully soon. Grow my chips and catch fish two minutes from where I live. Ah, brilliant. Wonderful. Delicious. Two Alliance members left to go. I can switch back and do my last batch of hordies. Oh, I forgot, I have some good news. Hey, D&D session. D&D session I ran today, went really well. Babbled a little, made a bit of a fool myself, and did me to the five people overall. Oh, but alliance. isn't that like, isn't that the whole point of D&D? That everyone makes a fool of themselves? Like, <laughs> sometimes with five experiments, Mr. Seven rarely tries new foods. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I was going through my appearances while flying. I have no cloth sets unlocked. Looks like I have plenty to keep me going. It sounds like it. Sounds like it. <laughs> For the alliance, indeed. It was the epic session, but I didn't have anxiety attack this time to break down afterwards. Ah, oh, that's good! Fantastic, Lucky! Wonderful news. Alright, one more Alliance tune, and then we'll farm some transmogrification. Fun times. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> One more ice tune, then the ten horde tunes, then the transmog farming. I think I forgot to mention that. I'm just, I'm tired. Look, it's fine. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. <sighs> Far out. You're gonna get a healer queue or a tank queue, I wonder. This is an Alliance Paladin. This one is, yeah. This is the one that people keep saying it's going to drop for. But we'll see. We will see. This particular tune has three attempts, uh, three attempts left, so... <laughs> is indeed on cooldown. I'm not a Paladin! Uh... Dupe, thank you very much for the biddies. Just have to, like, every time I sigh, I'm like, paying for dentistry. It's paying for dentistry. I've got you back, yeah. <laughs> much appreciated. Very much appreciated. I wonder why it's not just sticking me in as a tank. Uh, check so cost where I so they noticed they jumped to 20 a month. Month by month, had to compare 208 a year. Either way, I will find a fantasy in the six month batches. Yeah, they're around about the same. Like, it, it makes sense that most subscription services be the same if they offer a similar amount of content and stuff. Anonymous, thank you for the 10 biddies for the random sound. Oh, oh god damn it. We hop 1490 attempts. I used to be cheaper than Final Fantasy, though. Uh, more expensive, but was just able to pay in AUD and not be shafted by currency exchanges. No, we've been able to pay in AUD for literally years. There was an increase in prices recently, like as in within the last 12 months for the subscription, and it was because we hadn't had a price change for literally years and. Uh, the exchange rate was such that we were paying a massive discount in Australian dollars. Massive. Um, and if that keeps going, well, the company's losing money, isn't it? They, they need, like, things should be appropriate. Um, so they bumped it up, and we're still getting a better deal than if we were paying in US dollars. Still. If you go and do the currency conversion, $14.99 US is still more in Australian dollars than what we're paying for our subs. They bumped up our prices, and it's still better than the exchange rate. So do not do the bitching thing. Like, just don't do it. It's not appropriate. Um, yeah. We are still better off. Yeah, when they made the announcement that it was going to be changing, I dived in and checked all the, ex the exchanges because I, I wanted to know. And yeah, nah, still better off. Which is good. I like that.
There you go, 20.885635 Australian dollars. And we're still paying, I think it's like 18.99 or something a month. I could be wrong with that one. I haven't checked it for a while. I have a six month sub and it just automatically um, does the thing. But let me just double check. Awesome. Oh, hi. Hello. Three months. 19.95 a month, so yeah, it's still cheaper. Gone, we haven't had strawberry in such a long time. Oh, do you want your Fitbit? I'm good for now. Look, isn't it pretty? It's very pretty. It's gorgeous, and I have I have bends. That's the large one, and then the large silicon, and the small silicon, and the strappy strap. Cool. How cool is that? And my one doesn't fit your charger, so you do not have to worry about me stealing it. Uh-oh. I've crashed. Oh, that's not good. Shit. Oh, there that we go. Again. It was yeah. Just a little error. Yeah. Um. We course has been doing, doing that a bit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hopefully you weren't doing anything important. Healing. That's no one's dead. Important. They're fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, what are we having for dinner? The question was before asked before. Oh, we're having steak. Ah, steak. I love steak. We were gonna have pork, but I forgot what time um, the store's close. That's okay. No, it's not. We don't have lunch tomorrow. Oh shit. Oh fuck, you, after the massive discussion we had about it on Friday, yeah. you fucking forgot that it closes. Oh no. Um, we could do veggie stuff for lunches just tomorrow, like cook up veggies, put some rice with it. I'm sure we could figure out a sauce. So Maybe. Mixed with cookies? Cookies for lunch. Cookies for lunch, that'd work, right? That's a thing. Um, well shit. Let yeah, that's what I said when I went. All right, I should go to the store now. And then I'm not going to have time to go to the store tomorrow either because it's if I'm doing all the housework over the home. weekend. Um, the only other option is we do take out tonight and have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. But that's expensive. Let's Although we haven't paid for most of our meals this weekend, so <laughs> we have Actually, saved a bit of money. Pretty much any of our meals. I know. We tried to pay. We tried to pay for breakfast this morning, and Mum was like, "Stop that!" Excuse me, <laughs> this is not happening. Uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. Uh, so that is another option if you want like a proper meal for lunch tomorrow. I don't know what your work's going to be like tomorrow, so you might need some decent food. Maybe. Um, we can still do breakfasts. Um, maybe you could have overnight oats for lunch as well. <sighs> I know, I know, I know. It's not a great idea. What do you mean we can still do breakfast? You don't have any coconut yet. You can still do breakfast. I can go for a walk at crack of dawn. And like, I can go for a walk as soon as the things open oh, and pick myself up lunch, uh, pick myself up breakfast. Like that's okay. Half past eight. Yeah. yeah, I'll be awake before then, maybe. Well, no, but that's the point. Like I can go and get breakfast for myself after my, like after my exercise walk. And that's, you know, on the way home kind of thing and pick myself up some lunch. And actually I might be able to get Stuff from the shopping list then as well. That should yeah, I should be okay. I just put on a load of washing before I leave and I should be okay. God, tomorrow's gonna be hectic as fuck. <laughs> and then a 12 hour stream. I'm gonna hate myself, it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> um look, it's okay. We'll be alright. We'll figure it out. Up to you on what we do with it. I've got the steak defrosted. <laughs> Good morning, Black. Hello, sorry I missed that. We were having some conversations, but welcome in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, do you want to do takeout? It's been an exhausting weekend. Do you want to sit on your ass and have someone else cook for you? I mean, I've already just defrosted the steak. Yeah, we can have it tomorrow though. It took me 20 minutes to. Yeah, but you don't need to actively do that. You just plonk it on the bench and walk away. <laughs> no, I stuck it in water and then walked away. Well, yeah, same thing, <laughs> though, you know, like it's... And then checked it every time because it kept on getting cold. Oh, that's what water does, yeah. What would you rather do? Just annoyed with myself because... Hey, no, I've no, 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 don't be. Yeah, years. but we've also had a fucking hell of a weekend and time has had no meaning and, like, yeah, you're... it's true. Totally fine. I've done the same thing countless times. I am grateful. 
Oh, yeah. Landa, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Fear and Jas require food, thus I contribute to the cause. Can't have favorable people go hungry now. <laughs> Sounds like we're having takeout. Yeah, but what are we gonna have? Good question, chat. <laughs> <laughs> do your worst. No, I'm kidding. Because um, I do tend to eat everything I get for takeout. You do. So we get an extra thing. Or we get something that's designed to be shared, and then, or before you start eating, you set In something before aside. HSP. Hey, that work. Or pizza. Um, not pizza. I think my body. Be, I think my body would be really angry with pizza, but potato might be okay. There's still no vegetables, but we have veggies, so we can put veggies on the side. That might stretch it, so you don't need all of it too. Um, do you want to do that then? Because that's pretty cheap as well. It only like it serves us plus leftovers for like 20 bucks not even yeah all right let's do it right. hsp for dinner I put the steak in the fridge with the sounds like a plan <laughs> oh good lord i had everything ready to go i know we can't really make lunch without the sauce can we it'll I just be weird <laughs> actually hang on hang on for lunches if we've got the mince and we've got the rice and we've got some veggies could we do it as a fried rice I could. Instead of, and like toss it all together. Instead of doing. Work. Yeah, it did work. Eggs, I can test to toss it. Yeah. And that way you'll have lunch for tomorrow, and then we can eat all the HSP tonight. Because I don't think we're going to have enough veggies for all of lunch plus dinner tonight. Really? A shitload of vegetables. The only thing to be missing is my breakfast and. No, we can do overnight oats. We've got enough milk to do. We might, we don't have all the milk, but we have enough to do at least one serving, surely. And that'd save us some dosh. But HSP sound very exciting. <laughs> and we didn't have lunch either. No, we did skip. We did skip lunch. We did. We had brunch. But sometimes it's not enough. Fuck it, let's do the HSP. We haven't spent anything all weekend. Alright. Except for our bus trip. <laughs> and two bus trips. Yeah, you did. I got a lift home. Thank you for that. Yeah, and I'll do I'll do a quick nick to the shopping centre okay. tomorrow. Pick up what we need for the rest of the stuff. But yeah, we can do that that it means that is the least is um Breakfast and lunch for you tomorrow. What? Oh, the aircon. Oh, the aircon is on. How did you forget that the aircon was on? Because it's not as icy cold as it usually is. It's because it's not as warm as it usually is. Yeah, true. Anyway, uh, 1987, so brilliant. Dupe says, hey, Jas, six months sub just makes it so much easier. Agreed. Um, plus, you all get all the bonuses. Okay. And I know I'm going to keep playing, but that's just me. Not everyone does. Some people ju like jump between games, so reasonable. The drink, the drink. Awesome. Me too. Thank you so much for the bubble tea, and I'm looking forward to HSP. Do you want to do it on your account, or do you want me to do it on mine? Up to you. I'm still doing runs. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Sounds good. Uh, love when parents visit. I know, I felt like there's there's definitely a part of me that feels bad and I don't want them to feel like I'm just assuming they're going to pay for everything because I'm not. Um, and I want to, you know, I, I appreciate them coming and I'd love for them to feel taken care of and stuff like that. But she flat fucking refused. She's like, no, no. And I'm like, mm -hmm, fine. But yeah, so we've paid for like nothing. Um, but we also haven't done the groceries, so there's that. <laughs> Ah, uh, just at level 24. Hey, only got level 12 quests available. Are you in the wrong area or something? Or have you not done the, the main story quests to progress the, the stuff and things? Um, I was really good at doing that. I often have to sneak off and take care of it before she realizes. Yeah, we were going to do that this morning. And then I realized that the place we went to, you go up to the thing and you order and you pay. And then they bring it to your table and they give you a number. So we, yeah, we fucked up. <laughs> uh, how's the finger? His finger is doing really well. He does have dulled sensation where the injury happened and you can still see it like it's a little bit purple and a little bit lumpy but he has 
perfect mobility in the finger and all that kind of stuff. It's just a little bit dulled and a little bit lumpy and a little bit discolored, but mostly, like, it's all back to normal mostly. I don't have to put a band-aid on or anything, so... Honestly, I'd Q heal, but DPS. I am uh, Q for all the things. What is... Oh my god, Matt! Jesus Christ, thank you so much for the donation! Holy shit! My god, much appreciate. Thank you! Holy cow! Thank you so much! Um, we're not paying for HSP. <laughs> Matterhorn donated 50 bucks. Thank you so much. Holy crap. You people. You people. <laughs> like, thank we you, are, but you people. We, yes, <laughs> it's it's the what have you done, but also thank you very much. Um, my lord. Ah, uh, the place. Sorry, give me a second. Uh, probably. Oh, look at our previous orders as well, though. Panda Express. I don't think we have Panda Express here. We do have Fantasia. Which I think is similar. It's like the the like fast food Chinese place that is a chain. Sorry. We do get it from a kebab shop. Uh, let me have a look and see. No, the one that says the thing you're looking for. Ah, uh, Korean fried chicken. Fuck yes, love Korean fried chicken. Baked spuds. HSP is fear hungry. Probably yes. Always, always. Back to get the man. Did you know? Thanks for waiting for Sam. You've already got it. Look, keep you. You're just nah. uh, hello, Net. Are you okay with the caps? Are you yelling or are you just was that an oopsie? Um, oh, just not that'll do it. Oh, Matt, thank you so much. Ah, uh, do the air crust grind in MSQ? Does the air crust I'm growing through way below my level as I grind for the next MSQ level? Fair, fair enough. I didn't join the fucking queue, yeah. did I? Nope. Good. Uh, yeah, all like mixed mixed meat. Is good. Uh, meaty, Thor, and Meaty. Thor and Gruben, th uh, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Oh, well done. What is HSB? Halal snack pack. Cheese, uh, well, potato chips, shaved kebab meat of variety of various uh, aminals, cheese, and the holy trinity of sauces, which is barbecue, garlic aioli, and, well, aioli, and uh, chili sauce. Um, you want to add anything? No. Nah. Be because it is the Holy Trinity. Everyone knows it as the Holy Trinity. You've got to say you know that. You want to get any extras? No. We don't need any extras. Three sources is enough sources. <laughs> Even for me. Drinks. Sorry? We don't need any drinks. No. We've got the soda stream and bubble oh, yeah. tea. I think we're good. Oh, fuck you then. So combination stack, snack pack with... Yes. Family size. Like large, whatever yeah, the biggest one is. Like large. Yeah. That's it. That's the one. The reason mine was free last time is because it took literally 40 minutes to get from the store to here. Um, and so they refunded my order. And the guy got lost. Yeah. Like, Twice. I don't know how we got lost. Twice. Oh, but they refunded it because it was literally lukewarm when I got here. Uh, but it's phenomenal, even at lukewarm. And we, I think we stuck it in the microwave to reheat it. It was fine. But uh, it was the night when I was doing the the catch up with my, my <laughs> Twitch friends. And they're like, nah, put it in the air fryer. So if it gets here late this time, we'll just stick it in the air fryer. I uh, never tried that combo sources, but I'm intrigued. There is a reason it's called the Holy Trinity. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's the, the correct sources to have. Um... With your with your HSP, uh, no. Honestly, obviously, you have what you enjoy. You have what you find to be delicious. But if that sounds good to you, highly recommend giving the HSP with the whole trinity a try. What's up? Where the address for our place is, and then we're up higher. Yeah. It's like you seem to be far away from this address. Uh, no, it's because the numbering around here is a little bit odd, and yeah. Google Maps is a bit wonky. Um, oh, right, I forgot we'd done over here. Fear. I know, Fear. I saw. Fear. That's why I said I forgot. We're good. Um, I know there's a delay as well. It's fine. Uh, all right. Um, don't make me 3 a.m. hungry. I'm going to make bad DoorDash choices. <laughs> get a snack pack. Uh, I was just going out to get dinner. I thought I would share the wealth. Oh, Matt, that is so generous of you. Thank you so much. Like, good Lord. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
And uh, that covers the dinner plus some, so the plus some will go into the dentistry fund. So I'm very, very, very appreciative. Thank you for paying for our dinner. Um, yeah. I very much appreciate it because I'm an idiot who can't remember what time the store is. <laughs> <laughs> Not just that, but we're also fucking wrecked. So for either of us to actually cook something, it's not going to end well. <laughs> We're going to get hurt. Like, <laughs> sometimes you just need someone else to take the reins. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I mean, like, all three sources individually. So all together seems fine. Yeah, perfect. There you all go. Together it's, it's great. Is great. All together is fantastic. And thank you, Kaz, for the for the knock. I know, I know. I appreciate it. Um, I did the change, so you didn't miss the box. I, I did accidentally open one box oh, yeah. with the Stream Raiders screen up today, which I'm very embarrassed about. Stream Raiders lagged my PC out. Like, straight away? Completely lagged out. Straight away when yeah. you opened the first time. That's not ideal. I was very confused. Yeah. So Has it done that before? So what the rest of the night, sorry? So it stayed closed for the rest of the night. Have you has that happened before? Yep. That's very strange. Because I know that there sometimes they have an issue with a memory leak. Um no, but straight away is really weird. Sorry? Yeah. Alright, sounds like a plan. Thank you. Um, is it bad? I want to encourage the bad door test choices, if only for the momentary happiness it'll bring. Look, sometimes it really does, like, genuinely affect mental health in a positive way, not having to take care of yourself, like having someone else cook for you. Um, but it is, you need, you do need to balance it with other things that are going on. Like, the only reason we can do it is the fact that we have not spent any money at all this weekend. <laughs> um, and then, of course, a, a donation from Matt, which is incredibly generous, and the donation from Landa, also incredibly generous. Um, so yeah, it just, it's nice. But um, it is absolutely like, oh, someone just hit level 30. Oh, do they know that they can't? I hope they know. I hope they know. Um, it not be the first or the last. That's why my roomie had cheese and crackers and I had noodles last night. We were both just drained. Yeah, the last couple of mornings um, I've had like, I've woken up hungry, so I've had cheese and crackers in bed and then gotten up to get on with my day. Yeah, it's good. I've been sleeping so much this weekend as well, though, like so much. It's kind of, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Shaman. Uh, Jas would lose a finger if he tried to cook through fatigue, not ineptitude. Exactly. Exactly right. So, one I have not had for quite some time, strawberry milk tea with pearls. I'm very happy about this. Mm. So tasty. So tasty. Mmm. If one is on a strict budget, I've been donated as well. Totally fine. Lucky, totally okay. Like, being here and sharing the word and interacting with my posts and all that, all of those things are totally free and absolutely contribute to my future being able to take care of my shit. Like, <laughs> you know, it's for sure. I appreciate every single one of you, like, honestly. All the support eventually leads to financial help. So, like, do not stress about that kind of stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> can rude me. Oh, speaking of food, grab a sandwich makings from fridge. Yas. Yas. Can't get them out below 50. You get an EXP boost, right? Of course you do. You get like a jump of, yep, yeah, okay. That might be why they're doing it then. And now I've been sucked down the hole of um, watch faces for um, the Fitbit. Because <laughs> I noticed that this one, it's lovely and beautiful. I'm not gonna be able to show you. Let me see if I can like, please light up. But it's, it's, yeah, no. I have no, I want, I want digital. <laughs> I don't want an analog one. I want digital. Uh, so I'm like, I think this is the one 
that Jas has on his. So I'm going to install that. And I'll find maybe some other ones that are nice. Stats heavy. I don't want that. I just want, like, whoop. Okay, there we go. That's popped up now. So that's installed and done. Um, so many interesting watch faces. And I just, I want simple, digital, none of this complicated bullshit. Like, good lord. Like, there are some that have Santa on them. And I'm like, no. Excuse me. Like my simple shit. Um, all right, so inscription and engineering on the alts, right? Yeah, I, I say inscription for the cards and Jack has said engineering is a good one. So um, it sounds like a good, good one to go with. Oh, that's kind of cool. So there's a, there's a watch face, right, that turns the current time into a hex color. And that's the color of the, that's the color of the watch face. So it has hours, minutes, and seconds. And every time that second changes, it generates a new hex code. So the background color changes. That's really cool. It's paid though, and it costs a buck. And I'm a tight ass, so oh well. That's a really funky idea, though. I love how creative some people are, you know? That's amazing. Let's tap free. Let's just see the free ones. Because I'm not paying extra money. People are just standing and stuff. I... Here we go, out we hop. I am grateful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Buy the watch face if you want it. It doesn't give me any other info though. All it does is like show you the time. <laughs> All it does is show you the time. But if there are some funky ones, I will definitely look at them. I just, so this is the one that Jass's one uses. And so it's got the date, the time, and then you've got a little bit down the bottom where you can tap and it changes from heart and current heart rate to steps for the day and calories burned for the day. So it, do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's kind of like, it just gives you just enough info and it's really basic. Um, but, you know, and then there are ones that are like, this, which are, I know the book, the phone is going to, but, and it's like, why would you want all of that on you? Like, there's too much. There's too much. I'm very, I'm a minimalist when it comes to all of this kind of stuff. Like, I like it simple and clean and, hmm. There are two ratings. They're both five stars. Can I see the ratings? No, you can't actually, like, give a Icon in center changes me on time of day. Battery icon changes colors as it depletes. That's kind of simple. That's sort of nice, but you have to tap it to. Hmm. There are a few in here. I'll have to have a look through later. And like maybe install a couple and chop and change depending on my. Uh, Depending on my thing. Mm. Some 
interesting shit. And there are some that are, like, really data-heavy. Like, you look at it and it's just got all of the stats you could possibly want. Ah, uh, hello, Daz. Dinner tonight is Silverside on Helga's Sourdough Savage. Oh, I fucking love Silverside. Silverside is massively underappreciated, in my opinion. It's so good. Ah, uh, cool, cool. If we go pick him up when the garrison story takes me to Ashrend. Yes, definitely a good idea. Is going to be interesting? Yeah, right? But a watch face if you like it, I will. Thank you, Kay. It's very sweet of you. It's very sweet of you. I can't wait to start, like, tomorrow morning. What do you think the first thing I'm going to do is? Post in, like, make a new fucking channel in Discord and post a screenshot of my sleep score. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, I keep mine simple in my galaxy. Yeah, I just, like... I feel like if I have too much information, it'll just space me out and I'll spend too much time just reading the- anyway. It's fun. It is really nice having it connected to the phone so that I can get notifications for stuff though. Um, it means that I don't kind of, kind of have to hold on to my phone. Like, I can leave it on the other side of the room on charge if I want to, and it'll stop me from getting distracted by scrolling through Reddit. I can leave it plugged in on the other side of the apartment and get important notifications if they come through. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. That's not a mount. Change my phone background according to where my players are. My D&D campaign at the moment, they're in a forest. So it's a forest background so I can get random bursts of inspiration here and there. I love that, Lucky. That's so cool. That is super cool. Hmm. I need two tunes to go. God. Do they have like a minimalist? Um, <laughs> active zone minutes, Fitbit health awareness. There are lots of watch faces with like cartoon boobs. Uh, staff picks, stats heavy, digital, analog, recently added, free clocks, all clocks. So it doesn't seem to be like minim. Oh. You all. Actually, okay, so they're they're all called minimal, but that's fine. Um, some of these are quite nice. Ah, uh, didn't it smelling so freaking good right now. Yay! So something cute to go eat. Oh, enjoy, okay, enjoy. I'm sure it'll be delightful. One more tune after this one. Pick in Discord, see when I get back. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Last tune for the day. <laughs> mm. 
Last one. Pretty please, Orange Jesus. Look, we've been, look. Look. <laughs> we've been talking about this. We would really like for this to happen. Tunes once is incredible. We've done ten days or more. Is amazing, wonderful, stubborn. Yes, stubborn is a fantastic word. <sighs> the fact that I've done it on fifty tunes every day and it hasn't dropped is eating at my heart. But that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I just I want them out. This is how I get it. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do my best. It's all. I oh, it's okay. It's all I can do. All I can do is the best I can do. If Iron Jesus wants to be a meanie pants, then we'll just have to deal with that. <clears throat> I'm curious, does Mount just drop or is it in those boxes? It's in the boxes. This is in the heart shaped box. Uh, you get a different heart-shaped box if your character is level 49 or lower. So that's why the tunes have to be 40, uh, 50 plus to be able to get the mount, because it doesn't the mount doesn't drop from the lower level boxes. Another day down, 1,500 attempts, no mount. I suspect it's because it's non-tradable, people can't try to sell it to someone in the group. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to change the title of the stream because we're done with Heartbreaker. All the things... Smog hunting. Done. Because that's what we're doing now. So I'm going to hop onto Fia and I'm going to see who's in charge of Tolbarad. Because the lowest percentage on my, out of my 12 classes, all the dungeons and raids up to and including Legion, is Barad and Hold Warrior at 25.49%. So I need to see who holds Tolbarad. to see if my Order Alliance Warriors are going to be able to run it. <clears throat> no, but thanks for the help. Not a problem at all, Tank. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your night. Speaking of stats, you wondered a week or so back if the everyday nature of Lita would impact your Twitch stats. Have you seen anything in the numbers? That's a very good question. Um, Sometimes yes, sometimes no. My regular days of streaming... It's horde controlled. Fantastic. My regular days of streaming have definitely um, gone up, but my ear, like my not my off days, like and and the Friday, like yesterday, not yesterday, Friday when I did midday and stuff like that, the odd streams that I don't usually do, um, have been a bit hit and miss. So yeah, but it's been really really interesting. Um, just kind of seeing all that kind of stuff. I think what I might do. Once this whole thing's over, once we get into March, it might be really interesting to kind of pop, a, like a do do all of January and all of February streams with all the numbers and then conditional formatting. So you can see all the different, like, you know, lower ones are yellow, higher ones are green, all that kind of stuff. And just so you can see where, what happened. I think that'd be really interesting. Um, I mean, for me it is. Uh, it might be for others as well. I hope it might be. Uh, but for those who are interested, they can see it. And if no one, if people don't care, then they can just not care. And that's totally okay. <clears throat> okay, we'll do by brilliant. No heartbreaker. Not today, nurse. Not today. But tomorrow is a big day. I need to turn that on. on. <clears throat> tomorrow is a really big day. So tomorrow uh, is Mount Farm Monday. I'm going to be starting at 4 p.m. as per usual. And we're going to go through and do Monday's heartbreaker runs. And then we're going to do mount farming, as per normal. But stream's going to go for a bit longer. Um, if it doesn't drop. If the mount drops, then hey presto, fantastic, regular stream time. 
if it doesn't drop in those first 50 attempts, we're going to be going for our 15th day of attempts, which runs from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. So I'm going to run stream. If it doesn't drop in those first 50, I'm going to run stream through to 1 a.m. And then we're going to start the second round of Heartbreaker runs and hope that I can get all 50 done in that three hour window. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I'm hope I'm, I'm crossing everything, um, that I'll have a bunch of Fiamalia around to. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Shit. That was weird. My God. Like I wasn't paying any attention to the app and I got a phone call. I'm like, hello. <laughs> like, yeah, HSP. I'm like, Holy fuck. That was amazing. Dude, you're like 40 minutes early. <laughs> That's awesome. So happy. Oh my God. It's delicious. Thank you. Yay. HSP. Yeah, awesome. Mm. Mm. Pretty numbers, exactly. Exactly. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll be of interest to uh, to some people. Sorry to hear that. That's ah, okay. It is what it is. We deal with it. We keep going. Yummy. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so Baron Hold is a cataclysm. Ah, oh, Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Thank you for the biddies. Enjoyed in at 3.20, calling it a night. Fair enough. Rest well. We will see you next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. Much appreciated. All right, Baron Hold says 13 out of 51 for the warrior. And we are indeed 13 out of 51. So let's see if we can bump that number up. 12, accidental 12 hour stream. Yeah, two of them in a single week, Sam. I'm gonna be fucking dead. <sighs> I'm gonna stream a stay up all night then. Oh, I'm, uh, look, we'll see how I'm gonna feel about it. Big part of me is hoping that it drops in those first 50. Cause it's gonna, uh, it's gonna suck. <clears throat> so I'm gonna run through the warriors first. If I run through my horde warriors and I can't get the percentage up, then I'll run it through on my other plate wearers. Um, and then failing that, I'll run it through on fucking everyone and see if I can't get some, uh, cause what do we got? So that's plate warrior, plate warrior, warrior, warrior paladin DK, warrior paladin DK, warrior, 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 warrior paladin DK, warrior paladin DK. Okay. So that's only plate wearers, plate, plate, warrior, warrior, warrior. Plate, plate, warrior, 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 plate, plate, and then plate, plate, warrior, 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 plate, plate, warrior, 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 plate, plate. Okay, so there's nothing there that's like a cloak or something that anyone could get to drop, so I'd have to literally just run up all of my plate wearers. Fingers crossed some shit'll drop. <clears throat> We've got Oh, it's only just flipped over to horde control as well. We've got an hour almost to to get through them. So that's good. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fingers crossed we can bump up that percentage. 
enough so that we don't have to hit it again. <laughs> But yeah, things like Barrett and Hold and Vault of Archivon and stuff like that are definitely my lowest percentage ones at this point because it's all class fucking specific. Um, how's my raid looking? 25, awesome. 25 player means you get more drops, of course. And it is a shared lockout, so if you do it on 25, you can't go back and do it on 10 as well. Unfortunately. So, with all the our levels I've been getting from doing, what's it, from doing the, the dungeon run, I'm at 12.09% of the way from all 50s to all 60s. 12%'s not bad. <laughs> That's really funny. <clears throat> Nothing. So I did get plate, but it's like DK plate and stuff, so. <laughs> leather, cloth, neck, and leather. Oh well. Never really thought about it, and I get that it's a game, uh, but is their logic making gear class specific? Like, do warriors have an extra thumb or something making their gloves for them only? Um, a lot of the time, so like DK, that's a, that's a set. Uh, it's a set bonus. So the set bonuses, for example, um, whenever you are struck by a movement impairing effect, you will generate three runic power every one second for five seconds. How so runic power generation doesn't work for any other class because they don't have runic power. Um, so I'm not sure how they'd work that into the world, but maybe it's imbued with some special kind of magic that, like, it just doesn't work on other, like, they put it on and it just feels wrong to wear it, so they want to take it off or something. Could be fun. But yeah, that's, um, that's why, that's, that's why it's class specific, because it only works for, like, those kind of set bonuses and stuff only work for certain classes, but... In terms of the mechanics of that, very good question. <clears throat> no, no, no. Armor is imbued with magical properties that vibe with the specific class and reject all others. Mm. It might not be that it doesn't fit them, or that they've got an extra finger or something like that. It might just be that they put it on, and they just have this unsettling feeling deep in their soul that tells them, take it off. You know what I mean? Like... Mmm. Spoopy. Alright, nothing on this warrior. <laughs> on to the next one. Yay! Congrats to channels Zam, Gruben, Cade, Zombie, Bjorn, Fairy, and Vue on all your bonus shit. I'm gonna spend so much time unlocking all these things later. Oh, who got skins? I did not get a skin. Who got skins? I forgot that that was a skin chest. Ah, <clears throat> uh, like an actually corrupted item. Yeah, potentially. But like not necessarily corrupted in like a bad way. Just imbued. Maybe. Hmm. 
and they need to wear for the second or so to learn the transmog, surely they should manage that. Maybe they don't want to because it feels wrong and it feels deadly to them. Do you know what I mean? Maybe that same feeling of putting it on and having that undeniable feeling of take it the fuck off. Maybe that applies to the transmog too. <clears throat> or maybe once the item is transmogged, it gives them the same feeling that they don't want to wear it. So they just don't bother because they know what'll happen. Mm. I totally get where you're coming from, guys, and it'd make it a hell of a lot easier for me. Um, but it is interesting thinking about how you could explain it, right? Oh, battle plans. <clears throat> I need to drop some battle plans. Who wants battle plans? I want battle plans. There you go. Enjoy. All right, so we're back home. Let's hop out and get to the next warrior. Game logic over real life logic, indeed. <clears throat> like we can we can make it work somewhat, but um it's not usually good enough, eh? <laughs> I like having those kind of discussions though. It's fun to sort of it's fun to theorize like that. How would this work if it was a thing, TM? She's just sticking everything together and I'm trying to pull it apart. <laughs> God, this is tasty. Fiyama Centurion, amazing. Thank you, Cade. Love get fantastic. Congrats, Zim. Well done. <clears throat> Could argue that you can only transmog items that are bound to you and the weird feeling of the other class items prevent that binding. Yeah, that's a good argument too. That'd work. I like it. <clears throat> okay, Cataclysm, Barret and Hold. Esters. Let's go hit it up again.
<clears throat> There's so many characters now, none of them have done any of the bloody raids. <laughs> it's really quite entertaining. <clears throat> All right, what's my raid details on? Uh, 25, please. Heroic will do. Let's head on in. And, uh... That's all right. Let's do it. Hello, Yuri! Oh, shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've entered too many instances. Of course I have. Of, of course I have. That's just really funny. Three minutes. And I can't run Barrett and Hold on any of my Alliance tunes. I can't switch servers. Fuck. Uh, on your mount makeup. Do you do mounts you don't have? Maybe you can influence RNG by doing the mount you want. Maybe Heartbreak and Amora to finish off the holiday. Um, so I've done Heartbreaker before. I've done the, I'm pretty sure I've done the Heartbreaker before. Um, and I didn't, I don't want to double up on any until I've done all of them. But I mean, and I do, I do, okay, I have done ones I don't have before. Absolutely. It's just that my new kind of method of choosing which mounts to do, uh, involves an add-on that just like randomly cycles through mounts. Uh, which makes it a lot easier on me, but that does mean it doesn't pick things I don't have because it can't cycle through those. But oh, I could probably, I mean, I've already got like, I've got Heartbreak and Nails. Um, so, so that's a thing. But uh, <laughs> look, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Tasty. One minute. We're getting there. That's really funny. <laughs> Actually, shit. It's gonna be longer than that. Yelka was the first Horde. It's eight minutes before I can get in on Horde. Shit. It's eight minutes before I get in on Horde. Ah, oh, bugger. Um. Craptastic. What have I got on here that I could do? So 2549. Okay, so the next one would be Paladin for Temple of Anchorage. So that I can definitely do on Alliance side. So I'm going to log out here and come back later. I'm going to do a, temp a single temple run on Alliance side. And that should be more than enough time to get the stuff to un unlock. <clears throat> Yum. Yum. <laughs> I'm not a paladin. Uh... Look. 
Look. <laughs> no, no, she's not. Let's turn the add-ons on, and then we'll go do temple. Oh, I'm so excited! My beautiful fucking Fitbit is beautiful. Just picturing a Murloc as a paladin. I am. So, there, there is. There's a pet like that. Finduin. Um, they did one one BlizzCon. They had a an alliance pet that was Finduin, and and a Sylvanas one for Horde. Mercanus or so. I can't I can't remember exactly what the name was, but um yeah, there's a pet. Finduin. That's what a Merlox looks like at a Paladin. There you go. Wish granted. Uh, <laughs> temple of Ankaraj. Into the temple. Thank you. Very convenient. You want Finduin? Okay. I don't think I can when I'm in the air. Give me a minute. Fianduin? No. <laughs> no. Why, Koella? Why? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Thank you very much, Doop, for the biddies. Destination unreachable, my butt. what I expected, but thank you. Very welcome. You're very welcome. So it's down, like, it's in, it's in Silithus, right? So Silithus should be in, oh, I don't have the portal to, oh, I do have a portal to Boralus. Maybe I don't have a portal to Silithus from Boralus. Maybe that's why it's having such a hard time. <clears throat> Let's find out. Thank you very much for the 10 biddies, Dan. Much appreciated. Yeah, Portal to Silithus. Here, look, easy. Time fly west or just that yeah exactly because it wouldn't it couldn't figure out what it was doing so I'm like I'm just gonna go to Silithus and see how it goes <laughs> let's see what happens oh excuse me so this is classic it's temple there's a lot to bloody well do like a lot but we'll see how we go See how fast we can make this happen. Not in holy, that's for certain. Let's do it in um in prot with the spinny spinny uh hammers of death. Temple is yeah, this is one. <clears throat> I'm not gonna end up doing the quests on my alliance tunes. I have a lot of the um the scarabs and stuff like that on horde side, like a lot of them. 
Um, I wonder, are they battle net account bound or are they? I'll find out. I'll find out. <clears throat> How does a paladin defeat Visitus? We don't have any frost damage, do we? Oh, okay. So can a paladin defeat Visitus? Or do you need like a, an external thing in the jig to do it? It's okay, like I'm happy to just skip it. <clears throat> It'd be nice to do, but I don't have to. What's that toy that shoots frost? That's a really good question, Dread. And what's the cooldown on it? Can it do it in, in like 20 times in a minute or whatever it is? Frost oil still exists. I think frost oil still exists. Frost DK is left. I know that gold, but it has stuff that drops for every class. Um, so like a frost DK is not gonna be able to get, for example, cloth transmog. You know. Um, so it's it doesn't really matter what's best for it because you need everything. Um, still working that one out, Palin. Since you see, I need the gloves. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So I did, I was 20 of 77. This is 78. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. I might update the numbers when I get onto my uh, horde tune. Um, just to be sure. But hey, Hammer of Gigi has dropperated. Uh, you need dagger you can buy close to K3. Elemental force enchant, undulating tides, as right power from benthic gear gives the frost attacks. The 30 quick attacks is problematic for a paladin. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's called the Endothermic Blaster. I've used it on non-mage tunes. Fantastic. There you go. But yeah, getting the getting the quick pew 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 the quick melee damage is um the quick hits is a bit tricky, but I'm sure there would be a way to do it. Um Some of the comments on Wowhead are supremely helpful with that kind of stuff. Um like it'll give you a step by step, regardless of what class you are. Um, which is nice. Shorter from the bug boss is the hardest to get. Is it just the lowest drop rate or what? Um, Something royalty. That one. Those ones. Mantle of the Desert Crusade. Ah, that's fine. You just kill Princess last. Loot table chance is 5%. That's about right for a raid boss. No biggie. Um. Much love. Enjoy your lurk, Jackie. Enjoy your lurk. We'll see you next time. Alright, let's see what we got going on. I won't care so much about those. Zone drops will be a bit of a pain in the ass, though. <clears throat> but that's right. Kill shit. If it drops, it drops. Fantastic. Consecrate's good because it hangs around for a little bit. Kills everything else that spawns. Uh, puppy shrink it makes lots of hits on him fast. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. It's a, like the jade something something. Fia's got one. Like my main's got one. Um, but that's alright. It doesn't bother me too much. Like I'm sure like I, <laughs> I've got so many tunes that need to do this place um, to get all the transmog and stuff. So I'm sure that eventually... I'll have a strategy for each of the different classes, but right now it doesn't bother me too, too much. <clears throat> okay, we'll get rid of that. Um, so I need to kill Princess last. That's fine. I can do that. <clears throat> Kill Princess last. There we go. Alright. Nothing from that boss, but that's okay. 
We did Scarab already. We've done the royalty. Battle Guard Satura! <clears throat> Pop in and say stuff here and there. Not a problem at all, Jackie. Enjoy your time in WoW. Have fun. Have fun. Um, this is not my lowest percentage dungeon at the moment, but I accidentally locked myself out on Horde. Um, so I'm running something on Alliance just while, or on my other server, <clears throat> just while the instance lockouts do their thing. You do, thank you. Much appreciated. Okay. Okay, so the Scarabs aren't BOA, which means um, I can't trade them over to Horde side on my other server. <clears throat> but I think... Oh, the idols aren't either. Oh well, that's right. I can just auction them all off. Unless I manage to get enough of them up on Alliance before I manage to get them up on Horde. Which would be surprising, but... Possible. <clears throat> I hope these don't leash. It's an old enough raid that I don't think anything will leash. Um, but I'm just going to keep an eye on them. Fenchrists. <clears throat> Let me show you that fool for love. Hey, officially done with Lita forever. I am absolutely envious, but I'm very happy for you at the same time. What do you mean by leash if you don't mind me asking? So, um, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, the characters, like enemies and NPCs and stuff like that, you can usually only drag them a certain distance away from their spawn point before they stop attacking you, evade and dodge all of your attacks and run back to where they came from. Uh, and this is so that you can't pick them up and then kite like so kite something that's very, very high level through a massively low level area and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's designed to protect players, basically. Um, and also, you know, sometimes the players who actually pull it, if they're like, shit, I don't mean to pull that, they can run far enough away and they'll just de-aggro. That's what we call like leashing. Um, cause it's like tugging on their leash and pulling them back. You know, they can only go a certain distance from their post and then they'll have to go back. Um, but in dungeons and raids, it shouldn't happen in my opinion. Leashing shouldn't happen in dungeons and raids because that way you can run through, like you're there. If you're running through and intentionally pulling a bunch of stuff, it should stay on you until you want to kill it. But there are a lot of the newer dungeons where if you pull something, eventually it will leash and go back to where it came from, even if you're still picking up more enemies. Like, it's just kind of annoying. These ones slow, though, which is more annoying. Um, yeah, so I would like them not to leash so I can pull up the entire goddamn, like, all the trash right up to a boss and then kill it and then go all the way through to the next boss and then kill all the trash and then it's, do you know what I mean? That kind of thing. This is a gauntlet, so the little babies don't drop anything, but the big blue boys do. Um, makes sense. Brilliant. Yeah, that's, uh, that is leashing. People used to kite major bosses into enemy capital cities. Leashing prevents it. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> uh, like back in vanilla when they used to leash Lord Kazak from Blasted Lands to Stormwind. Yeah, it took a long ass time, but if you were dedicated enough, you could do it and you could ruin people's days. Like, absolutely destroy their days. <laughs> <clears throat> Nothing new from Fancris. Yay. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna skip Vesidus today because CBF figuring it out. Another time. Here is itchy. <clears throat> Don't like 
trash that slows me. Feels bad. Ah, the knockbacks. Grumble, grumble. Oh, fuck it. You know what? You can die then. <clears throat> ah, the slowing poison. Can I? I'm sure I can somehow, can I? I'm number 47. I'm mouse on my server. Oh, amazing! That's so good. <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago, I don't, I don't know exactly when it happened, but we've been, you know, there was an amount we got here and then amount we got there and blah, 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 and all of a sudden I've gone from 8th to 6th. Um, but there's like 20 or 30 mounts between me and 5th and place, so I'm like, oh, okay, one day I'll get there. <laughs> <clears throat> do you do anything special for cleaning your mouse, keyboard, etc.? Not really not really i just kind of wipe them down with a like a cloth like <laughs> not really anything like super special i don't i also don't like i'm really careful about getting sticky gunky stuff on them like really really careful um so i don't tend to need to do much more than just a cloth um yeah i don't know i don't think so sorry <laughs> There as well, which is a huge server. Good, that's wonderful news. Well done. Well done. You should see how many mounts you are like off the next level up, like the next rank. Might only be like one or two, and then you can like go get them. say I reckon they've dropped the drop like they've lowered the drop rate of the um Karaji resonating crystals because um is that oh, it's a curse plague I oh, know interesting because I usually I go through here and get 50 something each the green the red and the, uh, the green the yellow and the blue um but I've had not many drop this round look after this dungeon of course best of luck Okay, twin imps. Your twin imps. Abandon you. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm more than good to jump onto the old tune after this. Wonderful. Join me to embrace. There is blood. <clears throat> Nothing from Twin Imps. Uro! Let's go bonk the snake, the worm, whatever. <laughs> Wormy snake. Miss, 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 miss. Ah, oh, they mind control me. Shit. Okay. They charmed me, so they all reset because I was one of them then. God damn it. <clears throat> Uh, 
According to data for Azeroth, Lightforge Ruin Strider is rarer than the Heartbreak Amount, and I don't understand this. Where is the Lightforge Ruin Strider from? <clears throat> it might be like the Pale Dire Horn, where just not people. It's easy to get. You can buy it, but no one wants it because it's half a million fucking gold, and it doesn't do anything. Lightforge Clash Mount. Ah, okay. Yep. Yeah. You might find, you might find that the Heartbreaker statistic, the Heartbreaker statistic is um, counting the players with it, like the not the players, the the characters that have it. So by sheer statistics, there are fewer Lightforged Ranai than there are individual characters with access to the Heartbreaker. That might be the way it's going. But it, it's also worth reaching out to Shujin and asking. Because I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um, but it, it may well be that people have boosted their Light Forge Dry or they've um, race changed. And so they didn't earn it through the theme jig. You know what I mean? Uh, Laku, Faden, Truen, Fairy, Sane, Zombie, Never, Koala, and Grubin. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. I might be misunderstanding the class mount thing though, maybe, but I don't know. Just doing the MSQ right now, Alan Slavinsa for reference, just popped to 26, 15, 14, in case Ah, well done! Congratulations! Didn't count my battle plans. Four assists from healing. Alright, I'm gonna plonk down the healer then. That one. And then pop down my battle plan. Hot tie. <clears throat> but yeah, it might be worth asking Shujin exactly how the data works. Because uh, that is kind of curious. Go. All the mounts are starting to drop now. Well, not having much luck with this run, am I? I'm not getting many new bits at all. That's right, off to Seekathun. Maybe I'll get something from there. Oh, cute little Spratling. Good evening. Hello, Sark. How are you going? Welcome back. <clears throat> That's very kind of you to offer, Lucky. So generous with your time.
go. Anything new? Quest, but uh, <laughs> nothing actually new, I don't think. That's all right. All right, um, we'll go turn that quest in. And then I'll hearth out of here and jump back onto that warrior and jump on into Barrett and Hold and actually try to do some progress. Um, Cleon, wow, too. I haven't got my account active anymore, of course. Uh, oh, okay, let's allow that through. Context is important. Uh, Alright, uh, I play on a few, currently play mainly on Unicorn and Sturvan. I'm going to be mainly character on Sephiroth when I actually get my button to gear with my dreams of streaming. But I can visit Sephiroth with my Zervan healer. No, she's there, fantastic! Oh, excuse me. Wonderful news. Okay, I don't know how much progress I actually made there, but that's okay. That's fine. Let me see what the... No, 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 no. Um, so it held it for, for sexual because you said my butt. I kid you not. So, <laughs> so it's totally okay. As I said, sometimes things are just a little bit silly. Um, the bot can't tell context, so it can't understand the difference between get my butt into gear and naughty things people ask me to do involving their butts, you know? So it, yeah, it's, uh, you are not at all at fault there. It's just a context thing because robots are silly. Robots don't understand. Butts! Na 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 na! Double butts. Am I the only one who, when they hear double butt, they think like double butt, double, double, double butt? Or am I the only person? Or is now everyone going to think that because it's my fault? <laughs> okay, I just want to make anyone uncomfortable. No, of course. If it was if it was going to be uncomfortable, I I would have denied it and given you a brief explanation as to why. So do not stress at all. Uh, day robots start to understand context. We should be very, very worried. I agree, Inven. I agree <laughs> wholeheartedly. I'm totally fine with a like with with fucking around with Autobot, uh, Auto Mod. Um, mm -hmm. Hundred percent. I now think that good. Thousands of butts. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's what we want. Exactly. Many, many, many butts. Okay. Let me in. I've got ten minutes before it's gonna start up a fight again. Do I have? My other warriors, is that both the other warriors, the two others are alliance. That's okay. Cool. So I have two chances. That's it. And then I start rotating through other plate wearers. Transform and roll out. Exactly. Exactly. Kata, I'm doing Barrett and Hold currently. I'm trying to get something, anything to drop. Anything. If anyone's keen to come out here and, and help me retake Tolbarad in 10 minutes. I'll be trying to get it for Horde side because that's where I need the achievements. <laughs> You're very welcome to join me because I have a feeling I'm not going to get what I need and I'm going to have to roll through on a bunch of plate wearers and I'm only going to be able to do that if we retake it. Um, I'm now free to travel, I'm sick, I don't yet, all done. So I'll avoid the emerald stuff. Fantastic! Uh, active, clear the active quest, 25, <laughs> wonderful. My guild for my old armory is called Booty Hunter Anonymous, fantastic. That I would expect nothing less, Koala, I love that. Love that for you. This is my old keyboard, I'd often get caught by Automod, I can imagine. I can imagine. Look, Automod is a fantastic tool and I highly recommend for streamers to turn it on uh, and like tweak, because the settings are highly customizable. And just tweak it for what tends to get caught in your channel. Um, we have like sexual references and stuff. We've got that jacked up to max just because the fact that I am a female presenting person who is streaming and that's the most of what I like most of the trolley shit that I get is to do with sex stuff. Um, that does mean we have to do a lot of- Ah! Oh my god, up to 14. Are you kidding me? 
it didn't share any appearances. Oh fuck. That means I still, I'm not on, I'm still not, it's still the lowest. Oh, no? Oh, cool. Okay, so the lowest is now Paladin in Temple. Um, so I'll have to jump onto my uh, main pally and just double check her numbers. But yeah, um, so I have that jacked up, but other things are a little bit lower because we don't experience it so often. Um, and so it's okay. And we can kind of, you know, figure it out as we go. But um, depending on what you experience, like it's a, it's a good idea to start everything like jacked up to max. And then as you realize what it actually filters out, you can start turning some of them down if you want. Um, if it's creating too much work for you and your mods. But no, I highly recommend taking advantage of auto mod and just tweaking it to suit your community. It's a phenomenal tool. Uh, it's just, yeah, as long as you understand that it's a robot and it's an idiot. Uh, all it sees is the word butts and it thinks that somebody's trying to harass me. So, so you know, but I'd rather it be overprotective than underprotective, personally. But to each their own. Uh, if you want to laugh, auto mod is great for it. We have a clip from many years ago when I was I was doing my insane farming, insane the membrane. I was pickpocketing uh, lockboxes on my rogue. Yeah, I was I was actually losing my mind at that point. But someone said so I do not remember for the life of me what the sentence was. But what auto mod caught was the phrase "lezzy lezzy," like L E Z Z Y times two. That was not even close to anything that this person had said. Not even vaguely close to what this person had said. I do not know how it managed to get that, but I lost it. I, I fucking lost my shit. I was laughing so hard I couldn't breathe to explain why I was laughing. Other mods had to type in chat what had happened, and I, I could I could not stop laughing for almost ten minutes. I lost my shit. <laughs> Just it was very entertaining. So yeah, auto mod is phenomenal for moments like that. It, the only thing is, it's just it's between you and the mods, and so you have to like explain to everyone what has happened. It's great. It's really great. So I can find a way to have auto auto run me to a location via right click, like in WoW. I like right click, huh? Uh, how's the trains manager going? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, not terribly, but not great either. What am I also caught Hanzo on Overwatch stream? That's right, yep, yeah, because Hanzo is a word in another language or something. I can't remember. We we tried looking it up. We couldn't quite figure it out. I don't think. I don't know, but it's yeah, it's interesting. Um, but those numbers are in like those words are in there for a reason. I guarantee you. Mmm, this video word based censoring like automod. Some years ago I uploaded pixel art suit of Titanium Ranger from Power Rangers like Speed Rescue. Image like Image had the tit from Titanium. And renamed the file Anium. That doesn't feel like it's much better at all. It makes my fact I feel like it's worse. <laughs> That's really funny though. Uh, or this, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Um, potentially Lander, I'm not sure. <laughs> hey Des, how you doing? Alrighty. What I'm supposed to be doing is Temple of Ankaraj, but I want to double check because I'm now on 23 out of 78. That might change the numbers. So it is 78. Why? Why has this changed? Wow, this these numbers have changed drastically. Oh, good lord. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Mm, counting with fear. Counting with fear time. 28, 67. Oh, there's no one next year. That's okay, I'm gonna leave the number as is. Um, 16, 42. This is 15, 36. 23, 78. 8, 17. 
11, 16, 11, 21. So 403, 773. Okay, that's up to date now. That I don't understand why those numbers keep changing. I don't, I do not get it. I'm not changing any settings. Unless they're recategorizing particular drops, I don't understand. And now it's fucking Voldabarkuban on a on a shaman. Good. Um fuck. Uh okay, so Voldavarkavon is a fun one. I'm gonna go check it on fear because it's easy to get there on a mage mm, i'm okay how are you yeah doing all right doing well asterisk 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 to you too brilliant wonderful um abyss with a fiamma templar much appreciated what are the numbers uh all the things they're the numbers from the all the things add on the number of things that i've collected out of the total of things that can be gotten from that particular place um and I was checking, like, my um, my spreadsheet wasn't right. Because uh, every so often when there's an update in ATT, I feel like some of the things get recategorized or something. And the numbers change, which means that my spreadsheet's inaccurate. Um, so I was reading them back so that I could, because I, um, my brain is funky. So I was reading them out and comparing my spreadsheet to, to ATT to um, make sure everything was correct. Uh, but yeah, that's what the numbers are. Well, since I caught one of your streams. Really? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's been since the 7th of February, so not that long, only a couple weeks. Less than two weeks. That's alright. Not long at all. Go in this direction. Because when it was longer, no, according to the mod logs, you last spoke on the 7th of Feb, which is less than two weeks ago. That's okay. Okay. Who is in control of Wintergrasp? <laughs> oh! Ah, uh, we're currently in battle. Okay. With two minutes twenty remaining. Interact. God damn. Not even any bombs or anything. It says vehicles 1 to 16. Why can't I? I have to kill something, don't I? That's right. One old Dal to win a grasp. Oh, is there? Oh, there you go. Is it only up when your faction is in charge of it then? Maybe. Um. Direction, quick moves, but went ahead of me. Oh, fair enough. Um, I don't use the right click movement thing. I just use auto run. I tap a key and it runs forward like this. And then I tap the key again and it stops. I need to get 10 killing blows first. Yeah, it's not going to happen in a minute. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well. 
That's right. Once this is done, I'll hop on over to my uh, Alliance tunes and I can run those Shaman through instead. And hope for the best. They're not in the same server cluster, but they definitely seem to be... Um, when one of them's got it, it's, you know, yeah. Look how hard these fuckers kill. Uh, hit, rather. Hmm. No, five combatants will promote you to the rank of corporal. Not ten this time. No, not ten anymore. Oh, I got honor! Go me. Well done, me. Uh, but yeah, it looks like it's five to get siege things. Maybe you need more to get more, like, the more powerful vehicles or something. I was like, that's okay. Uh, but it's also like I'm probably the only person in the whole zone, so there's no real normal how to do it anymore. You just you just do what you can. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna hop over to Alliance side and jump on a Shaman uh, because the Alliance have it, so I might as well. I need to get those collectible numbers up, but I will check that that's actually the correct numbers because you know it is what it is. PvP stream? I know, for about 20 seconds or a minute and a half or whatever it was, Sam. Aren't you lucky? You caught it. You saw it. It's done. Okay, let's turn on the add-ons. Nope. Learn to type. There we go. Okay, so we're looking at Wrath, which is 1249 wrong out of 2186, which is right. Okay, so there's just a number that's gone up somewhere, like a collectible number. So 59, 163, 28, 17, 156, 112. There we go. 45, not quite. Okay, 240, 8, 31, 18, 32, 37, 27, 16, 29, 21. There's our other one. And that's 1249. Perfect. All right, so our lowest is still Voldo Archivon, so we're going to go there. Alt of Archivon. Let's go. I know we have to control Winter Grasp. <laughs> I am aware. Thank you, Zygor. Much appreciate. Uh, oh, right. 10 and 12. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I'm going to go 25 because that percentage is lower. And also because I feel like we get more drops. But it doesn't seem to have a difficulty in terms of normal heroics. So that's good. Uh, complete the budget. Rewards. Ah, nice, Diablo. Well done. But this is 25.99% completion. So if I get this done, if I get another item in here, that'll push my lowest percentage to 26 something. Uh, so progress! Progress! We love progress. Slowly but surely crawling our way to all the things. Should be done in approximately 27 years. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's all right. Next expansion, I'll add, uh, add BFA to the list, and then I'll be like, ah, shit. <laughs> Number's gone up again. Or down, rather. It doesn't seem to think that there's a portal to Wintergrasp, um, which is interesting. Let me go have a hunt. There might be, and because Winter, like, Zygor doesn't know everything, obviously. It knows a lot of things, but doesn't know everything. 
Uh, would it be maybe in the PvP area in the Alliance? What's it? Because I know they tended to have fancy shit in here. Might be a portal to a WG for the, the current controllers. That's what I'm thinking. Conquest, Storm, Outback uh, Valley, Warsaw Gulch. Okay, no, not in this little area. Where is the portal? If there is a portal to Winter Grasp, where is it? That's to Stormwind. I know they did have a lot of portals along here, but they're gone. It's Alliance Controller, yes. It was there, I think they removed it. Yeah, cool. There you go. I thought they might have. Um, because Zygors, like, it doesn't know everything, but it is usually pretty good at knowing the fastest way to get to a place. So if there was a portal, it'd probably tell me to take it. Um, so the fact that it isn't kind of leads me to believe that it has been removed. But, um, that's okay. The back of that area, if it's up. Um, it's not. And it, and it is, uh, like, it is Alliance who holds it, um, at the moment. Because that's, yeah, so it, the, the portal's been removed. Um, which is okay. Look, it happens. Um, shit changes every so often. I do like how many of these are like quite green nowadays, even though this is a, like a male lead wearing tune that, you know, I don't, I don't usually play male wearers, but I'm getting some of those percentages up there, which feels nice. I'll only be up in the few minutes before the battle starts. Right, so it's not there, it's not going to be able to take you to Vault of Archivon, is more my question. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Alliance controlled. I know that there's a portal inside here that I think, or actually now that I say that I'm a little uncertain. Uh, I was pretty sure that there's a portal inside there that takes me back to Dalaran. But I don't think there's a portal that actually takes you here because it's no like I mean there is the world PvP, but it's also a battleground now. You got to remember that. So the battleground can start and stop at any time. So maybe they took the portal out because of that. But those other portals are there to queue for battlegrounds, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There you go. So you got Eye of the Storm, Ultrak Valley, Arathi Basin, Warsaw Gulch, and then that one there is Portal to the Violet Citadel, which is in Dal. But there's no other. Yeah. Um. Oh well. Now we know! Learnings! Yay for learnings! Now I know I do have to fly here each time, which blows, but that's fine. It's okay. We deal with it. It's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, so we are in 25 player because I want more loot, because I'm trying to get transmog. So let's see how we go. I don't think there are any... Um, like cloaks available here anymore. I think it's all just male um, and specifically shaman gear. Yeah, at least from that boss it is. So I would assume the rest would be similar. Oh shit, I'm in the thingy. Uh, Yeah, I'm changing spec. This blows. <laughs> you need time to learn to swing there for last set item. Ooh, the last one, Duvac. Well, good luck. Best wishes. At least I've already got them out. <laughs> Actually, a thing! 65 out of 227. So that got me six appearances. <laughs> six appearances from one item. I love that. Oh, the PvP all sharing its shit. It's great. 
Right, on we go. I'm gonna loop around this way because once I get to the end, I don't have to run out again. I can just half. Uh, hello, Nab. Welcome back. How are you going? I was doing higher learning, achieved, flying around. Old Dal found those portals. Ah, oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, there are a lot of little hidden watsits around the place. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is all shaman and um. And male. No cloaks remaining. <laughs> Pretty sure I've got them all on fear by now after doing the runs for the mount. There we go. Battle time. Ah, I presume my heart was broken. Given the rare account is still available. It was indeed. It was. That's okay. Um, tomorrow night and then crack of dawn the next morning will be my my last 100 attempts is going to be, end up being like as a, unless it drops i would love for it to drop if it doesn't drop it's going to end up being a 12 hour stream tomorrow the night before i have a work day so that's great fun i'm a very responsible adult <laughs> yeah, everyone cross your fingers for me though else i'm gonna die uh. Mm, oh dear, indeed. I agree. I okay, agree. Respect the determination, though. Stubborn. I am stubborn. <laughs> uh, congrats to Bjorn Thurling. Arrested uh, Spam, Dan, Never, and Garden on all of your bonus shit. Well done, crossing only one finger because I want that 12 hour time. You're getting one on Saturday anyway. You numpty. You're getting one on Saturday anyway. <laughs> hey, West. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. I got my assists from healing. Fantastic. So I need to set battle plans and level up a unit. So I'm going to do that. Set my battle plans, and I'm going to hop on out of here. Turn in my assists. Place three barbarians. I can do that. Just maybe not today. Well, maybe. I don't know what the cooldown is. I forget. All right. Place Yahweh units. Uh, I want more. Do you folk, do folk at your work know about your second job? Ever had colleagues drop into stream? Um, they do. They do know I stream. Um, I, I talk to, I, I share my, my successes and, and failures and stuff with them. Like we're all, I mean, they are colleagues. It is a professional relationship, but we do often talk about our personal lives and stuff like that and celebrate with each other and commiserate and all that kind of stuff. So they do know I stream. Um, it's in my contract that I'm allowed to, because usually there's a clause in the contract with the place I work for that says um, you're not able to get, you're not able to have a second job that could interfere with this job without permission. Uh, and so I have a, an extra line in my contract that specifically states that I am allowed to have this particular extra job. Um, and uh, they, I, I th I'm pretty sure they do. There are a couple I know who watch, they, like, I know they watch stream, uh, but they don't, as far as I'm aware, they don't talk, they don't interact in chat. They just watch and lurk, which I'm totally happy with, of course. Um, you know, we love our lurkers, always will. Uh, but yeah, so that's, as far as I know, that's kind of the situation. Yes, and I know they follow me on social media and stuff as well. So that's really lovely of them. Very supportive, which is awesome. I don't have another Alliance pal uh, Alliance Paladin, Alliance Shaman, but luckily I have to do Gnomeron. Luckily, that's a silly word. Uh, <laughs> I have to do Nomragon on my uh, DK is my next one. So I'm going to change back to Horde. Uh, yeah, cool. Good. Where did ATT send you today? So for starters, I went to Baradon Hold on Warrior. Uh, then I hit Instance Cap because Baradon Hold was held by the Horde and I'd just done my my uh, Heartbreaker runs. So I got locked out there. Um so I went and did Temple of Arn Courage on a Paladin and then went back and finished off the Warrior 
on Horde uh, in Baradon Hold. Then it said Temple and Paladin was my next one, so I updated those numbers, and it turned out that was wrong, and so it said Vault of Arpon on the Shaman, and that's where I've just been. And I've updated that number, and now it says Nomragon on a DK. So that's where I'm gonna go next. Unless I update these numbers and it's wrong. Uh, <laughs> you mean that they don't chat, they just monitor? Nah, they're not, the, the people who watch aren't my boss, uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, so they're not, uh, and uh, one of them, it's really, we were talking about it and, uh, you know, like, what do you do? Because a couple of them don't quite understand, like, what it is and how it works. I was explaining. And they're like, okay, so why do people watch? And I'm like, good, good question. You know, it could be this, it could be that. And one of my colleagues who I know watches was kind of sitting there and just kind of said, I, I like it when you swear. <laughs> so I'm like, good. Definitely not monitoring, probably giggling along with me. Luckily, I have to do Nomragon, said almost no one ever. Yeah, look. Yeah, look, well, my, the, the problem is I don't want it to show like this is your lowest instance, but I cannot do it because I'm locked out and it's held by the other fact. Do you know what I mean? Like, I yeah, that's like worst nightmare is not being able to do what's lowest on the list. Amazing. That's amazing. I loved it. I, I lost my shit. And I was like, yeah, that's I like that. That's good. All uh, right. 830. So this is the appropriate number, which means I do have to do Gnomeragon. Okay. To Noma. Noma Reagan. Uh, benefit. Uh, I can take the portal, the pet battle portal. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, right. The quests. I always forget about the quests. Oh, dear. At least that'll guarantee me a piece or two. Oh, a stretch. I can do that. I do have a stretch from earlier as well that I missed. So let's do both of those. And I did do the choose my pet part as well. Ah, Portal to Zulda. Oh, it's upstairs. Why Portal to Zulda's are? I feel like it's going to be quicker to do a Portal to... Oh, because Legion Dal is the Portal to Azuna, not to... That's why. Okay. Stupid Portal. <clears throat> More hydrates. All I have to drink is my bubble tea, so I'm working my way through that. <laughs> Working my way downtown. Hi, the sun went up. Ah! Beans! Thank you so much for the resub. 13 months. My goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Very generous of you. All right, I'm probably going to need um, help from Zygord to actually make my way through this place because I always get lost. Uh, plus, I need to make sure I get all the quests and stuff done. Um, so it's important. How goes the hunting? Uh, yeah. 1,500 attempts on the Heartbreaker. Uh, 100 more to do tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. The G team. We've also got like Matrix, Punchograph. Oh, for schematics. Okay. I don't know how to get these. Cost yellow punch card. Click into the bottom of the dormitories. All right. I might have to have a run around once I'm done. Oh, God. The zone drops. And the grime encrusted. Oh, oh. This 
head around here and just sort of... There's a couple on up on the other side, around the other way. It's okay. Stone drops. We have grubbus. We have discus fallout, punch graph, crab, pummela, engineer thermo plug. And then we have the engineer omega plug, which I can't do because that's actually current level. Um, so I cannot do that. Uh, I've just advanced, don't I? Hmm. Are you working tomorrow too? No. No, I work Tuesdays and Thursdays, my time. It's my day job, part time. <clears throat> How do we get to the one on there? Do I not? Is that the. Parachutes. Love that. Mm. Is that fantastic. Glider. Uh, no, I don't have. I don't usually carry goblin gliders on my tunes. Um, I only usually go grab them if I need them for like a specific thing that I'm hunting or something. That's all right. A couple of mobs won't hurt. It'll be fine. Plans, iridescent hammer. I already know them. Fantastic. Okay. Hey. Speak to person. I'm ready hey, to well, begin. Man. So to the one I am tonight. And you would not need 12 hour stream before work. That's not how it works, Matt. I'm um, okay, so the daily reset for attempts on thingamajigs. Um so I'm I'm assuming what you're meaning is that I can like do tomorrow's runs crack a dawn at 1 a.m. and then I won't have to stream all the way but I'll still have to be up from one until four on Tuesday morning. Because that is the fine the day fifteen for the Love Rocket for the Heartbreaker is one a.m. to four a.m. I still need to be up for those three hours to do my last set of runs, unless it drops tomorrow. Um, so it will still screw me for work, regardless of whether it's a 12 hour stream or not, it will still screw me. And in fact, being up at 1am two days in a row will screw me even more because my sleeping pattern will be royally fuck up. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, doesn't doesn't work that way, unfortunately. But yeah, it'd be nice if it did, but uh, look, fuck, if I was able to get all 750 runs done in one day and then not think about it for the rest of the event, I would have. I absolutely would have. I'd just blast through and get it done. Uh, but unfortunately, no, it's a, it's a bitch. Uh, hmm. Green moustache. Ooh, okay, give me a minute. Let me have a fiddle around here. Go. 
done. All right, come on, Emmy, let's do the thing. This is one isn't like faction locks and stuff. Although the only reason the, the percentage is so, like the number of things I can get is so high is because of all the engineering patterns that drop in here. There are just so many, like holy shit. Right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine items that are actually like 4 ADK to wield or wear. So that puts us to 17, but it's, thir so there are 13 schematics in here that I need. Oh, good Lord. Oh dear. Look, fingers crossed, eh? So why 1am for two nights? Oh, Matt was suggesting that I don't do a 12 hour stream tomorrow and I do my 1am runs like this morning, like running through tonight and then do the 1am streams then. Um, but unfortunately I'd still need to do one to 4am on the Tuesday morning because that's day 15 for Loves in the Air. Oh shit. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, gets me out of the tunnel nice and quick. Uh, but I did get the, uh, the drop. From that, that, um, boss, that's nice. So I'm at 9 out of 30. Um, <laughs> which now means that my lowest is Razor Fen Downs, which I don't know how I feel about that, but that's okay. Um, I have defeated Grubbus, I'm pretty sure. Oh, excuse me. Do you have an Engineers? Yes, this one. Which is why the count is so high on this particular character. The count wouldn't be high on the other ones because the other ones don't need those schematics. Um, she's only doing the 1am once, not twice. Yeah. Yeah. If I did the runs, at, if I did Monday's runs at 1am on Monday, then I wouldn't have to do Monday's runs at 4pm on Monday, which would then run through to 1am on Tuesday. Did, yeah, it's... Okay, I've done this, but it doesn't seem to think I have, so I'm going to mark it as complete. Cool, out we get. Um, hello, Scarlet. Welcome back. No way not to give me impression of something up to you. Taking your best about my nails. It's starting to look a little better. Oh my god, really? Already? That's awesome, Lucky. Holy shit, well done. And no, no, like... No, no with the sucking up thing. Don't, don't stress. Like, all good. But no, I'm, I'm really, really glad to hear that it's helping. And I mean, like, it feels like to me I told you that stuff yesterday. So I'm probably wrong about that. I don't actually remember when I told you. Uh, <laughs> but like, the fact that they're already looking healthier is like, that is such good news. Such good news. Back with it. Awesome little, fantastic. Noma! Yep. Lucky you have been influencer. Da -da 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 -da. Don't mind me peacefully playing League with my boyfriend. Peacefully? League? Are you feeling okay? Why? See. Ah, use safe parachute. Cannot use on the ground. Okay, didn't get what I needed from that one, but that's okay. Um... I think the matrix puncher graph is around here somewhere, but I need the um I need the punch card, which I don't think that I have. There's a question mark over there. So we've defeated pull out. This one I need 
because this one can drop stuff. That I need, but it doesn't because it's a poopy head. Um, uh, can I pay 1k for no mix stream? <laughs> um, hang on a second. There you go, I've unpaused redemption for you. Um, I'm going to do a Nemogon after all. I am. I am. I'm going to make a in a couple days. It already looks stronger. Not as peely. Oh, that's such good news. That is such good news. Be seeing you. All right, so I'm going down this way. So it says ground floor. The the Matrix Punchograph is, is located in the bottom of the dormitories. So this is the dormitories. And I need... Yellow punch card. It comes from, ah, oh, the Sparklematic wrapped box. Okay, so I need the grime encrusted objects. Get the blue punch card. Which, oh, good lord. Okay, it's a mess. Wonderful. Awesome source. Everything is fine. So I'm getting a handful of it. Okay, so there's the there's the puncher graphs. Uh, and it's a 3005B. This is what I need. But I need a yellow punch card. So. Tin or uh, and they didn't give you parachutes, so I play league peacefully. No, you don't. <laughs> I can confirm that you don't. Coarse stone. Mm, feeling okay? They did the kill everything approach. Uh, can't remember the way. Shut up when you kill them. So beautiful is a nice frozen treat after a big day. Agreed. Oh, peaceful as in no one alive to complain. Peaceful got you. Yeah, look. Iridescent Pearl. I do have a fair few of these grime encrusted objects, so hopefully I'll get the... Uh, this button. Fashion. Tin ore. Severe anxiety, I always worry. I try my best not to overthink everything. Therapy does help. If you can get a good therapist, therapy helps. Um... Copper or what's it? No mix stream. Here we go. Let's start the timer. Another one. Heavy stone. This might be faster. Red or. Which is now grey quality. Brilliant. Copper ore. Coarse stone. Coarse stone. Lead ore. Um, 
like he's been very strange and vivid for me. Interesting, guys. What are you getting, mister? <laughs> oh, no. Cool! Cool. Before. Oh, okay, that actually looks better than it used to be. Oh, that's awesome! What happened to your voice? Exactly. Nothing. Everything. In between. Rough stone. God. Heavy stone. When does it last? Just want to know when to come back. I usually set a timer for two minutes, but it's not exact because I have to manually turn it off and on again. So. Iron ore. Uh, this voice is so approved for the dungeon. Wonderful. Um, this one. Iron ore. Did you get your mount? Not yet. Not yet. I've got another hundred attempts that I can get through tomorrow. Um, and that'll be that. Unfortunately. There we go. That should be off. So now it's not letting me turn it off. Yeah. I don't know if it's actually off or if it's just not showing me on my screen. There we go. That should be off. It says off now anyway. Um, okay. Copper ore. Uh, you just voice modulation one never again. Best thing I've seen in a while. Good. I'm glad. Pleased to be of entertainment. Tin ore? Where the fuck is my punch card? My lord. This is- Oh, I missed a box. There's a copper ore. <laughs> Lesser moonstone. I don't want shiny sparkles. I want a punch card. Coal. Moss agate. Malachite. Good lord. Uh, I mean, we did offer voice mod. Can you do the channel? No. This is, this is actually, <laughs> god. Um, 100% works for this place. Off now, it's off. Good. Fantastic. Awesome source. Alright. Got a few more objects now. Grime encrusted objects. Tiger's eye. Small lustrous pearl. Tiger's eye. Copper ore. Lead ore. God damn it. I'm gonna have to go do like the rest of the dungeon and then come back and do that bit, I think. Just churning through all the bits I end up with. And hoping for a for a um yellow punch card. Hey Josh. How do you like awesome sauce? <laughs> Let me confer with my sources. <laughs> no. Oh dear. <laughs> Dupe, thank you for the videos. Much appreciated. Okay, it looks like I need to just keep going with the rest of the dungeon for now. Thinks. 
There's so many little bits of trash in here and they can all drop the blue stuff I need from the dungeon. So. Do any of your tunes need dead mine stuff? Uh, probably. Yes. Yeah, pretty much all of them, I think. Um, hey, yo. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Let's head out of here. And continue on the course of the dungeon. At least I'm going to get two pieces from completing the final quest. That'd be nice. Uh, no luck on Rocket of Doom. Not yet today. I've still got 100 more attempts. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Well, it better bloody be, because that's all of it. That's the event. One moment this week was April 7th. I'm excited to watch a film the next day. That's February 17th again. I'm freaked out by these real moments. Uh, I don't know quite what you mean though, does, but that definitely sounds like something's some wires are crossed upstairs. Mm -hmm. How long you been playing WoW for? Uh, fifteen, just over fifteen years. Not too long. teach me how to play. Uh, that depends very, very much on what you consider to be teaching you how to play. Um, there are a lot of things, a lot of answer, a lot of questions that I'll be able to answer, for sure. Um, but yeah, that really heavily depends on what you mean by, by, by how to play. <laughs> there are so many different aspects to our, like so many. Um, and playing the game is a, a different definition to almost anybody who plays. Uh, as many tips and tricks would be in as that too. Yeah, absolutely. Try looking at Wowhead. They have excellent guides for learning to play. Yeah, if you're looking to learn how to play a specific class and stuff, Wowhead has phenomenal guides for that. Um, probably be a great place to start. Zombie, Channel, Dan, Gruben, Thor, Neke, Zam, and Bjorn. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, game has tutorial style stuff in the early levels too. It does, indeed. Yeah, you're very welcome, yo. What class have you chosen? You do it based on your interest, i.e. if you want to level or kill things or do raids or PvP or farming. Yeah, the, the game is enormous. Like, it's super freaking big. Um, I probably recommend just starting off with leveling and just seeing how you go. Uh, and then, yeah, once you kind of, once you hit max level, the game sort of the opens up and you can explore and see what taketh your fancy. A leveling guide is a good starter place. Yeah, absolutely. If you've just started playing, um, I definitely recommend just sort of playing through at your own pace and uh, seeing what you discover along the way. Ooh, a schematic for a pet. Awesome. 
think that was a well drop too, which is nice. Grime encrusted objects. Grime encrusted objects. I need so many. I need a punch card. I feel like I was just having really terrible luck. I hope when I go back in there, it'll just be like, here, have a punch card. First two levels of any tune character in WoW go pretty quickly nowadays. They do, absolutely. Agreed. Can I help you? Daylight's burning. It's a slade. Oh, to the thermoplug. Okay, I don't think I want to go that way just yet. So let's give you a feel that suited your playstyle. Build one to twenty. Try something else. Build twenty, etc. If you find your perfect fit, yeah, absolutely. Uh, carrot class trials are also a really good way to quickly figure out if something suits you. Um, we're gonna make a plus ten. In the first five levels, you like the playstyle. Yep, you became my bank alt. Fantastic. Bank alts are useful. What are you farming? Uh, transmog from Nomagon for my DK, my Death Knight. Um, but because this particular DK is also an engineer, I have a big, long, bloody list of schematics that will that can also drop. So it's it's yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We will see how we go. Warning. Warning. Yeah, no, no, no warning for you. Um, but welcome in, Lee. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, Nemergon is such just oh good lord. It's so big. Labyrinthian. Can I have a manual crowd pummeler, please? Yes, yes I can. Tracking is also account based, right? Um, I think so. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is. Grinding the Mythic Plus, nice. Best of luck. The fact that you can't clear it before it respawns tunes is frustrating. What clears the whole? No, but that's good though because they all drop, uh, like zone drops. They drop, yeah, they like drop your, your zone drop bullshit that I hate. So the fact that they respawn is awesome because I can farm for it, and not have to run it on a million tunes. But we'll see. There's a class, close to very important sort of rotation later on. Make it rest uh, clean sweep and so far. I haven't found a possible despite level, yeah, for sure. For sure. But yeah, no, class trials are definitely a really good way to kind of get a feel for what the class will be like in-game, and it does introduce abilities slowly so that you don't get overwhelmed with it. Um But yeah, they're uh they're interesting. Get dat W. Well, I'm hoping to. I'd like to have a win. I'd like to get a ton of this shit to drop, but we'll see. One way to find out. Let's ah, keep going. This is where I get another... Uh, I need two yellow punch cards. Because one of them straight away turns into a schematic and the other one you go all the way through to turn into a red one. Uh, and you get a schematic out the end there as well. The discombobulator ray. There's a minor recombobulator and discombobulator ray. Uh, so many schematics from, I mean, Nomagon, not surprising, but still. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I thought it was April. It was not the dream. Might be because I'm waiting for Fantastic Beasts 3. Feels like I'm traveling back to present day when I wake up. Ah, oh, so you're dreaming and it's gotcha. Okay. I thought you were having like disassociations like while you were awake, Daz. I was very concerned. <laughs> like seriously very concerned. But if yeah, if it's a dream, then that's entirely on a separate level. Thank God for that. Um, but yeah, vivid dreams. Interesting. Interesting. Mm, any coins again? I think mine has gone up since the other day. That's a bit strange. Have you won anything? I haven't had a chance to put in that ticket yet because I've been either with mum or I've been asleep. Um, so, but I'm, yeah, back to regular normal sort of shit as of tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how we go. Can I have like seven schematics? No, I cannot. I can have one. That's for the pet bumbling. Useful. So you can't, I can't do the last boss. My sources. No. <laughs> no. No. Bugger. That sucks. I am glad that you're at least earning channel points, but obviously, you know, koala coins are a little bit of fun on the side, so. Mm, interesting. Right. Alright, so that's crossed off the quest shit. Um, the bosses are out, so I can't do Mechanith Therma Plug anymore. Um, I need to go scrub these grime encrusted objects and uh, we get some more on the way back as well. Awesome. A lot less raids and free for alls without me there are, and it's, yeah. <sighs> Might be the end of an era if I can't figure out how to fix it. Um, a few days back. Also, rogues get AOE super late, you're leveling through. Um, does it make a plug always max level the current X pack? Yes. Yep. I mean, Yep. I need to go this way. I, I, <laughs> Norm is a mess. Um, and team indeed. Uh, hopefully I'm able to figure out what's going on and can get it fixed. I, I, I'm kind of nervous that they're just going to tell me to switch to the cloud bot, which I'm not sure that I want to do. Um, yeah. See what they have to say. Got 21 grime encrusted objects. Do we think I'm gonna get one punch card, let alone the two that I need? <laughs> Hi. 
by the sun well. Ah, Knight! Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Cost white punch card. Where do I get a white one from? Looted from mobs outside the instance. <gasps> Ooh, okay. And it's unique. That might be the easier way to do it. If I do all this and I still don't get one, I might zone out, get myself a white one and zone back in again. Because, I mean, technically I could just reset the instance and come through again for the bits I'm missing. Um, but I don't really want to. I'd like to finish these off. If I can. But if I'm coming back in to, to do the punch cards, I might as well reset. Order ally. A uh, bit of both black. I've got 30 alliance... No, sorry. 30 horde and 20 alliance tune. And, yeah. Uh, they're all 50 plus. So... I've got a few. <laughs> I've got a few. Oh, the alliance. Shadow gem. But I main my main tune is horde. But these days, because I mostly do completionist stuff, uh, I play all of them a fair bit. Uh, just not at like a high competitive level or anything like that. Yeah. Hmm. When you my driver's license, the online ten year for my old photo from five years ago. The same photo for fifteen years. That's hilarious. Well done. Well done. Uh, I got my photo from seven years ago at the moment. Yeah. I definitely feel like with the younger folk and their driver's license, they really need to have that photo updated more often. Because you change so much, you know? You change so much, but... um. I guess if you pass, a, if you, you know, bear a passing resemblance. Oh, damn, I thought I had many alts. Look, I thought I did too until I leveled an extra 26 of them to make for 50. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, I have a few, don't I? Uh, <laughs> don't have a second account though. Just, just the one account. Baby. So, uh, I did, I have many baby tunes. They're not so baby anymore, though. They're all 50 plus. It's, it's unbelievable. I can't believe I managed to get there. It's awesome. I'm quite proud of myself, to be honest. This is ridiculous. I don't like this at all. Mm, friendly prompt to disable voice mods again. I can do that. Small lustrous pearl. Malachite. Copper or uh, so you're just using a horde portals in your dial. I keep trying to go there on ally. Yep. Mm hmm I know the feeling. Definitely makes you feel like a bit of an update. Tin ore. I'll have a massive Asian money next get one. I assume they won't allow it to be 25 years with the same photo. Look, they might do. If you don't look too, too different. Like, if you've got the same facial structure and stuff like that, they might just let it go. Um... Looks so young, Jas. He does. It's really funny. Rough stone. Pet completion alliance. Do you have the B mount? I'm work. No, not yet. But I'm working on it. I've got the B pet, um, and I've unlocked the ability to get the honey, and I've done a few laps, um, but nothing. No, no real major effort just yet. All right. Um,
So I'm gonna head out, I think. And, um... How? How do I get out of here? How does one exit Nomragon? They don't. They use the Dalaran portal. The Dalaran Hearthstone and then port. Ah, uh, good. <clears throat> Baby Jess. The end of it will be where is that your daughter's driver's license? Oh, Seeker. Oh, dear. Especially because it stands you for a second after you try. I feel like 30 year old, 55 year old likely look pretty different though. Look, maybe, but maybe in their eyes, not quite. Oh, you don't? That's your life now? Good. One never really exits Noma. Look, you're not wrong, but also that's gross. Uh, Alright, so let's see if we can go find ourselves a white punch card outside of Noma. Mm. Paul Rudd seems to be one of those ageless folk, I don't know. I wonder if these notes, because all these boxes seem to be broken, so I wonder if these are just to the north of both the elevator or the transporter. I'm a little nervous that this is incorrect. Because this is like, this is where the gnomes start, this is the gnome starting area. So I'm, yeah. I wonder if this has kind of changed since before workshop. Is that another entrance? A different entrance to Noma, maybe. Don't remember. God, it's been too long. Um, my grandmother sent in twenty-year-old photo last year, and it went through. She looks so old now. She wanted a younger for an aww. Oh dear. All right, wow head, come at me. All right. For the minor recombobulator. Minor recombob you later schematic. This one. Hmm. Okay, so there's a person in Northern Barrens who sells it, and there's also rather large cooldown. Does it? Okay, so it's a limited time thing. Okay, so white punch card. Cavern Deep Looter. Yeah, it seems like this is the old. Because I don't see any Cavern Deep Looters in here.
They might have removed it when they did the new starting zone for the gnomes. Easier on ally. I don't have a engineer on the light side, so it doesn't matter. Um. Right. Okay. So that drops from thingy anyway. All right. Maybe 10 to 15 scraps should produce a punch card. No, wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. That's really funny. Um... Right, so it looks like the Kevin Deep Looters are upstairs. Which I will die if I get to. <laughs> because of the, um... Because of the... People up there. That's where the white punch goes drop. So my other option is to run with the, the grime encrusted objects and just hope that they drop a fucking punch card. Good. Wonderful. What is the drop rate, I wonder? Oh, good lord. Okay. Fine. Great. Uh, no links, Black. All I can see is asterisks because we have link protection enabled. Um, but I've found the information I think that you're trying to link to me. Um. Okie dokie, where are we? Um, just a routine check and she's in trouble. But the worst line is still as long as I remember running out of time to do it though. Oh no! Oh dear. Look, I wonder if we'll even need it to be honest. I don't think we've had, like, I don't think I can confirm. Ah, oh, I missed to go over and jump into three minutes. Drop some characters, indeed. Drop some units. Ah, oh, give it two in between now and then if you haven't played yet. It's time for a raid. Raid with pets. Hello, Jared. Wonderful. Congrats on the name change. So is that to start the traditional starting zone? They can. Um. Be confused. That's my dungeon. Yeah, I can't. I like. I can't go upstairs because every time I try to, like, if you go up the elevator, and as you head outside, there are PVP flag level sixty plus elite guards, uh, and they will one or two shot you at max level uh, because they're just they like it's like you know stormwind guards and shit like that. They're designed to fuck you up. Um, so yeah, but that's okay. I just have to do another run and hope for enough grime across the objects that I get the fucking punch card to drop. That's okay, because I do need more stuff from Mechanier and from the Viscous Fallout anyway. Plus, excuse me, all the zone drops. Although the zone drops are bind on equip, so that's fine. Um. Go on your ally. As I said, that's useless because I do not have engineers on my alliance side. And the reason why I need the punch guard is to get two engineering schematics that are Bob. So there is literally no point. <laughs> like, 
literally no point. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not just faffing about like an idiot. I I, I am aware of what I'm doing. Um, there are, like there is method to my madness. I promise. Um, yep. Schematic soul band can be bought on the age. I'm pretty like I'm pretty certain. Okay, that one is just over a K. Uh, and that one is 315,000, which is the one at the end of the punch card route, which I am not paying. Fuck that. I can get it myself. Yeah, the 1.2K, sure. Three, like 315? Absolutely not. But nah, it's uh, it's fine. So they're talking like apparently they do drop the the white one outside, but there's like three or four spawns of them, um, and uh, like the the grime encrusted objects drop diamond doesn't in here anyway. Um, I just oh, hey, fantastic! Not one of the ones I need on this tune, but still a transmog that I need. This is the other benefit. I still need shit, so I might as well go get it. Where am I even going? Ah, oh, to the dormitories. Wonderful. Not where I should be going. Let's, uh, let's back up. This place is a fucking labyrinth. It's amazing. Uh, tend to let the streamer call the shots here. Ah, uh, it's, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I've been playing for long enough and I've been doing this kind of stuff for long enough that I, I know, like, I'm pretty good at what I like figuring out what I need. Um, if if there is an easier way to do it, and I'm not doing that, there's usually a pretty bloody good reason why. Yeah, it didn't drop me either of what I needed. It's okay. Um, Noma does suck though. Unfortunately, actually, hang on, what am I on now? 12 of 30? 12 of 30. So I could just go to RFD and just deal with this later when it when it arrives. Dorms this way. I might do that, actually. I'll go turn in what grime encrusted objects I have, and if none of them poop out the, um, the punch card... And I'll just head for RFD. Although I do still need a handful of schematics from Mechgeneer, so it might be worth running through and getting that far at least. Hmm. Grand Golden said the schematic, easy peasy. Oh, I don't want to spend that much gold on something I can just get myself. Like, it's... Not fun. Not fun. Amazing. Get it? I do get it. I see that you get it also. You said it me. If I slide a new Tinker Town to get that punch card, I could. I could, but I'm already here. And I have... 15 grime encrusted objects? 16 grime encrusted objects. And one of them could just spit it out. Hello Tryhard, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Get the bullet for discussing using awkward and complicated job level squish. 
Massive granny swimmer. 20k gold range. Oh, that's not too bad. 20k is pretty good. Well done. Done. Go lunch. Enjoy. I hope it's delicious and delightful. And enjoy your lurk, Z. Enjoy your lurk. Congratulations to Bjorn, Dunno, Coda, Kludgy, Garden, Spam, Z, Laku, and Puma on all your bonus shit. The sounds, it is pretty hilarious, eh? Challenger Iris. It's a boss. Wonderful. Loyalty boss chest. Make sure you place those units if you want a chance at the drops. Barbarians is what I'm playing. I can't because it's on cooldown. Uh, Alright. Flag bearer it is. I've only got a couple more of these to get through. Okay, where is RFD? Razor. Fendowns. That's not gonna help. Uh, let us. Uh, oh, actually. I wonder where Deathgate would put me if I went back. Because it puts you near to where you were, but I'm in a dungeon. So where would it put me, I wonder? 12 chaos, you want to not focus on get triggers and call theories. You've got one, rest all rings or double ups. Oh no, Yori. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Alright, portal to Dal. Let's go. RFD, here we come. Four out of 15, is that right? It is 4 out of 15. Good lord. Alright. Off we go. <laughs> if you aren't already, please consider giving Fear a follow on socials. Specifically Instagram. This helps far more than you know. It does. It does. Engagement is great, but even if you're not active on Instagram, a follow it makes a difference. And the Seeker's not kidding. It really does. Um, so I... My, my big goal with streaming was to make Twitch Partner, uh, and as you may have noticed, I have made Twitch Partner, which is incredible and awesome and amazing, and I'm so proud of what I and the community have accomplished in terms of that. Uh, my next big goal is that I would love to be a full-time content creator. I would love to be a full-time content creator. Um, in order to do that, I need to be able to pay my bills. Um, in order to pay my bills, reliably, Usually you look at brand deals and sponsorships, things like that. Um, and 80% of brand deals are via Instagram. Not many, especially in Australia, like not a whole lot of US brands are going to sponsor Australians um, unless they also have an Australian wing. And if they do have an Australian wing and they're not a gaming brand, you know, uh, gaming brands can be picky and choosy about who they sponsor because there's... You know, there's a handful of big names in Australia. They're not going to, they don't tend to go for the little guys. Um, but the vast majority of brand deals are on Instagram. In order to get noticed on Instagram, you need a follow account. Engagement rate is fantastic, but the follow account is what they look at first. A follow account qualifies you to be able to apply for, for brand deals and campaigns and things like that. Uh, so 1k followers, which I'm getting really close to, we're sitting at 900 and I think it was 911 last time I looked. It might have dropped since then, but yeah, 911 last time I looked. Um, so 1k is like you, you, you're putting your little toe in the door kind of thing. And then once you hit 3k is when it really starts to 
like gather speed and that's when you can start looking at actually getting money for your posts instead of just product. Product is fantastic, don't get me wrong, I have recently done a, a thing with step one, uh, underpants, yeah, super fucking comfortable underwear. Uh, and they gave me a ton of underwear, like seven pairs, it's a couple hundred bucks worth of their product in or, like in exchange for a, a series of uh, socials posts and things like that. Um, but when you get to like 3k followers, that's when you can start negotiating in addition to the product so that you can show it and whatnot, uh, that you also get paid. Uh, so that's what I'm grinding towards. Um, so if you're able to help at all with that, if you have an Instagram account and can drop me a follow, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if not, that's okay too. I respect that. Uh, but yeah, it's a super free way to, to help out a streamer if you're enjoying the content. Uh, and that goes for any streamer as well, not just me. If they have social media uh, uh, profiles and stuff, dropping them a follow and interacting with them as often as you can on those platforms really does help. Um, yeah, really does help. Uh, so you're in campaigning mode, always. Seeker's amazing. Uh, RFD might as well do a lack. I couldn't get them to work, remember? They broke. They broke. I'm um, double following. Amazing. It's kind of my thing. Seeker is a fantastic campaign manager, just saying. Good to go. We should be able to get 89 people this week. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Let me have a look, because it might have, the number could have changed. You know, who knows? Who knows? Where are we at? 913. 87 until we crack the first big milestone. Hero. I need to do something about that power button. Fucking Babu. Oh no. Oh no. Oh fucking zone drops. Okay, here we go. I've got one, like, four items from this entire place that I've already, like, good lord. This would be fun. Mm. Yeah, they are honestly amazing. And uh, my, my post for them, my second post for them went up yesterday, last night. Um, on Instagram and yesterday also on Twitter and it would have also gone up on Facebook because my Instagram posts get replicated onto the Facebook page. Uh, so if you have any of those accounts, interactions, the likes, the, uh, the comments, the shares, all that kind of stuff, all of that counts massively towards whether or not I get future brand campaigns. Because, you know, if they give me stuff and it doesn't work, like the engagement rate's trash or whatever, um, then... They're not going to want to do it again because it's not worth their investment. Uh, so yeah, by all means, if you are if you feel comfortable, uh, go forth and and interact, go forth and engage. Uh, but again, only if you feel only if you feel comfortable. Um, this is very much like I, I don't want to to force you or make you get like guilt you into doing something you don't want to do. That is not at all my intention. Um, this is what helps me. But if you're not willing or able to, I am not offended. In the slightest. Not offended. There are a couple of people that I would be offended by, but not many. Um, I imagine there are a bunch of people watching. Wouldn't mind a quick click to fang a little support our fave streamers. Wait, oh, say good thank you. Dear bad kitty. <laughs> Adorable kitty. Kitty doesn't understand. Kitty doesn't understand. Uh, is it still broken? What do you mean, is it still broken? Uh, some streamers are widget for followers or subs on their screen, etc. As your focus on Instagram, is there a widget for followers on Instagram? No. Uh, not that I've seen, unfortunately. It's something I'd have to update manually. Um, there is, like, I, I've got a couple of things that I want to work on. So you can see, I think it's, is it right above my head? Here? Yeah, the um, this little rotatory thing that shows like some of the things, some of the uh, companies I'm affiliated with. Um, I do have a few plans for some changes to that um, to make it look a little more like seamless and stuff. But I have not had time. I've I've just not had time to do any kind of 
fun shit. Um, but I, as far as I'm aware, I haven't seen any widgets for Instagram followers. Um, only like Twitch related stuff because it's got a pull from APIs and things like that. Um, I know I've seen a couple of people who have like a thing in their background that is like a little plaque that's, you know, a, an LED panel that can link to your Instagram account or whatever. And it can show like a live update of how many you've got, but I don't really have any shelving where I could put it. So it's, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't quite, if anyone is able to find something like that, like it, it might even be like a browser source widget or something like that. Um, preferably one that's a little bit customizable because some of those things look ugly as sin. Um, but I'd be very, very willing to have a play around with it. Um, if anyone's able to find something like that. Otherwise I'll put it on my to-do list to have a hunt. Um, it's just that my to-do list is enormous. <clears throat> but you know, I'll get there eventually. I'll get there. Ah, uh, the lack, is it still broken? Oh, uh, I think, I don't know. I haven't tried for a little while. Let me have a look. <clears throat> eh. Should be like 15 minutes. Oh. Looks like it's white. It looks like working this time. There you go. There's a Xamnist. What the fuck? Is it working cross region? Um. Hold up. I mean, it's like. You know, tent Hol holy shit indeed. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get it though, Zam? Or is it just putting it there as a fake thing to make us excited? Cross region has for a little while, I think. Lax work cross. See, when they first introduced the cross region friends list, Lax did not work cross region. And we tried it every week for a few weeks and it didn't for, for a while. So that's, I mean, I haven't done them for quite some time now, so it could be a few months. That they've been working, but there's some EU peoples. Yeah, but the, uh, Purse used to always do it via with EU peoples with someone in the EU running half of it as well. Like I know that there were people around who did that. Inventory's full. Shit. Uh, <laughs> must be at a vendor. I'm. I know I'm not at a vendor, but like, fuck. That's just. Drop some shit straight in here, shall we? Uh, fuck. Handle this bullshit later. <laughs> well, there you go. Next Sunday, everything I do will run a lack for. <laughs> now that I've actually got it working and it's cross region compatible. Can't vendor mobile banking. <laughs> oh, guild bank tab is full. Good. I will clean this out at a later date. Cool. All right. Hmm. Is 
new, like really new. Yeah, this is this is fairly new. <laughs> hey, Kaln, he looks better. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow I might actually have a chance to um, like use my my new curler. Uh, I did use it on Saturday, Friday. I used it on Friday. Ritual. What have I not done? Good luck. Oh, up there. Okay, good. What brings you here? Do that later. Together we oh, put shit. To Too late. Speaker Blackthorn's plan. We must be quick. The ritual is almost complete. Blah. Mm, but yeah, I'm hoping that um, tomorrow I'll get a chance to curl it. Because it doesn't take too long with my new, like, with the birthday present I bought myself. Uh, but I still do need some time to, to actually sit down and do it. So we'll see. And considering that I've got like a whole weekend's worth of housework and stuff to catch up on, uh, it might it might be interesting. But one way to find out. Spam Zam. This is a total surprise to me too. Yeah, I was like, um, excuse me, Zam. You're not US, as far as I can recall. From good for a good minute there, I'm like, wait, is my brain lying to me? Have I got this wrong? Am I f remembering incorrectly? Go back, tab full. That's future fears problem. Correct. Post Lita. Post Lita problem. I'll fucking clean that shit out later. Lita, later, same shit. <laughs> same thing. Can hold back the powers of the life binder. Oh, still more hydrates. I've got some bubble tea left, not tons, but some. Crown chemicals. I've done them already today. I finished them for the day. Fifty runs. So I'm on fifteen hundred total. No darkness can hold back the powers of the life Hmm. Something new. Wonderful. Okay. So. We have done it. I will take the phylactery into safekeeping. Aminar will no longer control the Quillbore, nor threaten Kalimdor. Uh, so now I'm on 6 out of 15. Instead of 4 out of 15. Still an improvement. Uh, Blood Furnace on Paladin. How long we got on that? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Ugh! Ah, oh, am I too bad? No luck. Not yet. Not yet, Mari. Um, but we've still got 50 attempts tomorrow and 50 on Tuesday morning. So 100 attempts left. Hopefully. Everything crossed. Everything crossed. Any late time for you to head to bed? Totally fair dupe. Not a problem at all. So what I'm going to do is... um. Cancel that. Sorry, Zam. But now that we know, now that we know, that's super awesome. Uh, right, so I'm logging out. I'm changing to the Paladin and double checking that that's actually accurate in terms of numbers again. I'm not a paladin! Uh... Correct. Thank you, Dupe, for the biddies. I very much appreciate you. Uh, one more of these before my bits run out. Can't take it anymore. I think I'll only send my non 60s, so at least I get some XP. Fair. Totally fair. I, I know the feeling. 50 fucking characters every fucking day. Three hours a day of running that bloody dungeon. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> I'm 
Where am I going? Blood furnace. Maybe. I need to check that these numbers are right. Eight of thirty, it reckons. I also used to feel you, then I got the mount. Yeah, look, fuck you. Uh, no, it says I got 22 of 30, so that's wrong. Uh, right, so what is the numbers here? 386 for 745. Okay, so I've got like 24 more than I... Yeah, okay, good. So World Bosses is 4. That's 30, not 29. That's 5, not 10. 3 of 8, 10 of 29. Uh, 13 of 26, 28, that's 30. 29, 59, that's 31. 28, it's actually 30. 9, 19, 15, 27, 10, 15, 10, 30. Wait. Shadow Labs is 13 of 29. Okay, yep. Architraz is 9, 12, and then 22 for BF. 20. Botanica. 12. 11. 19. 6. And then. Underbog is 20, not 10. So 386, 746. 386, 745. Perfect. So it's actually Warrior Battle for Mount Hydral. I feel like that's got to be a lie. Considering that my Battle for Mount Hydral number jumped here, I'm hoping that's a lie. Because I don't have time to run Battle for Mount Hydral. Uh, <laughs> actually, I might do, but uh, we'll see. Mm, could be worse, though. Pretty fast dungeon do when you get inside. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's definitely longer than others, but it's still three hours to run 50 characters. The fact that I spend like an hour and a half of that time in queues kind of sucks. Like it, even if even if it's a one minute queue on every tune, that's still fifty minutes in queue, plus load screens, which are pretty quick. But like it just it all of that time adds up so goddamn fast. Oh, good lord! What annoys me more is people AFK when they join and magically come back when it's dead. Yep. Yep. If, the, if it lasts long enough, if the dungeon, if the actual combat lasts more than two minutes and they're hanging out on the stairs, you can vote kick. FYI. Loading times. So I turn off all my add-ons. I have, what I turn on is rarity, rarity options, saved instances, so I can keep track of when my lockouts are, Tomcat tours, um, which is like, which is this one, which means I have one button so I don't accidentally queue for like Cataclysm dungeons or something stupid. Um, and, uh, GSE, which enables me to use my one button macros on classes I don't know how to play. Uh, and only having those four, like, rarity, saved instances, Tomcat, and GSE, having those four add-ons means my load screens are fucking quick. Really fucking quick. Um, and I did that intentionally to try to shave minutes off my runtime. Because 50 goddamn characters, sa shaving 10 seconds off every fucking load screen... You got a load screen in, you got a load screen into the dungeon, you got a load screen out of the dungeon. 30 seconds per character. There's 25 fucking minutes shaved off. If you turn off your add-ons, if you've got 50 tunes. What? Like, do you know what I mean? It's a long time. It adds up. Uh right. Hydral, 2848. Yeah, that's definitely changed. Okay, good. So BC is 440. Yeah, I've added a lot to this. Wonderful news. So we have 7, 38, 5, 3, 12, 15, 28, not 13, 28. 33 is now 35. Uh, 18 is now 35. 12, 21, 35. 18, wait, what are the numbers? 475. Okay, they're equal now. That's fine. All right, I won't go any further than that. Um, which puts us at Shattered Halls on the Monk. So let's go check those numbers. Mm, loading 
times have people AFK and one of the mobs reset on the stairs? Yep. Yep. Another heart attack moment. Saw the heartbreaker pop up the toy, not the mount. Boom, brain explode. Uh, GSC for one bat macros, you say researching. Yep, gnome sequencer enhanced. Thank you, Kaz. Much appreciated. Yeah, my brain can't handle learning how to play 36 specs. Uh, so I don't. Pretty simple. <laughs> Pretty simple. up on some redemptions. Always AFK when I queue in have never been kicked before. You're lucky then. Why would you AFK? Like the dungeon takes all of about 10 seconds as long as everyone's contributing. Like if you AFK that means other people having to work harder to make up for you and it's the, the run takes longer for them and hey they might have 50 fucking characters to get through and shaving off five seconds per tune adds up. Like, don't, like, it's the same as any other dungeon. Don't queue in and then stand there, okay. It's a fairly dick move. Um, it's not what we do here. Um, all right. What am I looking at? Shattered holes. <clears throat> Six for 22. Shattered halls. Six for 22. Okay, so that is our lowest. 405? No, okay, so I'm going to update these numbers anyway because they're definitely lower than they should be. But we have found our right one. So 433. Three. Oop. Four. That's a 13. 19. 24. 38. 36, 11, 13, is that 395? No, 405. Okay, so we're missing 10 still. Uh, Magister Terrace is 33, not 31. We got 12, 14, 11, 9, 17, 14, 12, not 8. 26, 12, 6, 19, 8. 14 instead of 12. So we've got 405 for 752. Fantastic! Alright, so my lowest is officially Shattered Halls on uh, on the Monk. Two and a half minutes. I don't think we're going to have time, but let's give it a go anyway. Let's see how quickly we can get there. Look at you, so you no idea what I was doing. Back to a slowly, potentially try another day. Totally fair. Um, yeah, you need to import macros from, like, unless you know how to write a macro, which I don't, uh, you got to import them. And the website's called Wow Lazy Macros. Hate AFKers. Uh, I agree, Papa. It, it doesn't, like, it just doesn't help. It's not kind. It's not part of teamwork. It's like, you know, it, it takes literally half a fucking minute. Just stick around for 30 seconds. Seriously, it's not that hard. Let's me do other things IRL, then do them before and after the dungeon. You have been queued into a dungeon with a team of people who are all seeking to kill the boss together. If you're not going to contribute, then don't join. It's as simple as that. If you AFK in a dungeon, Go forth to you deserve to be vote kicked for being AFK. That's what the tool is there for, to remove people who are not contributing to the team. Don't do it. It's a dick move. If you don't have time to sit there and put the effort in, then don't run the dungeon. Always kicking AFK is fuck them. The problem with Crown Chemical Co. is it's often over too quick. You can't kick somebody for two minutes after the dungeon has started. So if you are AFKing and it results in the dungeon taking longer than two minutes, you are probably not going to get your box. Like, and if it takes one minute 59, then that's a whole minute and a half longer than it should have taken. Like, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. If you're not going to contribute with teamwork, then don't join a team. Oh.
they left. Noticeable in LFR two at times. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. Don't be a dick. Revolution comes out. I know, right? Alright, so this is Shattered Halls. Oh, heroic. I'm gonna switch it to heroic. Let's see how quick I can do this. There's quest in here that I can get a piece from, so it'll be nice. remember this being a gauntlet. Everything's just falling over there, so it's fine. No zone drops, so that's nice. It is unfortunately full of them. There are also a lot of nice people too. Indeed, there absolutely are. Speaking of nice people, join the Discord, yes! As of tomorrow with my shiny new toy being my, my beautiful Fitbit, beautiful Versa 2 that was gifted by Zarin via throne, my fucking god. Happy birthday, Fia, good Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be like posting my progress and shit. <laughs> In the hopes that we can like share together and like progress together and yeah, like RL progression. What the fuck? Zombie, Faye, Bjorn, Apro, Thor, Daz, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss defeated! We are not doing another uh, battle today. That's that for us for now. Um, but I do want to finish this run and see if I can't bonk this dungeon up the list of completion. We'll see. There we go. One down. Um, so I've done that. Killed him. Grand Warlock's amulet next to this fire. There's my Grand Warlock's amulet. This one? This one. Phenomenal. Never pricing things means you can't bloody sell them. Yeah, look. Some things are just absurd. Indeed. You can drop the price yourself. Like manually type in how much you want to charge for it. Um, and that can sometimes make it better. But uh Yeah, it's a little Invaders have mm. breached the defenses. So that was a, so that's now six. It's still it's still six. Was that a was that a lie? That was a lie. It was a shared appearance. Oh, I'm so upset. Why is it tell- like, I've got it set to not unique- man, uh, whatever. How been doing? Awesome. Good to hear. The little lockups when I kill the stuff because of the reputation grants. Hilarious.
not new also. Wait, hang on, no, that was the share appearance with the cloth thing. So it is new. Seven out of 22. Oopsie. I had numb lock on. And we're back to Warrior, Barrett, and Hold being the lowest again. God damn it, we've gone in a full fucking circle. <sighs> I mean, I still can cross some things off that list by running other plate wearers through those, so at least there's that, but still, kind of sucks. I might just for a few Sundays have to run every fucking character that I possibly can through Vault of Archivon and Barrett and Hold and just hope for the best. <laughs> so I hope someone, I hope a couple people at least will join me on my journey to not being as shit to my body. Um... We'll see how we go. Hey. Already known by fear, that's fine. It means I can auction it. Um, officially done on my feet. Not a worry, Lucky. I'm getting very close myself. This is gonna be the last dungeon and then I'm gonna skedaddle to rest well and I will see you tomorrow. Have a lovely evening. Thank you very- oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Me, it's all your fault. And you? Hey, you. Being a shit, I'm great at the game. We're gladly joined the fantastic sarcasm. Ah, um, I'm- oh God, these incapacitates. They suck. Yeah, hoping to be able to put in some activity, some active minutes, and maybe some decent sleep. Uh, I would very much like to start logging my food and my water. Um, that would be nice. I wonder if HSP is in the food. Actually, I would love to see, actually. See if I can log HSP for lunch tomorrow. Log your food. Bags Oops. Um. That's new. Neither of those other. That's okay. Let's um the executioner. We turn in the oh primal air, that's actually something I'd like. Uh, where's something I can get rid of? Where's food? Picked up a ton of food. I usually do. But brilliant feathers can piss off. Take the primal air. Um A lull. No. Snack. Pack. Snack pack. Coals. Custard snack pack. Oh, these are snack bars. What I want is like... A lull snack pack. Which is not here. That's right. I have to look up... <laughs> Look up the um, nutritional information on a halal snack pack. That'd be hilarious. Crap, I need to delete something else. Uh, you. Goodbye. Blood and thunder are the horn. Zug, zug. There we go. So, Shattered Halls is now 10 out of 22. Not bad for one run. Jumping from, what was it, like 6 to 10? Likely it would be broken down by ingredients. Yeah, I know, but that's hard. Like, kebab meat 
<laughs> and then sources and yeah, I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, it's okay. Uh, all right. Cool. So I'm circling back around to having to do Barrett and hold on the war warriors again, which is great. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Bowler chips plus sauces plus cheese plus meat. Yeah. Um, it'd be fun to figure out. That's for sure. Halal snack pack. Nutrition. There you go. How unhealthy. <laughs> Uh, servings per one package. Oh, this is from Lord of the Fries. Oh, except they, all their stuff's vegan, so it wouldn't. Actually, are these, is this one vegan? I know Lord of, the, I think most of Lord of the Fries stuff is vegan. I know their chicken nuggets are, but, um. and allergens. Yeah, it's all vid, so it's not the same. <laughs> Bugger! My fitness pal has it. Generic halal snack pack calories, carbs, and nutrition facts. I'll just plug it into Fitbit from there and, uh, and go with it. Uh, all right. I think let's simply go here. To die in the ah, loud. Uh, all right. Good. How's that ad going? Twenty two seconds. Hi. <laughs> There's an ad going and I don't want to start my little spiel um, without everyone being able to hear because I feel like that's not very nice. Uh, multiple of the crappy loot drop items be away listing for hundreds listing all for four gold. Hi, Zam. Hello. Yeah, apparently, apparently one regular size halal snack pack is 1200 calories. 82 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat, and 60 grams of protein. How much does that, like, how much is that by weight? Like, one regular. How much is one regular? Well, 82 grams of carbs, 70 grams of fat, and 60 grams of protein. I know you can't usually just add those together to get your weight of product. Um, but could I maybe? <laughs> 2 plus 70 plus 60. 200, no, yeah, 212 grams. God, that's a lot. That's like my entire fucking... Good fucking God. What is one regular? <laughs> Uh, I've always wondered this and probably get memed for asking, does anyone know how many calories a general styro snack pack has roughly? I've read it's about 1,000 to 1,500 calories. Anyone have some more info? 1,500 is accurate. We calculated this at the kebab shop I used to work at, factoring in sauce, cheese, etc. Also depends on what brand products they use. Oh, God. 1,500. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, good. So I'm going to make a very small serving for my lunch. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Whew. Jesus Christ. All right. Wonderful. Fantastic. Uh, ad block pog. Fantastic. So you're cutting off all of the streamers that you watch from their ad revenue. So kind of you. Well done. Uh, all right. Um, and then I can put in the force to lessen all the rest. Of course, of course. All right. Well, we're going to do a raid. Um, let us jump on in here. Snack pack is in meat, cheese, potato chips, not chocolate pudding. 
no, a halal snack pack and HSP. Yeah, I, I don't think we refer to chocolate pudding as snack pack here in Australia. I know that there is like you can get them like chocolate pudding is not really a snack. That's a dessert. So, yeah, I mean, that's just from from my perspective, obviously. But I don't think we do we call them that in Australia. Do we have like the snack pack brand of branding on any chocolate puddings? I don't know. I'm a confused. Here we go. We're going to raid tr- Whoa, I have. Um, caps lock on. Phenomenal. Stream and rest. Well, we'll do zombie. Thank you. Maybe we did it in the 90s. Ah, oh, IGA has them. There you go. I didn't know that. Interesting. But no, HSP. Halal snack pack with the meat and the cheese and the sauce and the potato chips. Mmm. Delicious. We had it for dinner tonight and we've got some leftovers for lunch tomorrow because we fucked up the, um, uh, grocery store opening hours. So... <laughs> Thank you for the happy sleeps. Don't think we do have snack packs here. Well, apparently IGA has them. Maybe it's just limited IGAs, um, but I don't know. I I don't know. I've only ever seen them on TV uh, in like American shows and stuff. So that's okay though. Um, we're doing a raid. We're going to go say hi to Trud. Um, we have one of these. Tomorrow is Le Fucked Up stream. So I'm starting at 4 p.m. doing my three hours of Heartbreaker runs. Mount Farm Monday through to 1 a.m. on Tuesday when the final day of Heartbreaker Runs is. So it's going to be an accidental 12 hour stream. Please, if you can, I would love for you to be there because I'm going to need all the moral support I can get, especially if the fucking thing doesn't drop. Um, and then Wednesday is not squirt day. Wednesday is 9-2 launch day. Thursday is a day off. And then Friday, we're not going to do toys. We're going to do collectibles in the new zone. Uh, followed by Saturday, our six year marathon. And I need to go because the time is up. Take care of yourselves. See you later.